All right, chat, let's get this party started! Woo! God, am I... So, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys! Hi! <laughs> we finally get to play another fucking Persona dancing game! I'm so... Okay, okay, you know what we're gonna do, chat? You know what we're gonna do? Because I think this would be fun for, for me. This will be fun for me. Why am I so bright? Oh, man. Dummy done it. Thank you so much, Deltas, for the Twitch, uh, for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. Grootsy, thank you so much for the three month resub as well. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you, thank you. You know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Because I think this would be really fun for me. I, you know what I wanna do before we like see characters dancing? I wanna guess what style of dance every character is going to have before we like do their perspective dances because i think that would be really fun for me like based on the character's personality and things that you know about them try to guess like what style of dance they would they would uh they would perform uh just the thought of that makes me smile hell yeah i'm gonna try to guess <laughs> We're doing crystal theories with dancing. <laughs> Yo, Rivali, thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, Severa, thank you so much for the eight months. Rivali, thank you so much for the five months for being tier two as well. Thank you for being tier two sub, dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, Master Riolu, thank you so much for the two month Twitch Prime as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really excited to see how everybody dances. I've, I've been actually like stupidly excited. I, I never thought I'd be like this excited over a dancing game in my life. It's just, it's just a dancing game. But because like I grew up in dance, this means a lot to me. And I thought that Persona 5 dancing was so good with like all of the characters, their dances were so fitting to their personalities like they were they were it was really really well done um as far as like the choreography goes it fit each character so well that i'm like really excited for the others uh to see how they they translate to each character four dancing simulator with bear <laughs> i'm not looking forward to teddy oh my god why is there a hype train oh my god we haven't had one of those in a while um thank you so much doctor for the 100 bits and smeg thank you so much for the eight month resub as well i really appreciate it thank you also uh i am wearing futaba's jacket i got futaba's cosplay in the mail uh two or three days ago it's actually sitting i don't know if you can see the pieces on my couch uh i have to adjust some of them but low key, low key. Okay, this jacket is really fucking nice. <laughs> the best feeling in the world is whenever you buy a cosplay. Holy shit, thank you guys for all the hype. Um, Riz uh, <laughs> Rizal Tamal Gaming. <laughs> thank you so much for the three month Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Link Makoto, thank you so much for the tier one sub as well. I really appreciate it. My God, thank you guys. But yeah, this this is actually like a really nice jacket. I would wear this out in public because it's it's actually like super thick last night. and really nice. Like it's a good spring fall jacket. What the hell? Thank you so much for the 500 bits, my crocodile. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the 400 bits, kitty cat, as well. I got a lot of cosplays happening right now. I'm have like um I'm actually in the process of making four cosplays at the same time. I'm, my 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 life is pretty crazy. But oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 200 bits. It's like legitimately a really nice jacket. Like it got all of these like it, they're not even decals. They're actually like embroidered embroidered on, which is like really nice because it makes it feel really authentic. So all those like little badges that Futaba has, it's like they're all there and it's epic i like this one the most like the little tongue <laughs> it's really good i don't know if there's anything on the back. no okay nothing on the back but it's it's actually like a really nice jacket that i would wear out in public i love whenever you buy cosplays and there's like pieces of it that you can just wear like every day i i totally would wear this jacket out i will definitely <laughs> i'm actually super excited about that because, like, you know, it's expensive and time-consuming to cosplay, right? So whenever you can have it for multi-use and not just wear stuff for conventions or videos, in my case, like, it's nice. I really, I, I love that so much. This is, like, legitimately such a nice jacket. Oh, if you want to know where I bought it, it's, uh, AliExpress. I bought, I bought this one from AliExpress. It's really, I was surprised that it was 
nice quality because a lot of times when you buy from sites like that you're kind of i expected it to be cheap quality and uh now i can't say the same for like the rest of the outfit that's back there but this jacket is hella nice <laughs> i was very so shocked about that anywho oh my god you guys are so uh kind um I feel like I should give back. You know what? Oh, wait, 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 I can, I can, I can. Wait, before we start. Oh shit, because we haven't had a hype train in a while. Um, I'm gonna give back because you guys are being too nice. Um, uh, Petey Breath, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it, nice username. Uh, okay, um, this is like super random and I haven't done one of these in a really long time. How do I do this? <laughs> a giveaway, I'm gonna do a giveaway but I don't know. It's been a really long time since I've done it. Oh, I can do it through Nightbot. Okay. Um, give me a second. I haven't done a giveaway in a really long time. I actually, I, th I thought about this. I was like, if there's ever like a, a hype train or you guys are being like so generous, I have, I literally have a stash of things that I can uh, give away uh, as like a thank you. Um. It's probably not what you expect, but <laughs> I have I have stuff I could give. I'm planning to get the Gaku Kanhai uniform. Oh yes, I have the Gaku Kanhai uniform. I, I yeah, I posted my um Chihiro cosplay. Well, technically it's not Chihiro, it's just like it's Shack just a uniform. But yeah. Oh my god, guys, thank you for the support. What the hell? Ah, uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Makoto. Uh thank you for the 4 month resub fate. Robert, thank you so much for gifting. Uh it, wait, two subs. Thank you for gifting two I subs, dude. every Persona song from three through the five, counting all the DLC songs. So I'm happy to see this. Oh, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Ah, thank you guys. I, it's really overwhelming. Thank you for the support. Ah, and Arrow, thank you so much for the five month resub. Risa, thank you so much for the for the hundred bits. Finally. Looking forward to this. I'm really Not looking forward to this. You. Okay, so what I have to give away is a... It's really specific. So um, I have Final Fantasy VII Remake codes that I can give away. I will give away one. So it's a digital version only. And if you don't have it, like if you, anybody can enter the giveaway and you can give it to a friend if you win it, but... So if anybody does not have a copy of Final Fantasy VII Remake and you want a digital copy, I have a code for a digital copy that you can redeem as a giveaway uh, for all of you guys and your kindness because it's ridiculous how kind you all are. So this is my way of giving back. Um, yeah, they, oh, Silver, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Give me a second to set this up though because I... Uh, I've, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done a giveaway, and it's about dang time that I did it, too. Uh, okay. We're gonna do a keyword in the chat. And there's also, uh, I'm putting a spam filter on, so only enter, like, only- uh, It's gonna be a keyword in the chat. So only type it in once. <laughs> if you type it more than, uh, three times, you'll be ineligible. Just to prevent spam. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, reset. Wait. I'm figuring this out, I swear. <laughs> you have Final Fantasy Remake, but you have what it for your brother. Yeah, exactly. If you want to, like, give it away to somebody, feel free. But yeah, just, just keep in mind it's not a physical copy. It is a digital code, so you'd have to redeem it on your PS4. It's the only way. Uh... All right, chat. In order to enter, type in... Hype in the chat. All caps. So that is the uh, keyword for the Final Fantasy VII Remake digital code. Again, this is a thank you for all of you guys and your generosity. I really, I really, really do appreciate that. So I'll roll it in like 30 minutes here, but yeah, it, it does mean a lot to me when you guys are this supportive. I, I, I will never feel like I deserve it. So um, yeah, this is my way of giving back and I feel a little bit better <laughs> because I give back properly. 
<laughs> and I will I will do other giveaways too, not just like for digital codes of games and stuff. I want to I want to do more. All right, so I'm gonna roll. <coughs> Sorry, I've got like phlegm in my throat. All right, I'm gonna roll it. Ten more seconds. <laughs> Oh, you got the twin pack earlier, so this is weirdly appropriate. Nice. <laughs> I do love the remake. It was really, really good. I think the... I think this is, uh... The demo that I have here. Oh, no, I did, actually. Oh, my did I digitally buy it? I thought I physically bought the remake, but no, I didn't. It's not like me. Aw, Sammy, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Are the codes region locked? I don't think so. Don't quote me on that. I do not believe that they are because Square gave me them. Uh, Square gave me these codes themselves, so I don't. I don't think they would give me region locked codes. <laughs> I don't think that would make much sense. All right, all right, here we go. Rolling the winner here. Devin plays one, two, three to claim it. Just say something in the chat like, woo, it's me. <laughs> just so I can see you. Um, and then just shoot me a message on uh, Twitter or email, whatever, whatever one. Congrats, Devin, please, you did it. Oh, that's so awesome. And the, the thing... The, the hype train just ended at the same time as we did the giveaway. How perfect! I totally planned that. <laughs> it's, it's poetic. All right, Devin. Yeah, just shoot me, uh, shoot me a, it could be a Twitter or email, whatever you prefer. And I will, I will send you over the code after stream. Let me, let me put that on my checklist before I forget though. So like, give code. To Devin, please. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Dummy Donate Drifter! Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Alright. Now I can't contain my uh I'm I'm very impatient. I really do want to play. <laughs> so uh thank you guys again for all the support. I really I will always endlessly appreciate it. Uh <laughs> all right, all right. I love you guys. All right, let's do this. I haven't even opened up the game at all, so. Oh no, dancing in starlight. That's a thing of the past. Closing the application. Oh, I'm so excited. Connect to the network? For what? I'll just do it later. A DLC track. Hey, I did get one. Y'all are asking me if I got DLC. I, I bought stuff like three months ago, but I don't remember what I bought. Oh, great. Now, no, someone's knocking at my door. Hold on, I got a package. Oh my god, okay, sorry. <laughs> now we can start. Oh my god. Uh, okay, um... Dancing time. Yeah, Ken Wolf, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, I really appreciate it. Amari, thank you so much for the five month resub. I appreciate it as well. Thank you guys. <sighs> Alright, <laughs> now we can start. <laughs> I got my shit together now, we're good, we're good. I know the song, but I don't think- I haven't seen the opening, I think? Look at you, Narukami, go. I 
don't know who this chick is, but she's cute. Oh! Oh my God! No! Kanji can break dance. Fuck. <laughs> Random chick. Dang, look at Naruto. Everyone's so cute. Okay, Kanji break dancing caught me completely off guard. What? Persona Four dancing all night. That's so hard to picture. Well, the ugh, fuck. No, that makes me upset if that's actually him dancing. <laughs> that makes me so upset. I can do every other style of dance. I can do every character in Persona 5, probably most of these characters, but I can't break dance. <laughs> that means, you know what that means? I gotta learn. <laughs> I gotta learn how to break dance. <laughs> oh. Okay. Fuck. Okay, welcome to Persona 4 Dancing. There are two prime more- there's story mode. Uh, okay. We're gonna go story mode, obviously. You can enjoy the story of Persona 4 Dancing for slick mode. Uh, the mode will only affect story mode. It is separate from free dance. I'm gonna go standard. Um, we're, we're pretty good with rhythm games. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, I did. Okay, th there's a story mode on like Persona 5. Well, then, that concludes this audition. It's so quiet. We'll contact you individually with your results after some time. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Take care now. Thanks for everything. Thank you for staying so late. Thank you so much. See you. Uh -huh. Please excuse I'm us. Sorry. Thank you for everything. I don't like where that was going. Um, excuse me. Oh no. This is like the start of a horror film. No. No, not midnight. Oh no, not tripping in a dark room all by yourself. Oh no. The horror. Was from the studio. Hey! What? What's going on? This is a dancing game. This is supposed to be like a, a fun, happy <gasps> dancing game. Huh? Which one? When you look at some website at midnight, oh, there's this sorry. weird video that plays on its own. It's hard to really make out much at first, but you can yeah, totally, you totally see should. this idol who should be dead dancing in it. When you watch the video to the end, supposedly you get taken away to the other side and you never wake up. Horror game? Persona 4 dancing is a horror game! <laughs> uh 
Uh oh, velvet room. Oh, hi, Margaret. <laughs> when you awaken, you are greeted with an unfamiliar sight. The floor, walls, even the ceiling, everything in the mysterious room is colored a deep ultramarine. Before you sits a similarly unfamiliar woman. Oh, welcome to the velvet room. Oh, normal voice. Don't worry. This is merely a dream. The you in the real world is sound asleep. Having said that, you're no guest of this room. She fixes you with a piercing stare as if appraising you before continuing on. Perhaps you've gone astray in your dream and wandered into a realm beyond your ken. This is the Velvet Room, a place that exists between dream and reality, mind normally. How many times have Only I heard that? <laughs> agreed upon some form of contract may come here. After saying so, she turns her gaze downward as if in contemplation. But nothing meaningless happens in this room. If you are here, there must be a reason for it. Very well. I'll use this as an opportunity to tell you of a guest we once hosted here. The woman before you straightens her posture slightly, then faces you directly. It seems she's going to tell you a story about someone other than yourself. Who does she intend to tell you about? Yes. I know just whose story to relate. <laughs> this is the tale of an unforgettable guest who kindled within my heart a flame that none of our countless visitors could match. I knew him as you, Narukami. In overcoming a terrible ordeal that befell a certain town, he formed an irreplaceable bond with his friends. As if you as the player didn't play Persona 4 before this game. The power of their bond supported them. Through every trial, even when facing well, yes, I did play the game. <laughs> inhuman powers, they remained undaunted throughout. <laughs> you seem perplexed. Oh yes, I'm very perplexed. <gasps> I'm not surprised. You could have no notion of what I'm speaking of after all. In that case, I will show you a glimpse into the story after they overcame their ordeal. When the woman raises her hand, brilliant light slowly floods your surroundings. Wait, Shen did that? Wait, really? Wait, she played the dancing game before the, the before the Persona 4? Wait, I didn't know that. Did she really? Damn, she got balls. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Think of it as a festival <laughs> that they performed in, at the risk of their own lives. <laughs> Wani, thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate it. Oh, see, I didn't watch her Persona 4 dancing video because I obviously am avoiding spoilers, so I can't watch it. But after I play this, I'll be able to watch her video, and then I'll laugh. You and his friends, start the chapter. Okay, but I really want to get to the dancing part. Fuck, there's a story I gotta go through. <laughs> Takura Productions Practice Studio. About half a year has passed since we solved the case that took place in the peaceful rural town of Inaba. Summer vacation has been, been over for a while, but the heat still clings. Today, we had come to a certain production company's office for a particular purpose. Oh, I miss being in a dance studio. Lise sounds very late. It's past time for our lesson already. You Narakami? He's got. He's he's got some of the 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 buttons unbuttoned and the. He got the fear size, and not to. Mm, Upon saying so, Nato looks up at the clock on the wall. Nato Shirogane, she's an underclassman, one year younger than me, but she's a detective, a fifth year generation of the distinguished Shirogane family. When I met her, she had problems with how others saw her and presented herself as an adult man. Now, though, she's shifted away from that. At least the lip flaps aren't trying to break the sound barrier this time. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, I appreciate it. I nod to Nato before taking out my cell phone, scanning the backlit screen. No text or voicemail from her. What about you? Me neither, it seems. You is very different. I wonder if something happened. <laughs> but in that case, I think you'd be the first one Rise-san would contact, Senpai. 
I really hope now Oda won't have to investigate no. the death oh. of a small girl in a dancing game. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, I appreciate it. Ugh, yeah. Oh, I've seen, I've seen Naoto's outfit. I can't wait to put that together. Risei, she's an underclassman a year younger than me like Naoto. She's a teen idol famous across Japan working under this company, Takaro Productions. Just like Naoto, she had her own issues to deal with. When we first met her, Risei had been on hiatus from her work as an idol. However, the year we spent together helped her grow, and she's currently in the midst of making her comeback to showbiz. Actually, Risei's comeback is essentially the reason ordinary high school students like us are here in the first place. Should I give her a call? No, we can wait a little longer. Her work schedule is tight to begin with. It's us who are imposing on her time. A lot slower lip flaps. <laughs> Rather, it's me. So it's more refreshing. My finger hovers over the call button, but I stop at Nato's words and put my cell away into my pocket. It's true, Risei must be very busy. It may be better to wait a bit longer to see what happens. Just as I'm thinking this, Nato moves on to another conversation topic. This still seems so hard to believe. For me, of all people, to be standing in a production studio awaiting dance lessons. I couldn't have pictured it either. If it wasn't for Risei's comeback performance. The Love Meets Bonds Festival. They're calling it LMB for short, correct? It seems to be a momentous occasion. I've heard TV crews will be there on the day of the concert. That's right, we'll be participating as backup dancers in a performance at LMB, the debut show for Risei's comeback. Of course, Risei aside, we're all just amateurs. We're going to need a lot of practice before we can handle a real show. So far, our practice has been extremely rigorous and it's still continuing on now. Ballroom dancing I could have managed. But I'm entirely useless at this. <laughs> I felt much more at ease fighting monsters in a strange world than I feel here. Cute. She said she can handle ballroom dancing? Oh man, I'm super late. Whoa, I'm Rise. So sorry. Rise san. Oh, thank God. How do you protrude right. that much hair? Like, God. Ugh, that's so much hair. I hate anime. My last meeting just wouldn't end. Were you. Were we waiting long? Um, not that long. No, oh, it wasn't that long. Really? <laughs> I was pretty late, so I figured you'd be mad. Wait, this isn't Laura. Doesn't sound we like Laura Bailey. Against you, with the music festival right around the corner, you must be overwhelmed with all the preparations. After all, <laughs> it's not <laughs> vital just anime. <laughs> you've been supervising. I've heard that you're making time to give lessons to the others in Inaba as well. That's just so much hair, dude. <laughs> As Nato says, we three aren't the only ones of our friends who will be participating in this Love Meets Bonds festival. The members of the investigation team, our friends who helped solve countless cases in distant Itaba, will be performing at this festival as well. Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Kanji, and Teddy. Even now, the eight of us are practicing our dance moves daily. Though Rise is busy with work, she's been going back and forth between here and Itaba to help teach our friends in the country. Well, everyone's pitching in to help me. Senpai, Nato-kun, my friends in Inaba. I want all of us to be our absolute best on stage. So I'll do whatever I can to Aww, help Aw, Laura Bailey wasn't available. It's hey, okay. Man, the festival producer's been a real pill about it. I feel like it's hard to stick with a role for like... Eight years? <laughs> Cause like, when did Persona 4 originally come out? Like the first one, and you voiced that, and then... This is what, like seven, this game came out like... Eight years later? How long? Ten years later? Yeah. So, seven years later? I thought this... Wait, this dancing game I thought came out like two years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. But yeah, still, that's a, that's a long time. Just a minute ago, she was going on and on about throwing our money away on amateurs. It was like I wasn't in the room. I was seriously seeing red. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We'll show her. We're gonna pull this off whatever it takes, and then she'll see how amazing all of you are. You're a true professional. My hat is off to you. You know it. So you can't slack off either, Nato-kun. Come on, let's get this rehearsal start. Oh, good. All three of you are Oh, here. I forget your name. The studio door opens, cutting off Risei's words. The man poking his head through the doorway might be the only other friendly face here besides Risei in this unfamiliar studio. Oh, no way. What's up? Yeah, the manager. Wait, is that you, Nozomi? Oh my gosh. Hey, girls, it's been forever. The man called Inoue gives a smile and enters the room we're in. There are a number of girls behind him, but I don't recognize any of them. I'm sorry to interrupt your practice, Yukun and Naoto-kun. Ah, uh, Risei-san's manager. Could you spare a moment of your time? 
there are some people I'd like to introduce you both to. They're another idol group with Takura Productions. They'll be performing at LMB, too. Oh! Allow me to introduce Nozomi Nakahara, Tamami Wesugi, Somomo Ujima, and Tomoe Sayama. Hi! These are the next generation of idols, following in Risei-chan's footsteps. I see, so the Risei's juniors. The four girls clearly are part of the same group, smile at us, dressed in matching costumes. This isn't good. I'm not an expert on the showbiz world to begin with, so there's no way I know about them. It, is it rude to tell actual teen idols to their faces that I don't know them? If Yosuke were here right now, things would be different. <laughs> However, backup comes from an unexpected place. Naoto is the one to speak up. Previously lost in thought next to me. Hi, so you're like supposed to be famous? I've never heard of you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Scrubby, for the six months. I really appreciate the support. Wow, Nato kun that's right. You sure do your homework on this stuff. Kanami-chan's doing PR right now for her solo photo book that's out soon. Kanami Kitchen, I recall hearing that name. I see, they're the members of that group. If I remember right, they're a popular idol group made to center around Kanami Mashida, another of Risei's juniors. The four girls that noe -san brought here make up the group Kanamin, Ki uh, Kanamin, Ki Ki Kanamin Kitchen. <laughs> Kanamin Kitchen. Mine is Kanami-san herself right now. You know, noe -san, you've been pushing Kanami too much lately. I do not like the look of that sprite. I don't think having her take on every job she's offered is a good thing. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you, Tomoe-chan? Well, I have to be direct. LMB is just around the corner. Do you understand that even now we're behind on rehearsing? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like they gave her that sprite on purpose, like she's supposed to look like a snot-nosed brat. Because she looks like it from that sprite! <laughs> well, I do. Trust me. I know how big that event is going to be for your group. Hey, I want to do photo book work oh, too. Oh, look at that cute! I want to wear lots of outfits like cute swimsuits. All right, Samomo chan just calm down. If a job like that comes in, I'll make sure you get a crack at it. I want that. I want that bow. Tomoe san gives a weary sigh as Sumono, Sumomo san clings to Inoue san like a pouting child. They're supposedly Risei's juniors, but I can't get a read on any of their actual ages. It's a little baffling. How old are they, actually? If I'll be speaking diff directly to them, how polite should I be? While I'm thinking it over, Nato, who seems startled by their presence in a completely different way, mutters, somewhat taken aback. This is a bit overwhelming. It's like being in a room with five Risei san. <laughs> like them is that what you think of your coach hmm? <laughs> oh uh, no uh, that wasn't my intent at all hmm so this guy's you son huh yeah if i recall inoue san's earlier introduction this aggressive girl must be tamami san after walking over towards us she looks into my face and stares intently at me did i do something to offend her uh nice to meet you <laughs> i'm you norikami it's nice to meet you Whoa, listen to this guy. Aren't you a tad too composed? You seem way too cool. I don't like it one bit. Uh. Jeez, okay. There she goes again. I'm sorry, senpai. She's always quick to pick fights with anyone and everyone. I see that. These new idol girls. You I'm too cool. Like Imagine to Chad Narukami camera. being too cool. Thank you for the hundred bits. I see, so that's the kind of girl she is. When I nod at Risei's words, Tamami san dramatically points at me. What now? Just you wait, you san. The next time I see you, I'll have a herd of boys with me. All of them better and dreamier than you. It uh, wait, this is a competition? <laughs> It'll be a boy trail that goes so far back you can't see the end. Like a goldfish's you know what. The air in the room goes frigid at Tamami-san's bizarre example. These girls are so weird and I love it. <laughs> Was that intentionally awkward or should I say something and back her up? I'm sorry, Tamami-chan isn't very good at metaphors. Hey, why'd you go with you know what? Are we not supposed to say goldfish poop? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this little girl seriously. She's like... 
she has so many stars in her eyes. I swear there's like a butterfly in those eyes. Like a butter like multiple butterflies. Well, I don't think saying She's got to be would damage an idol's image. She's got to be a robot. <laughs> Though, when you go out of your way to avoid saying it like that, it just calls more attention to it. <laughs> Shut up! Of course she is. Tomomo-san darts away as Tomomi-san chases her while Tomoe-san watches in exasperation. This suddenly becomes a sketch comedy. That's when the last member standing next to Inoue-san steps forth and smiles cheerfully. Her name was, right, Nozomi-san. Come now, everyone. Oh. A lady should always be graceful. Oh, I like you the best. Um, the little, uh, transient. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. I hope to make an impression on you. You already have. I see. No wonder she's part of the same group as the other three. Nozomi-san seems at first glance like someone you could talk to normally as opposed to her colleagues, but it seems she won't be a cakewalk either. Nato must have been thinking the same thing, but I look to her. She's desperately trying to relax her frozen expression as she responds to Nozomi-san. Yes, well then. All right, that's enough. Feel everyone. awkward. They're just amateurs, so try not to bother them too much. Oh, it's no bother. We're fine, right, Senpai? Yes. Um, you know what? Instead of saying that's right. I'm just gonna say we were surprised. He caught us a bit off guard, is all. Huh. <laughs> Sorry about that. But one has to have a strong presence to make it in this industry. You understand, right? Okay, that's enough. Ooh. <laughs> you two gotta know when to put the brakes on these girls. If you don't, you'll never hear the end of it. Oh? Who are these people anyway, Risei Senpai? And there's more coming. I, I heard they're your friends, but. They're not your boyfriends, are they? What, are you jealous? <laughs> of course not. I mean, how would that even be possible? But they are all important to me. They're my friends, more precious to me than anything. Wait, did she just shut down everybody, including Yunarakami? Dang. I guess she no longer simping for you. Oh, how the tables have turned. For a moment, the four of them are at a loss for words upon hearing Risei, and on silence settles. What's wrong? I don't think what she said was that weird. Friends, huh? <laughs> that sounds so nice. Then again, <laughs> you could say you, Senpai, is special- Oh, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. There it is. Ooh, is that so? <laughs> is that so? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that didn't last long. <laughs> Cutting off my train of thought, Risei grabs my arm and clings like usual. I know she's just joking, but Risei can... But Risei, can an idol like you afford to do something like that in front of other people? Risei-san? Oh dear. Well, I guess if anyone can get away with it, it's you, Risei-chan. <laughs> that reminds me, Inoue-san. You're done introducing everyone, right? We need to get started on our lesson. Okay, yeah, You're I want right. to dance. We ought to get going in that case. Everyone, let's break until the evening interview. Could you stay in your dressing room so I can come get you later? Okay. Okay. The members of Kanamin Kitchen reply in unison and bow before promptly and smoothly filing out of the room. Maybe it's odd, but ever since I started coming to Takura Productions, I've seen a lot of people here automatically shift gears like this. They really are professionals. I suppose it goes to show that even th even these girls are entertainers through and through. Please excuse us. Oh yes! The TV spot for LMB is going to start airing today. You should let everyone know. It'll be broadcast across Japan, so they should be able to see it in Inaba, too. Nice. Thanks, Inoue-san. Inoue-san is the last to leave, and we're back to just the three of us in the studio. The sudden quiet is like the aftermath of a storm. Nato mumbles almost involuntarily. A TV commercial. Well, that's what we filmed the other day, yes? It's really going to appear on TV. Is it finally hitting you? That's right, all our smiling faces will be on TVs all across Japan. <laughs> so there's no backing out of this now, okay, Nato-kun? <laughs> Come now, you needn't say it like that. Yeah, just everyone will stare at your oh, face you know, all across the country. Let's get practicing. 
I'm sure they'll be watching even if we don't tell them about Chat, you smell that? I smell a tutorial incoming. <laughs> On that point, I agree. Do we have a horny slash bear pun jail ready, Chris Saw? Thank you so much for the hundred bits. I doubt they'd ever miss festivities like this. She has a point. I think of the faces of our friends in Inaba and can't help but smile. The Love Meets Bonds Festival uh, TV commercial introduces all the participants of the event, so we all participated in that filming, too. We're going to appear on TV, and this time it won't be on some bizarre program that only comes on at midnight. That does feel a little embarrassing, but it'll certainly be an exciting experience. Not to mention, my friends are even more attentive to this kind of thing than I am. They're probably already invited each other over and are waiting for the commercials broadcast. The funny mental image brings a smile to my face. I don't know, that just smells so like a... Oh! Festival. Let passionate songs and dance echo across the world! In addition to this all-star cast, there will be special guests! The talented, devilish idol, yeah! Rise Kujikawa! <laughs> the meaty idol group, Konami Mashita and Konami Kitchen! <laughs> Come join us! At LMB Festival, we'll form a passionate bond with you all! Meat's extra yummy, so enjoy everyone! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there we are! Where will? Are they really watching this oh, at yeah. Juness? <laughs> of all the places. <laughs> Like, the same TV they would go in all the time? They're not, like, scarred from that? No, they they keep defaulting to the same fucking TV. That night, Risei Nato and I were still spending our time on ta at dance practice at Takara's production studio. Don't look at them, they're weird. <laughs> One, two, three, four, two, two. Four. Come on, Naoto kun. Hey guys, let's stop for a bit. <sighs> this is this is intense. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't envision it to be this tough. It's all worked out in my head, but Well, there's your problem. You're thinking too much. You stiffen up like that. Some skill is necessary, of course, and you have to factor in the choreography, too. But once you have that, all you need to do is show how you feel by moving with the music. Is that how it works? You, Senpai, what do you think about when you dance? Uh, I just have fun. <laughs> I don't think of anything, really. I'm just having fun. Dancing never works if you overthink it. That's how it should be. Dancing isn't just about moving to the rhythm. It's expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. If you're trying to get across the message that this is fun, then us dancers need to be having more fun than anyone. Expressing one's feelings, huh? That makes a kind of sense now that you explain it. In ancient times, dancing was a form of culture developed as a means of expressing one's faith and ideals without words. So then, True it's not a matter of being good or bad at it. I must instead learn how to express myself without fear. Come on, Naoto-kun. You're still <laughs> overthinking it. Yep. <laughs> it's like what Chie Senpai always says. Don't think, feel. In your case, you just gotta loosen up and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Don't worry if you do a move wrong. Okay, let's try it from the top one more time. Already? Can't we please, uh, take a short break? No breaks, Nato! Risei's still raring to go, but it's clear to see that Nato's legs are shaky and she sounds flustered. A quick break might help. As I'm deciding how I can help the situation, my cell that I'd set off to the side begins ringing loudly and vibrating. <laughs> Caller ID shows the name Yosuke Hanamura. Yosuke to the rescue! It's Yosuke. I need to step out for a bit to take this. Sorry, gotta talk to my boyfriend. Okay, then we'll start right after you come back. Oh, I'm saved. I can't talk to Yosuke in front of you guys. Has to be in private. Hello? Yosuke? Yo, partner. Are you okay to talk right now? Yeah, it's fine. Good. At the sound of a familiar voice on the line, I can't help but smile in relief. My partner, Inanova, keeps talking in his usual careless, uh, ca carefree tone. Dude, we saw the commercial! We all gathered around the TV at Juness when it was on. 
Yeah, you did. <laughs> Man, seeing that stuff got us all pumped up. Why are you blushing? Are we all celebrities now? Maybe I should start working on my autograph. The thought of being on television. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Anyway, we're heading over there tomorrow. We leave first thing in the morning, so I'm sure we'll get there before noon. <laughs> Just wait until you see where all our training has gotten us. I look forward to it. Even at, for, at our first practice, Yosuke surprised us all with his natural, naturally deft moves. The, when, the videos that Risei has been recording only prove that he's been getting better and better. It's been a while since then, so I'm sure he'll show us a dance at, as amazing as he says. Lost in thought, I pick up on what sounds like arguing on the other side of the call. It's already starting. I can easily picture what's happening on their end, and I end up smiling despite myself. Dude! Teddy! Hold your horses! <laughs> Go get your turn! So, hey! Oh, no. Sensei, I'm doing very well. Oh yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Teddy is a resident of the TV world that we met through the case we solved. Still, he's as important a friend as the rest of us. Right now, he lives at Yosuke's. Normally, he wears his trademark bear fur, and the local kids know him as a mascot of the department store Juness. However, judging by the tone of his voice, he must be taking his inner form as a young man right now. Sounds like he grabbled, he grabbed Yosuke's cell away, though. He might end up regretting that. I bet it must be lonely without me there, but don't you worry about that. I'll be coming with the others tomorrow to get married to you, Sensei. What? That should be interesting. Nana-chan and Pops are coming too, of course. Hmm, let's see, what other news is there? Huh? Ah! On the other end, it sounds like Teddy turned around and a melodramatic scream rings out. I shift the a phone a little farther away from my ears. Business as usual. My guess is that Yosuke just got back up and saw Teddy with the swiped phone. I think I know them well enough to work out whether what'll happen next. It, Teddy, I was still Why is- you, uh, you know what? It's so sad that Teddy is like so- It's sad that Teddy is that bad that you is not even phased by shit like that anymore. Teddy just throws out casually, we're gonna get married! And you's like, yep. Not even phased anymore. No! Yosuke! Violence is <sighs> the answer! Sounds like you two are still getting along. What gave you that idea? Anyway, that's the gist of it. We're coming tomorrow. Tell Risa and Naoto we said hi. See ya! See you tomorrow. Huh? Are you done with the studio, you cook? I turn to the familiar voice and see Inoue-san standing there with a can of coffee in his hand. It seems pretty late already, though. Being the manager of a teen idol must be a pretty demanding job. No, not yet. I was just taking a call. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry about the commotion this afternoon. Is Risei-chan still with you? Yes, she's helping us rehearse. That reminds me. I don't think I've thanked you yet. I'm still surprised that you agreed to perform. Would you like some coffee? I graciously, graciously accept the coffee and answer Inoue-san's smile with one of my own. Agreed to perform, Inoue-san's most likely referred to backup dancing at LMB. Thank you. We were surprised too. I never thought we'd be asked to perform with Risei in her comeback show. Risei-chan insisted on it as soon as her spot at the festival was decided. As close as you all are to her, you're still just ordinary folks. To be honest, wow. I was against it at first, but... Seeing you rehearse convinced me. I knew then this would be a great show. Is that so? <laughs> I've been working in this industry for quite a while now, you know. I've developed a sixth sense as a manager. There's no question that Risei Chan changed after getting to know you all. She always had something special that shined from within. But I feel like that's been polished to an even brighter gleam. When Risei Chan's with you, she seems to glow even more than usual. You don't say. That's why I decided to place my bets on all of you. Give you a place on the reborn Risei Kujikawa's big debut. Uh, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. <laughs> I hope I'm not just putting more pressure on by telling you this. Uh huh. I'm serious though. There's no need to worry. We're professionals. If you and your friends give 100%, then we'll amplify that energy and put on a hell of a show for the audience. As your friend's manager, I'll give you all the support I can as well. I know Isan usually seems like a fairly stoic person, but when he talks about Risei, his face really lights up. I guess even as a competitive showbiz professional, Risei has that much charm. I'm filled with sudden pride and relief from both his praise of Risei and his confidence in us. I can only reply with a grateful nod. Thank you. 
I forgot I was in a hurry. I'll talk to the management, so go ahead and keep using the studio. Make sure you're not up too late, though. I feel like, I'm sorry, I feel really uncomfortable that they made you look... Hot? I hate it. I understand. By the way, what's your hurry? Oh, it's probably nothing. Although, you haven't seen the Kanamine Kitchen Girls, have you? Or someone that looked like them, maybe? No, I haven't seen them. The only time I did was when you were introducing us. That's all right then. I'm sorry if I said anything to worry you. Well, I should. I think it's the eyes. So, I'll see you later. It's like a mix of the eyes, the the not as neat hair that he normally has. It's a little bit rougher than normal. Yep, yeah, it's that. I recall the four idols I met this afternoon as I, as I consider the situation. They might not be on Risei's level, but they're big names for Takara Productions. It seems odd that inoue a manager would ask me for their whereabouts. He looked somewhat flustered as well. Could something have happened? As, a, as I puzzle over it, someone bolts in front of me and trips, flailing wildly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Seeing her skid across the wax floor of the hallway like a baseball player sliding home catches me a bit uh, catches me a bit by surprise. <laughs> After an extreme fall like that, she might not be up to talking. Doing it anyway. Are you okay? Are you all right? Oh. Face first. That really hurt. Oh, someone saw me! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'll leave. Quietly, calmly, and right away. And with that, I'm gone! Okay. Damn, she's fast! The girl babbles on and on before she zooms off at full speed like a clumsy tornado. What was that all about? She took quite a fall. Did she hurt herself? Actually, I guess I've been off the phone with Yosuke for quite a while now. If I make the others wait any longer, Risei will probably get impatient and get Nato up and practicing again. If that happened, Nato would definitely hold a grudge against me. It's probably be best if I hurry back to the studio. Having reached a conclusion, I quickly head back with coffee in hand to where Risei and Nato are waiting. She really went people run. Hey, there you are, senpai. Welcome back. Here it is, the pre-LMB report. Wow, somebody's already uploaded the vid. When I get back, I find Rise and Nanto in conversation while looking at their cell phones. Rise beckons me over and I slide and I sidle behind them. It looks like they were looking at websites affiliated with LMB Fest. I look at the phone screen as well and see a reporter with the four members of Kanami and Kitchen we, we met this afternoon. Sure enough, it's the girls we met earlier. We're live with the members of Kanamine Kitchen. Any comments for your fans? Yes. Well then, I'm Tomoe Sayama, your soft lamb. I may be a bit gamey, but one bite and you'll be hooked. Come to Love Meets Bonds, and I'll see to it you have the time of your life. Mommy Wesigi, your fluffy hen and delicious to the bone. I'm always number one, and so's my soup stock. What? <laughs> I'm in this thing, so you better come see me. If you don't, I'll never speak to you again. I'm Samomo Ujima, everyone's big lift. I'm a pudgy ball of fun who rolls around all day, every day. <laughs> Everyone, if you don't spend time with me, I'm gonna cry. I am Nozomi Nakahara, your noble stag. As powerful as I am beautiful, my gallantry will sweep you off your feet. I look forward to an amazing night spent together. This Love Meets Bonds Festival will be a special day for ourselves and you. 
I have been following you ever since the end dance video. Kisses from France. Thank you for the 100 bits, friend. I see, it's an interview with the members of Konami Kitchen since they're performing at LMB. In any case, that had quite an impact. Should we think of a greeting like this too? My gaze drifts while I'm lost in thought, and Nato mutters sounding a bit overwhelmed. Those are some unusual taglines. A lamb, hen, piglet, and stag? I suppose it's unique, but... Well, their whole shtick as an idol group is that they're all edible meats. Edible meats? The... They're up for consumption? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many idols nowadays, you won't survive if you don't stand out from the crowd. Though that's not the only thing they have going for them. I hate the innuendos. The battle between the corrupt, impossibly demanding producer and the poor, hardworking idols. That's another angle they're taking that's got them a lot of their current popularity. A corrupt producer? Is that a common problem in the world of showbiz? Oh no, it's not actually like that. That's just another strategy to get them over with the public. Then again, Love knowing you, Crystal her, and chat. I sparkling have to wonder heart. if there isn't some sparkling truth to heart. Thank you so much for the 11 months, Leo. I appreciate the support. Uh, is that so? It's the same one who's the overall producer of LMB. It just go From Reese's description, it sounds like there are a lot of strategies like this in the showbiz world. Interesting. The reporter on screen moves towards an even bigger, even more flamboyant girl standing behind the other four members. Well then, let's finish up with a word to the fans from Konami-san. Oh, of course. Um, is around here okay? I've seen her on TV before. That's Konami Mashita. She's the lead member of Konami Kitchen. While I was on break, they started calling her the next Rosette. It's frustrating, but she's definitely hot right now. Even with my comeback, I keep wondering if I can come out on top anymore. Wait a sec. Okay, she's definitely had a boob job. <laughs> Hello, I'm Konami Mashita, your prize cow. My meat is marbled, my movement is slow, and I sleep off every meal. Everyone, join me in wishing that the weather will be bright and sunny on the day of the festival. It's been hot lately, and we all get sweaty in the sun, so make sure you bathe and brush your teeth while you're at it. I wish there was, like, a proper word. Just one word to describe how I'm feeling, because it's like a mix of ten different things. <laughs> I think confused is the one that comes out on top. Thank you, Konamine! And I take it you all have some closing remarks? Of course! Well then, everyone, on the day of LMB, our meat will be extra delicious, so... Enjoy every last bite! That's all for our pre-Love Meets Bonds Festival report. <laughs> oh, that's so exhausting. Inoue-san wasn't with the group when we saw them this afternoon. Inoue-san mentioned she was doing PR for her solo photo book. To be honest, Konami sells much more than the other four. I mean, the group's named after her. I've been feeling this way since filming the TV commercial, but... All those appearing on stage for this event will be industry professionals, no? Maybe amateurs like us shouldn't participate in this after all. There you go with that again. Don't worry about it. When it comes to outsized personalities, we're a match for Konami's group. I'm not so sure that's something to be proud of. Me neither. <laughs> I, I said you'll be fine. Anyway, it's getting late. Why don't we get in one last run through before calling it a night? It's that late already? Akihiko be like protein. Thank you for the hundred bits. Yosuke Senpai and the others will be here tomorrow. We'll want to be as ready as we can for the joint rehearsal. Well, that being said, I'm utterly spent. Please, <laughs> let me sit out on this one. What? Seriously? Okay, then go ahead and kick back now, Tokun. You've still got some juice left though, right, you Senpai? Juice. Yeah, yep, I got that juice. Uh of course uh if you uh of course. Oh god, uh sure, I can keep going. That's what I'm talking about. Give this last one everything you got. All right, you senpai. Let me know when you're ready to start. Finally, tutorial? I, I, yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm assuming. Hello, everyone. Oh, no. Hello, Teddy here. Well, Sensei and the others are learning their steps, we ought to try some dancing too. 
Let's start with the basics. Press the buttons to match your timing with the flying notes. I should have not done this. You get the idea? This was a mistake. All right, your turn now. Feel the rhythm and press those buttons. This was a mistake. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, time for lesson two. Sometimes you'll see rings that look like this. Those are scratches. For these, you just flick the left to right analog stick. Even if you mess these ones up, it doesn't count. Oh as no! A can I change so this? Don't stress out <gasps> over them. When the I um I changed it circle, in just move the stick Persona in any Five direction. to like to toggle it on the R1 button. Wait a sec! That last one looked kind of funky, right? This is called a favor ring. They're pretty much like scratches. But can I config? Oh, wait, this is great. Um, cause yeah, this game is really quiet for some reason. I'm just gonna turn everything up. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just put it all the way up. Oh, L1, R1, yes. Yes. I don't know how people do it on analog sticks. If you get enough oh, I can end the tutorial. Oh, cool! Fuck you. <laughs> <sighs> I love the adrenaline from the dance fade and take a deep breath to calm my pulse. Today's practice tired me out, but it looks like I managed to dance through it. I don't want to sound pretentious or anything, but I think I've been moving a lot, a lot more smoothly lately. In the beginning, all I could hope for was to just get through the steps. Kind of strange that I'm getting used to this when it's uh, when it used to be such an ordeal. Good job. We haven't been practicing long, and you've improved so much already! Oh, that was amazing to watch, Senpai. I must improve my own performance to match. You play with analog sticks, sticks you have ascended. I can't do it. Like, on the really fast modes? Like, whenever I was trying all night, I couldn't imagine doing that with analog sticks. Mm-mm. At Risei and Nato's praise, I smile in return, then take a moment to uh, take a moment to towel off. That's when I hear a slow clapping from the room's entrance. We all glance over. Huh? Miss Ochimizu? At Risei's words, my attention goes to the woman leisurely stride stride <laughs> striding towards us, not straddling towards us. <laughs> From her elegant formal appearance, I get a sense of pride, dignity, and unmistakable authority. That demeanor, could she be the overall producer of the LMB Fest that Risei mentioned? Indeed. It was most impressive. I even left my meeting early to see for myself how things were going. Do you need something? We're in the middle of rehearsal. I wouldn't have come if I had no business here. How low Takara Productions has fallen. I only permitted this farce because Inoue begged me. Risei Kujikawa, don't tell me that you intend to put these children on a stage. They're barely at the level of a school performance. Ouch. I think I explained before, but we have the organizer's approval for my friends to come on stage with me. My fans are cheering for us, and my agency made the call that this will be a good way to push my name. Yes. I'm sure your fans would say that. Though I'm curious to know what the fans of the other idols, who have no interest in Risei Kuchikawa, would think of it. That's... My apologies. I retract the question. It's useless asking you anyway, as you're nothing but a pretty face. Ouch! Nothing but... That what good can come of complaining to a plastic dress-up doll? Your puppet masters are the ones who should know their place. That would be Inoue. Or, in fact, Takura Productions as a whole. What? Outrage flashes across Risei's face, and the room is suddenly tense. This could get ugly. This producer, Ochimizu, is some of, uh, some of what she's saying is correct, but it isn't something we'll take lying down. It's not just Risei. Even though we can keep a better handle on our emotions, Nanto and I are feeling that same anger. Before Risei has a chance for an outburst, I step forward and make calm eye contact with Miss Ochimizu. Uh, we'll pull it off. We'll get it done. All of us. Oh, I will. 
You can count on that. I don't intend to compromise on quality, even if I must work with amateurs. No event that I produce will feature any perfunctory performances. Practice until you drop. You're free to make a fool of yourself in here, but no mistakes will be tolerated on stage. And so Chimizu makes her brief speech in the same curt tone, unfazed by my gaze, and then turns on her head, heading for the door. No wonder she's risen so high in the world of showbiz. Though I, though a part of me is impressed, I squash that feeling and continue staring at her as she walks away. Then again, it could be that your moment in the spotlight will be removed entirely. Jesus! Rise Kujikawa, depending on what happens, I may have you pair up with Konami at LMB. The new set list will be released tomorrow. Once it's settled which way we'll go, I'll contact Inoue about our decision. Huh? Wait, what? I don't understand what you're talking about! You don't need to understand. Just do what you're told. I've already discussed this with Takara Productions. If we go that direction, then your friend's presence won't be required. Excuse me, but our friends will be here tomorrow. And they're traveling quite a distance just to perform at this festival. My sincerest apologies for that. We'll have seats reserved so that they may enjoy the concert. Yikes. Miss Ochimizu abruptly exits, leaving us in shock. What's going on here? I'm struggling to grasp what just happened. We won't be performing? Nato must be thinking the same thing. When I meet her eyes, she looks as bewildered as I am. What was that about? I'm gonna go have a talk with Inoue-san about this. Well, video game's over. There is no video game. No dancing. She's gone. What's going on here? Let's go after, go after her. I'm not so sure. Even if we do, I doubt we'll learn much. Risa-san? Oh! It isn't Risa at the door, but a strangely familiar girl. Where have I seen her before? Right, she's the girl I saw earlier in the hallway, the one who had a, quite a nasty face plant. Uh, I, excuse me, is Ms. Chimizu? Chimizu? Oh, you mean the producer. She left a moment ago. Seeing Nanto look to me for confirmation, nod to the girl before us in assurance. More importantly, I had forgotten to ask her earlier, uh, but I hope she didn't hurt herself too badly when she tripped. Oh. Excuse me, but you are? Senpai, you're not gonna... Huh? Konami, what are you doing here? Whoa, that's... Whoa, it's Rise senpai Way too long time no see. Oh. I really should have put that together. After Rise bursts through the door, the girl greets her cheerfully as if they know each other. This place is a showbiz office, so it's only natural that Risei's acquaintances would be here. However, we're caught a bit off guard. And I think Risei called this girl Konami just a moment ago? Wait, is she really? Uh, sorry, Risei, but can you explain to us what's going on here? Oh, right. Let me introduce you guys. This is Konami Mashita, lead member of Konami in Kitchen. Konami-san? Wait, the same one who was in that video? <laughs> Surprised. Konami's like this whenever she's not on camera. She's all reserved and boring looking. <laughs> it's a lot different than her image when she's on the job. Ouch. And that's simply how it works? But she seems like a completely different person. <laughs> I get that a lot. She really does seem completely different. It's hard to believe that this Konami-san is the same as the Konami-san on the video. Still, now's not the time for that. We need to hear what Risei's come back to tell us. I sort out my thoughts and take a deep breath before looking to Risei. That aside, Rise, what were you about to say before? Oh, right. I couldn't find Inoue-san, but I overheard something weird. Weird, you say? Yeah. Have you heard anything, Konami? About Nozomi and the others disappearing? Oh, shit! Disappeared? The Konami and Kitchen Girls? Yeah. Looks like they can't get a hold of them at all, and everyone's running around looking for them. I bet that's why Miss Ochimizu said those things earlier. Oh, the song! Sounds like a flute version. I like it. Risei's revelation is enough to shock us all into brief silence. They can't get in contact with the members of Konami and Kitchen? We just met them this afternoon. I see. That must have been the reason Ninoe-san asked me earlier if I had seen them. 
And then there is Miss Ochimizu. This would explain why she suddenly ordered Rise to pair with Konami-san and why she told us that we might may not be performing. At that moment, everything connects. Next to me, Nalato rests her hand against her chin thoughtfully, as if making deductions. I see. If they remain missing until the day of the festival, there'll be an opening in the lineup. Miss Ochimizu, worried about this possibility, mentioned her suggestion about Risei-san and Konami-san performing as a pair. But we just saw those girls this afternoon. Would the producer go to those links just because she lost contact with the group for a few hours? Probably. This is Miss Ochimizu we're talking about. I know about that discussion already. Miss Ochimizu told me it'll work out as long as you're around. Still, I can't help but worry about them. That's why I was looking for Miss Ochimizu. It'll work out. But they're the rest of your own group. And not only that, they're well-known celebrities. What if they've gotten swept up in something serious? Uh, I don't know. But she said she'll keep a lid on this until the festival's over. What? Is that what she thinks of us? Idols aren't toys that can be replaced. Yikes. Mm. If this truly is a case of them going missing, there are a number of measures we can take. First, let's speak with the event organizers and have them file a missing persons report with the police. After that... Uh, hold on a moment. Risa and Nato look at me in surprise as my at my suddenly halting the conversation. Ah, <sighs> please don't give me that look. Risa's anger and Nato's precautions are both justified. I've learned these past few months that the showbiz world can be pretty cold, but this is something different. As far as we can tell, four girls have gone missing. This sounds like a case. However, we need more information. I need to look. Uh, I looked at Konami-san and asked the question on my mind. Konami-san, when did they lose contact with the rest of the group? Huh? Um, not too long ago, I think. I only heard about it from Mizo Chimizu a moment ago. Like I said, we met them just this afternoon. Even if we went to the police with this, I doubt they'd pay us any mind. Plus, if this doesn't turn out to be anything serious, wouldn't it put the girls in a bad position? Oh, yeah, that's true. You're right. I gave Inoue-san a real scare a while back myself, but even then, he waited quite a while before going to the police. If he had reported me missing at the time, it could have snowballed into a much bigger problem. Oh, uh, same here. One time, I slept through a day off I finally got, and even through the day after that, my agency apologized to our partners and said I'd been laid up with a cold. All that oversleeping gave me such a headache. That's... Not as serious as the situation here, but you, Senpai, may have a point. Well then, why don't we do this? If no one has heard from the rest of the group by tomorrow, we'll go ask the organizers to take the necessary- And if they refuse to make a move, then we'll take things into our own hands and notify the police directly. That sounds reasonable. Yosuke and the others will be here tomorrow too, along with Dojima-san. Ah, the culprit! <laughs> I have a lot of reasons for holding off on doing anything drastic until tomorrow, but this is the main reason. Ryotaro Dojima, my uncle from Inova, will be coming here tomorrow along with his daughter Nanako. He might be on vacation, but my uncle is a working police detective for a case like this. I'm sure he'd be the best person to go to for advice. So, even if the um, police Nanto are out is the question, best one? Dojima-san might hear us out. Good call, senpai. You're so smart. Yep. Rise clas clasps her hands in front of her chest a bit melodramatically while Naoto nods as if to hide her satisfied smile. What a nostalgic feeling. I can easily tell what they're feeling by their reactions. That's what I notice in the corner of my eye. Kanami-san is staring, dumbfounded, unable to join in our conversation. Whoa, you all get along so well. That's so neat. We've been through a lot together, that's all. Dojima like did it. we all became close friends before we knew it. We all know Dojima's the culprit. Come on, Konami. No spacing out now. You're helping out too, okay? Oh, thank you so much, Denik. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Huh? Wait. Really? You'll let me join you? Um, why wouldn't we? You came looking for Miss Ochimizu because you were worried about the others, no? Wouldn't that make your goal the same as ours? We won't force you, though. You decide what's best for you, Konami-san. What's best for me? Oh, I feel the same as you guys. I'm worried about them. Then you're already one of us. You're part of our circle. Oh, hooray! I've made some friends! Let's meet up again once the others get here tomorrow. Oh, but you have work, right, Konami? Well, if anything comes up, I'll make sure to email you. Oh, uh, right! 
right! You know, Konami, you need to stop waiting for other people to speak first. You're an idol. Assert yourself more. People only think shyness is cute for so long. True. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, such a harsh world they live in. <laughs> All right, it's pretty late, so let's oh. call it a night. I'm sure Naoto-kun wants to freshen up too, so... Senpai, we're gonna ask you to stay in the room next door for a little while. Let's meet back here in a bit. I... I have an early morning tomorrow, so I'll be excusing myself. I just have to sleep in the nap room. Gotcha. Let's get to it, everyone. Economy sus. <laughs> we nod at Risei's words and each go our separate ways. I need to freshen up and wait for Risei and Nato to finish changing, so I take my things and head to the room next door we're we're next door we're using. Still, I'm worried. Economy and Kitchen's members' whereabouts are unknown. What could have happened to them? Guys, I think we should vote out Konami. After getting ready to leave and killing enough time for Risa and Nato to change, I return to the studio and find the door ajar. I guess they have finished getting ready to go. I take a, a quick gl <laughs> just <laughs> don't mind me. I take a quick glance inside just to be safe and see them standing around their belongings, lost in conversation. Looks like I may have made their made them wait inside. But much as I hate to admit it, once she became the producer, Konami immediately started taking off. Sorry for the wait. Are you both done? Oh. Were you talking about Miss Ochimisu? Oh, Senpai, are you ready to go? Yep, we're talking about her. She's always like that. So even though she's legit, everyone calls her corrupt. They say she's the worst producer ever. She overworks her idols and makes shameless cash grabs from the fans. Some go so far as to call her a demon or a money grubber, including fans of the idols she's produced. When she started with Konami and Kitchen, she had footage shown on TV of her forcing impossible demands on those girls. I see. So by showing images of them being abused as they earnestly pursued their dreams, it would only encourage the audience to cheer them on out of sympathy. Exactly! That's the kind of thing she's good at! But doesn't it seem like cheating? Plus, if it really was all an act, I might respect it. But she's exactly the same when the cameras aren't rolling, so sometimes I seriously wonder if she's not faking it. <laughs> Having been on the receiving end, I can see why you'd think we so. We are an hour into this dancing game and we have yet to boogie down. I know! I'm so upset! Right? She always makes us do insane things without running them by us. Freaking stories. <laughs> I wish she'd think about the people who actually have to do that stuff. That sounds rough. What has she made you do, Rise? Wow, you really want to know? Well, let's just say it's stuff I'd rather forget. This thing about me forming a duo with Konami, too. Sure, I understand why now, but how was I supposed to know that? What if... Konami and Kitchen going missing is another one of Miss Ochimizu's promotional tactics. I hadn't considered that possibility. W wait, scratch that idea. Even Miss Ochimizu wouldn't go that far, I think. I see. I think that Konami is doing this There's because like mention, which may she no fears this competition and wants to be the top idol, so she's getting rid of the competition. And Rise is next. I heard an odd rumor regarding the festival. An odd rumor? Yes. If you go to the festival website at midnight, it plays an unusual video. The video shows an idol known to be dead dancing in it. Those who watch the video to the end are taken away to the other side and never awaken. Or so the rumor goes. W whoa, Nato kun Where is this my crystal from? theory? I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to scare you. Sure. It might change though. Of course, I don't believe this tall tale about some dead idol. Not one bit. <laughs> Naoto. Naoto-kun, you're scared, huh? <laughs> yes, but that isn't important. <laughs> I didn't bring this up to talk about that. Rise and I can't help but exchange looks at Naoto's inability to hide her anxiety. Still, she's right. Now's not the time to be worrying about something like that. Go on, Naoto. Yes, anyway... There's something that disturbs me about this rumor. What's that? Well, doesn't it seem a bit similar to our prior experiences? When you look at a switched-off TV at midnight on a rainy day, you'll see your soulmate. You're talking about the Midnight Channel. The cause behind the mystery we were faced with when we were just still ordinary high school students. A world within TVs, the monsters called Shadows lurking there, and an enigmatic serial murder case centered in the town of Inaba. 
All the memories of last year flash through my mind in an instant. I suddenly ch a sudden chill runs down my spine. We await Nanto's next words. Our growing e unease justified for once. Of course, it's hard to say how much we can trust these sorts of rumors. On the other hand, this particular rumor has some troubling aspects to it. S such as? There have been genuine victims, and their numbers have been rapidly increasing. Though naturally, there's no proven correlation between the victims and the rumor. It's quite possible that the rumor sprung up in reaction to the victims. But it's a fact that a good handful of people are in a comatose state right now. A coma? Seriously? I never heard about that. Hey, is something like before happening again? Is this another case with another world? That's what Rise is probably trying to ask. I was wondering the same thing myself, but Nanto shakes her head in response to Rise's question. There's no knowing whether this is a case yet or not. I only briefly heard about it the other day during work. I was going to look into it. And if it did turn out to be connected to that case, I thought it might be necessary for me to consult everyone about it. The LMB website at midnight, huh? Offhand, I glanced toward the clock, high on the studio wall. 11.58 p.m., almost midnight. If I pointed it out, at the very least, the three of us here could check the truth behind the rumor. But... Look at it. It's almost midnight. Why don't we check it out for ourselves? I knew you'd say that. In all honesty, I doubt that this rumor has anything to do with the disappearances. But all the same, it may be faster to get to the bottom of this rumor ourselves. Wait, you want us to look at it right here, right now? Geez, fine. But we're all gonna look at it together. Senpai, you come over here. Naoto-kun, you're over there. And whatever happens, no running away, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Love meets bonds. Oh, here it is, the official LMB site. Risei taps her cell phone's touchscreen and the LMB Fest website comes up. Set list, ticket details, participating artists, several topics and details have been added, but the website seems mostly unchanged from other times we've checked it. The site appears to be operating normally. See? Nothing's coming up. That rumor has to be fake. I check the clock on the wall again and see that it's now a minute before midnight. I just hope nothing unusual happens. Wait, what is this? Risei's voice pulls me back to the phone screen and I see something completely new being displayed. Crackling static fills the screen and an eerie light flickers. Countless shadows sway in the visual noise, just barely visible. Dun dun dun! They do look like human silhouettes. And they seem to be dancing, don't they? Horror film! Da 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 da, this is a horror film. That's all of it. This has to be just a prank. I'm gonna check with the admins about this. Oh, <laughs> or it's part of Miss Ochimizu's PR. I bet she spread that weird rumor to get Konami's group to sell more. That's when I notice it, just on the edge of hearing. What was that? I concentrate, trying to figure out what that sound was. If it's just us here, I can't have heard something that unusual, right? What's the matter, Senpai? Did you hear something just now? I did. Yeah, I heard it too. No way. So it wasn't just me? A voice? What is that? I follow Otto's gaze and notice an eerie light swaying near the studio ceiling. Like a fog machine or a stage pyrotechnic effect, it's lit up by a strange light. It's as if it's looking down upon us. Come and say, could you come up? I've prepared a place just for you. Who are you? How do you know my... Hey, 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 aren't those the same bows that were on Konami's hair?
kind of sus. Senpai! You, Senpai! <sighs> oh, you're up. Thank goodness. I stare at the sound of Risei calling my name. Where am I? The last thing I remember is a weird light in the Takara production studio, and then... Are you two okay? Risei, Naoto, are you alright? We're okay. You're the one we're worried about. I just found about. you this week and we Benjamin saw the all. Persona videos. Thank you for the amazing content. Aw, that's super kind, dude. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Captain Ben. I'm glad you yes. enjoyed the videos. I'm glad to see you conscious as well. Though... It's so dark here, I can't see anything. Where are we? My guess is we're in the other world that those who see the video are taken to. It seems the rumor was true. <laughs> the piano! It's that voice. Welcome, Risei Kujikawa, to our midnight stage. <laughs> midnight stage? That's right. An ideal world where no one hurts or gets hurt. I only intended to invite Risei-san here. But oh well. I've prepared a stage for you all. Here, take a look. Damn. <gasps> Suddenly a dim light turns on and we realize where we are. Well, perhaps it's not exactly where we are, but what kind of place this is. We appear to be standing on a stage, a fairly gaudily decorated one like for a concert. The stage itself is, isn't lit, but it's overly decorated and exaggerated in every way possible. Simply put, its design screams out, Risei's back in showbiz. What in the world is this? Just who the heck are you? Not only did you drag us here, you put this thing together. What are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> Never mind that. I just want to connect with all of you. Look, see how many have been waiting for your comeback. Do -do 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 -do. Are these shadows? Come now. Won't you sing? Dance for them. It'll make everyone happy. The shadows that fill the seats give an eerie cheer and sway their bodies as if to commend us. What are these shadows? They've been waiting for our... no, for Risei's performance? Our in closer inspection, the shadows' bodies are all connected from their necks, hands, and legs with strange ribbons, with writhing as if alive themselves. This isn't good. If a battle breaks out, it won't be easy breaking through their numbers with just the three of us. I've had enough of this! You kidnap us to who knows where, and now you want us to dance with these shadows? To hell with that! Send us back home, now! The... the shadows... This is weird. All of a sudden, the shadows stop moving and a silent stillness falls upon the area. At the same time, the music, no, more like eer an eerie song. I've been hearing ever since entering this world begins increasing in volume as if encroaching far from, from far beyond. No, you're all going to dance. That's what oh, do we finally get to dance? Look, I don't care if I'm about to fucking die, I just want to dance. <laughs> Suddenly, we're hit with an overwhelming weakness we have to fight just to remain standing. Do you know if there are any new mods or any available mods? Seems like chat isn't listening to the no spoilers rule. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, because I don't read chat anyway. I don't read chat for that very reason. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Tay, for the 39 months. I appreciate it. I just don't think any of my mods are around right now, so I'm, I'm well aware whenever my mods aren't here, and then I just don't read chat. It's kind of how it is. So that song and the shadows dance like it sucks, and us. I would love to, I would love to read more, but I, I also don't want my own experiences to be ruined. 
I instinctively sense Nanto's intent and will react and we react at the same time. It's as if Nanto's quick draw and my call to the persona in my heart were completely simultaneous. Ready? Persona. Aw oh, shit. Wait. Dude, that'd be sick if like the personas also danced with us. What? My bullet disappeared. And Senpai's persona too? Ah fuck, that would have been cool. Imagine like your dance partner, like for fever, being like uh being your persona and you actually dance with your persona. Oh, that would have been sick. Is this your doing? I want to dance with Izanagi hand in hand. <laughs> Unbelievable. Both my persona and Nacho's bullet disappeared like smoke before they even reached the shadows. Just like the mysterious voice says, it looks like anything violent at all gets somehow negated in this world. God, this is really loud background uh, noise. What do you want from us? <laughs> Come on, let's connect with these eternal bonds. Eternal bonds? So we're getting married just like Teddy wanted. <laughs> Why don't you make good children? It's alright. Don't be frightened. Let's dance together. Won't you join us, Risei Kujikawa? <laughs> <laughs> This is bad. No, I can't. Breezy son. Fair. We need to move. The shadows are being affected by our music and movement. It's just as I thought. That eerie song we're hearing is forcing the shadows to dance. If we can interrupt that song and the shadows dance, we might get through this. But how? I don't know. But one idea comes to mind. If we can force them into a different song and dance like before, then maybe... What a child, child. Oh shit! No, now to good. You're connected with us. Now you can become the new everyone wants you to be. Senpai, raise us on, please. Stop there. They're there. What's happening? We just have to get those shadows moving to our music, right? Rise. Senpai. If that stuff Naoto-kun was saying is true, then there is something we can do to help her. Right now. Uh huh? I'll try and use my persona. M maybe I can- Oh wait, I just thought of something totally random. <laughs> the way they reacted to my music earlier. I think I might be able to affect them a little bit. But- Man, this is, uh, this is very anime. That's why I need your help too, senpai. If music and movie <laughs> that shot. Them, then we should be able to pull them into our <laughs> That shot is so fucking anime. Don't worry. Just show off your cool dance. I know you can do it, Senpai. Alright, you Narakami dancing away. Let's go. I get to see how you dances. I can't imagine that you you probably has like a lot Let's of style. More probably on the tones of hip-hop. Oh god! I don't get it! Oh god, it just goes right into it! Oh, get it, you Narukami. Alright! Yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm trying to watch. 
Yeah. But there ain't no other way. If I can just keep this up. You're doing great. I can feel what's in your heart. All right. This is about what I expected out of you, Narakami. Oh, nice! paying attention to notes. Yeah. Oh, and then it just repeats. Yo, you know Kami's grooving. I love the little icons at the top of the screen too. It's working. The shadows are going for it. Alright. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. How's that? Lots of repeating. Persona is the power of the heart. Depending on your heart's true nature, it changes fate. Not just for hurting, not just for fighting. Right now, I know I can show you how I really feel. Right. We will never stop changing. Answer That's a good style call. for you. He's a nugget. <gasps> oh! Wait, what? my ragged breath and stand locked in place and the adrenaline dies down i see only i only realize it after dancing in front of an audience for the first time but it dancing really is an expression just cross stretch from the festival for his dance if you end up doing it well thank you for the 300 bits and for the 100 bits trancia i appreciate it that was so epic it seems like conveying what's in your heart is easier in this world compared to ours. At first, the shadows were just pushing that eerie song at me, but I could feel their hearts being drawn to our music and dancing. Okay, um, yeah, this is what I'm confused about. So, <laughs> this doesn't take place in high school. Why do they never stop wearing their high school uniforms? Like, I, 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 does you just not want to ever take it off? Because, like... I don't understand. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Anime? Like, we just we just keep the uniforms on? <laughs> that eerie voice in the shadows must have been using that system to their advantage to try and control us. Instead, we use that against them. I, I was, like, looking at that earlier, and I was, like, very confused. <laughs> like, they're practicing their dance moves. They literally go to a, like, a studio to... Uh, to practice dancing. And they wear... <laughs> you don't wear your school uniform for practicing your dance. <laughs> they should have him, given him, like, a new outfit or something. Uh, anyway, I just had to put that out there. It was, it was bucking me. And so we used that against them. In other words, we won them over, still. Good job, senpai! That was a fantastic... <laughs> Actually, what was that persona just now? There was something different about it. The power of anime! <laughs> I'm not sure. But when I thought I wanted to convey my feelings to those shadows, my persona responded Because especially at this point in time, he's not a second year. It should be. 
they talk about high school in the past tense. Like, back when we were high school. I don't know how many years this place this takes place after, but like... They talk about it in the past tense. And that's why you're our leader. Only you can pull off something that amazing. <laughs> Come on. It's true, ever since I felt myself conveying my heart to the shadows, I had a kind of a newfound determination. I had nothing concrete backing it up, but I still felt it, felt it clearly. In truth, my persona was responding to my desire to express my feelings and took on a new form. We can still continue to change. Ever since the case ended and we got back to our normal day to day, I felt certain, uncertain, but wondering how I could move forward. But just then, my persona erased any doubts that I had. Uh, I... Nato kun we did it! Senpai gave him a super sweet show! I sensed it as well. That's what allowed me to return to my right mind. You sensed it? But you got caught by I that sensed it. thing and... Yes. Because of that, I learned something about those shadows. Really? What did you find out? When caught in that ribbon, it's as if you're forced to be the you that others desire, rather than how you perceive yourself. You're made to believe you want to be tied to the other shadows with that ribbon, even if it means discarding who you truly are. I feel like that just described the whole plot. <laughs> the most dreadful thing is that I myself felt sure that it was what I needed to do. Just as I thought, with Nato's theory and my intuition, it seems clear that the song and the shadows dancing are meant to bind us to their will. As I speculate, Rise seems somehow unhappy with Nato's words. She pouts indignant. That's crazy! You're no one else but you, Nato-kun! Well, in hindsight, I can see how bizarre the assumption was. So my theory is that the ribbon has the power to induce those beliefs. Ah! Yeah, I sensed it too. Well, they just inadvertently all explained I everything. Doing, I felt like I couldn't <laughs> let my guard down at all. That the shadows would take me if I did. That no theories need to be made here. The shadows probably have a similar power. So what I did was concentrate on getting my message across as I danced. You said something like that earlier too. What did you want to tell them? I just did what you said, Rise. Dancing is about expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. Right? Right. So I danced to show the shadows who I am, not what they wanted to see. Huh. And as a result, I remembered who I am. It's ironic that the key to this confrontation was the true self I once tried so hard to deny. One shouldn't abandon oneself just because they've been connected to others. I feel that those shadows were released from the ribbon's binding because they sensed that as well. Um, Rise-san, you didn't get that sense from watching him dance? Uh, of course I did! I could tell his dancing was different from usual. I just couldn't put it into words because of all that persona stuff that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you got the message loud and clear, Rise. Suddenly, the cheering shadows enveloped in the glow shine even brighter and begin dissolving as if melting into light. It's a beautiful sight, despite the situation we're stuck in, we can't help but marvel. Wow! It's beautiful! The shadow's presence is fading. What's going on? It's like they're returning somewhere. Returning? To where? I don't know, but that's the feeling I get. With that weird ribbony thing gone, it seems they all disappeared from this world. Maybe they realized something wasn't right, like you did, Nato-kun. Yeah, let's hope so. Still, what could those shadows have been? They didn't seem quite like the shadows we knew. Nato has a point. We're out of danger for now, but the situation's left us with countless questions and barely any answers. First, we need to find some way to escape from here. <gasps> oh no! No escape! You don't like this stage. After all the trouble I went through to prepare it. You again? I've had enough of this! Is your idea of eternal bonds tying up the shadows with that thing? You've got one twisted mind! That's right. If this is the connection you speak of, then it's much too one-sided. <laughs> It's okay. If that's what you think, then I certainly won't force you to stay here. 
But don't get so cocky just because you set those back. Our bonds are eternal. There are countless others to forge them with. Hugh, are you gonna bring someone else in here? <laughs> Sorry, but you've already stepped off the stage. The next performances will be beginning soon. Featuring Tamami and the others. Oh shit. Tamami? You don't mean... At that instant, everything clicks. But that would be the worst case scenario. I only hope my conclusion is wrong. I force myself to speak up, speaking with as much dread as determination. Kanamine Kitchen. The members of Kanamine Kitchen. Did you kidnap them? <laughs> Why do you care? It has nothing to do with you. I'll try scanning the area. Come, Persona! There are some places where shadows are bunched up. One, two, four total? <gasps> I found someone! Is this... Tomoe? <laughs> no playing around in the venue. It's off limits to unauthorized personnel. Rize hastily dismisses her persona and embraces herself, but creeping uh, ribbons are already slithering up our legs. We completely let our guard down. Bound in ribbons, my arms, my arm puts up no resistance as her tremendous force drags at my body. Ah! No. <laughs> Goodbye, Rise Kujikawa. Game over. Oh, we're back. Everything's fine. Is this? It only takes a moment to realize that the three of us are back in the same Tokura production studio we were in before we got sent to the studio to that world. Rise and Nanto seem to have made ungraceful landings, but they're all right for the most part. Ow! Jeez! Is this how you treat an idol? Yes. <laughs> Looks like we're back in the studio. So as soon as we reject the bond that we uh. spoke of, we're pro At least we're all back safe. Uh-huh. I was honestly bracing myself for the worst. <gasps> but wait! That reading I got a second ago! It was definitely Tomoe's. I'm certain that's who I picked up on. It's the same Tomoe-san we met earlier? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's right. Rize had picked up on some presence right before we were forced out. If it really was Tomoe-san, then she must be still trapped there even as we speak. If that's the case, there's something else I need to confirm immediately. Um, and the others? What about the other girls? Kanamine Kitchen is Konami-san and four other members, right? I don't know. That place was a lot bigger than I thought. The only reading I picked up on in the moment I had was Tomoe's. Given what we heard from Konami-san, it's safe to assume the rest of Kanamine Kitchen disappeared around the same time. You detected Tomoe-san's reading over there. The others are likely to have been taken as well. Yeah, Naoto's right. The rumored video clip that plays at midnight, victims who have fallen unconscious, and now a group of missing idols. This does seem to demand an investigation. First things first, though. What was that world we were in? The name Midnight Stage bothers me. There were shadows there, too. I don't know, but we should go back there. It seemed kind of like the TV world we used to go into. I want to dance! <laughs> Then there's that voice. <laughs> right now I'm feeling this evil person's time. side. You don't really think it's We're on the same side right now. Idol behind Dance, this, bitch. You? That's beyond my knowledge. Let's put that possibility aside for now. Yeah, that's not what we need to focus on right now. <sighs> the video that plays at midnight, a world apart from reality, shadows that lurk there, our personas, and the missing victims. Even at this stage, it's clear enough that this is beyond what normal people can handle. We need to sort through the situation and come up with some plan to rescue Tomoe-san and the others. Mm -hmm. Either way, I can't leave them in that awful place. Please, you senpai, Naoto-kun, could you help me out? I want to save them. Isn't it obvious? Do you even need an answer to that, Rise? I'm a bit shocked, in fact. Did you think we'd shrug it off as none of our concern? There are already victims, making this an honest-to-goodness case, and we're the only ones who can solve it. That's right, Rise was probably serious when she asked us, to, uh, asked us to do this, but the truth is, we've taken it back that she had to ask. This isn't about just anyone, our friends and our, our friends' friends are in trouble, and she's trying to save them. So of course there's no reason we wouldn't lend a hand. <sighs> yeah! Now that that's decided, we need a plan. 
Yosuke and the others will be here in the morning. I'm sure they'll help us out too. Let's go over the case once they join us. For now though, I think we should leave. We need our rest after all. Right. Things are gonna get busy, so we should rest while we can. Got it! I'll go ahead and email everyone about the situation. Oh! We shouldn't drag Konami into this, huh? I feel bad, but I won't tell her anything. Yeah, I agree. It's for her own safety. Okay, so I'll just contact our gang. Well then, you two ready to go home? Yeah. Very much so. Four members of Konami and Kitchen are missing. In a mysterious other world, we might be used to this by now, but doubt I'll be easy. I doubt it'll be easy. <laughs> I doubt it'll be easy. <laughs> oh, I like that. Looks like we'll have a lot to talk about when Yosuke and the others arrive. I follow Risei and Nato and head towards the studio exit. Oh, yeah! This shit. <laughs> that is how their festival began. What do you think? Fate is truly full of surprises. No, they faced themselves and gained the power to stand up against difficulties. But their next trial was quite different. Rather than a contest of strength, it required them to openly express themselves and convey their feelings. The woman smiles joyously. Dalton, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. However, this did not deter him, and as if in response to that firmness of will, his power changed its form, adapting perfectly to the new situation. <laughs> Fascinating, don't you think? By the way, have you thought about why you have found yourself here? No. <laughs> don't worry yourself over it. I don't have that answer for you. You're supposed to have all the answers. Now I'm definitely worried. <laughs> I asked only out of my own curiosity. Well then, allow me to show you a little more of the story. You're supposed to know all! What? When the woman raises her hand, that same light radiates from it, swallowing the surrounding scenery. Here is where we left off with their festival. I'm very scared. The next day, Risei calls Nato and me up. We might as well practice until the others arrive. Just as we're finishing up, I get word from Yosuke saying that they're here. We head down to the Takara Productions lobby to greet everyone as they come over from the train station. It's not long before we see their smiling faces again. Oh, God. Woohoo! I spot Sensei! Your friendly bear is back in town! That makes no sense when you're not in the costume, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's so nice and cool inside the office. Yosuke seems overwhelmed by the unexpected heat wave and takes exaggerated deep breaths while tugging on his collar. Ah, same old Yusuke. Yusuke. Hmm. Yosuke. <laughs> Even though they must have gotten Risei's message about what happened, none of them seem too phased. Though that doesn't necessarily mean that they're taking the situation lightly. It's more that they've already made up their minds about what to do. I'm glad you're all here. Hey, have you met any celebrities yet? Are they cute? Tell me everything! Yes, they were cute. No, they weren't. Uh, they weren't that cute. I wonder if I should take back what I said before. Yosuke is not struggling this off, str shrugging this off, is he? Kanji or Teddy is one thing, but seeing him like this is making me worry a little. Ah, <sighs> there's always someone like him. Come on, Yosuke-senpai, you were just here the other day to film the commercial. Yeah, but I was too nervous then to think about any of that stuff. Oh, the time has finally come! I'm in a big city, and not some dreary country town. And I get to hang out with celebrities! It's like a dream come true. Well, excuse us for living Cheers! in such a dreary place. Is that what you think of Inaba Yosuke-kun? Ahem, did you forget that I'm So many headphones. Too? Why are they all That's wearing headphones? Yosuke-senpai's been like this the whole trip over here. He's memorized every damn thing about that Kanamine chicken or whatever. Kanamine chicken! <laughs> I kept blabbering on and on about the girls nonstop. <laughs> Even knows their full names. Kanji continues to be the biggest mood. Dude, what? You're bringing that up now? 
Looks like the whole world's against him. I don't have any way to back him up either. All I can do is keep quiet while making a mental apology to Yosuke. A volley of cold stares and frigid words enough to blast away this sudden heat wave are launched at my partner. You're the worst. My partner. <laughs> Seriously the worst. Just completely terrible. Yosuke, you're awful. <laughs> I just got here and I'm already catching hell. And Teddy, what are you taking their side for? Looks like the dream is dead. <laughs> Mostly thanks to you. Uh, anyway, that aside, I had a message for you. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan are going to be running a little late. Sounded like he's been busy with work. Uh, that's too bad. But, then again, maybe it was accidentally, a actually, a blessing in disguise that Dojima-san and Nanako are arriving later. Since we know now that, that, that strange things are happening, I can share what we found out without any pointed questions from Dojima-san. I must have looked pretty grim since Yosuke pats me on the shoulder and flashes me an encouraging smile. Come on, cheer up, partner. Just have a little patience, and Nanako-chan will be here in no time. Man, that was one hell of a long trip. I've been sitting down so long, my butt's sore. We really should have taken the express train, but Yosuke had to insist we ride a bus instead. Dude, you guys are the ones who said you were low on cash. There's no way I could have paid for all your tickets. I have to say, you three aren't <laughs> looking very well. Are you okay? Did you sleep badly? The three of us can't help but exchange glances at Yukiko's question. I was planning on getting a good night's rest, but I kept thinking about the case and ended up getting almost no sleep. Seeing the way Nanta and Rise react, it must have been the same for them. A lot happened last night after all. You mean that midnight stage stuff? I got most of the story from Rise's email, though it was so out of nowhere that I had to ask a ton of follow-up questions. I read it too. Those girls are being held captive, right, Rise? Yeah. I'm sorry. You guys came all the way out here and I have to ruin it with bad news. Hey, no need to apologize, Rise-chan. Never fear. All the dance practice I've gotten in lately has been a good workout for me. She always makes me smile. And I've never missed a day of regular training either. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Count me in too. Look, look, behold the results of my training with Rise-chan. One, two, bam. Teddy puts his palms together and keeps his face at a fixed angle while craning his neck around. That kind of thing is called isolation in dance terms, but I don't remember Risei ever teaching Teddy any such moves. Where did he learn that? That has nothing to do with fighting shadows. <laughs> eh, you never know. I mean, it's gonna be our dancing that beats him this time around, right? Oh, right, yeah. Man, why dancing of all things? Because this is a dancing game! We're not sure how that really works. In fact... There are many things that we don't understand as of yet. <laughs> the game calling itself out. All we know is that our power won't Why the fuck shadows. did we make a dancing game? Bro, I don't know. This doesn't make fucking sense. Instead, we've but we do it anyway. We them by affecting them with our dance. They're trying to capture us with their dancing too, right? And it sounds to me like we ought to fight fire with fire. Mhm. Mm Expressing ourselves through dance. It sounds exciting. You guys, this isn't all fun and games. What a relief. Though everyone is chatting like normal, I can tell that they're already thinking about how to solve this case. As long as they're with us, I'm positive we can get to the bottom of any mystery. Thanks, everyone. It's time the investigation team got back in action. <laughs> I can't remember how many times that's happened by now. Well, call it fate or whatever. But if you ask me, that's just how we are. If we can save people, I'm all for it. I think it's definitely better than doing nothing. My magnificent moves will save all the innocent idols. And one oh of them boy. will fall madly in love with me, despite it being forbidden in the world of showbiz. Like that it happened. Man, I really can't take you anywhere. Wait a sec. What if Teddy's got a point? What if he's not entirely wrong this time? Is there even the slimmest of slim chances that it could happen for me? Oh my god. Never, as long as you're thinking like that. Uh. Ah, you're all here. I hope your long trip was a smooth one. Oh, hey, inoue san I turn to see the voice coming from behind us and find inoue san coming towards us with his usual smile. He must have been pass uh, passing by when he noticed us. He seems a little more tired today, though. Is it because economy and kitchen girls are missing? I hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Isn't this our chance? Want to try and get some information out of him? 
Huh? Wow, you're all in costume. <laughs> yeah, the show's still a ways off, but you seem so fired up already. Uh, well, we were thinking we should do a full group dress rehearsal, but we didn't know if there was any place to change, so we just wore our costumes. <laughs> I see, but you know, there are plenty of changing rooms available here. Goodness, Kanji-kun, your hair certainly stands out. It huh? Hexapunch. You think so? I guess I'm used to it. I mean, I had it like this for the longest time. <laughs> oh, but this festival is the last time I'm gonna wear this punk getup, though. <gasps> oh. I made up my mind to stop acting like a badass and be more like who I really am. Ah, I see. <laughs> that sounds like a fine idea. I love I when Kanji say, blushes. Those costumes look splendid on all of you. I guess that sort of natural high schooler look can't be faked. People respond well to that sort of thing. The outfits seem to fit well, too. I'm glad we went to the trouble to have them custom tailored. That's right. The thing Inoue san was most particular about was how we're genuine high school students. Because of that, we all had to carefully bring back our look from when we used to go to the same high school. Everyone got excited and worked with each other to get their hairstyle and things just right to the way it was then. Oh wow, they actually give you a fucking reason as to why we're wearing our school uniform. Of course. <sighs> of course there's a plot reason for it. Right! <sighs> I go to a different high school now. I'm wearing an outfit that looks like a match to their school uniform. The whole thing gives me an honest sense of nostalgic joy. Oh, by the way. Can I ask you something, you know, son What is it? I'll try and answer if I can. Well, it's about the Love Meets Bonds Festival. Um, Kanamine Kitchen is performing in that too, right? That's the plan. What about it? Oh, it's nothing important. I'm a huge fan of theirs, so I was just wondering if I could, um, say hi to them. <laughs> That's all. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, they're all pretty busy right now. Huh? Really? That's weird. I mean, most of the group is in the mind of... Ignore him. Just carry on. Thank you, Chie. Chie instantly covers Teddy's mouth and was emotions for us to keep talking. That was a close one. Teddy, for his part, is still flailing his arms and legs while Chie shushes him. Seeing a question forming in Inoue-san's eyes, we slip between him and Teddy, trying to gloss over Teddy's slip-up with our smiles. I mean, of course they're busy. <laughs> I'm sorry I even asked. He'll be fine. Man, what a shame, though. <laughs> oh, but Konami-chan <laughs> is in the midst of a poster photo shoot in the studio here. Why don't you go see her later? Risei-chan can show you the way. She'll probably sign an autograph. An autograph? Seriously? I mean, uh, oh, that'd be great. Uh, then I guess we'll go stop by later. <laughs> <laughs> you must be tired from the long trip, though, so get some rest first. Well, I have a meeting to attend, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, see you later, Inoue-san. We see an Oisan off and give a sigh of relief. Phew, looks like we managed to squeeze some information out on, out of him without raising any suspicion. The dancing games are actually dancing games. They're rhythm games because you're not actually dancing. I'm dancing? What do you mean? Thank you for the 100 bits. Yosuke Senpai, your acting sucks. I was afraid an Oisan would pick up on it. <laughs> Me too, Teddy. What were you thinking letting that slip? I'm deeply sorry. I'm very sorry. Well, at least it's clear now. Now I was acting those Konami girls ain't come back yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It must have been Tomoe-san herself that Risei-chan picked up on. There's no doubt. It was brief, but that couldn't have been anyone else. I'm positive that reading was Tomoe's. It's decided then. Let's all watch that video at midnight tonight, and we'll head into the midnight stage once more. What? Did I say something odd? No, though. Every now and then you say some pretty nutso stuff like it's no big deal. I mean, I didn't think it was a big deal, but okay. I didn't think too much about how we were going in there, but that sounds pretty scary. Eh, just do it. There's no other way. We don't know any other means of getting in. <laughs> in any case, time is of the essence. <laughs> Come on, let's hurry to the studio. <laughs> Nato must have been pretty embarrassed. She hurries on ahead, leaving us behind. We all look around before following her. One way or another, we ride into battle at midnight. 
We'll meet with resistance on the midnight stage. If we spent the time until then working on our just dance moves, I think we can learn a lot from each other. Um, oh god, I do not have my thing. Snackies. <gasps> Yo! Poutine! Oh, that sounds so good right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending me poutine! I really appreciate it. Oh, that's so scrumptious. Uh, if we spent the time in, yeah, working on dance music, I think we learned a lot from each other. Uh, with a reinforced resolve to save the missing girls, I slowly follow my trusty friends. That reminds me. We didn't get too many chances to all rehearse together. There's probably a lot we can learn from each other. So let's get as much practice as time permits. Let's do it. Begin tutorial. For what? I, I don't know what this tutorial is for. Wait, we already learned how to play the game. To dance. Yo, yo, yo! Time for me to get your next lesson rolling. First, I'm gonna talk about these things called unison notes. Sometimes these stretchy notes will... Oh, this non-stop rehearsal's brutal. My legs are killing me. I lost it at the yo-yo-yo. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Fuck this, I'm out. We've been practicing the routine ever since everyone arrived, and Yosuke finally speaks up in defeat. That's to be expected. Risa is the only one who's managed to keep dancing throughout the rehearsal, and Yosuke was the only holdout, the only holdout not taking many breaks. We are appearing in a professional concert after all. Plus, there's the midnight stage to worry about. We need practice. Yeah, that stuff about fighting through dance, it sounds pretty hard. It does, but we have to do it. Good job, guys. You're all working real hard. I didn't think that's why I think I'm gonna give you a reward, Yosuke-senpai. A reward? Did you have something for me? <laughs> you like Hanamine Kitchen, right? Well, why don't we go check out Konami's photo shoot? Ooh, seriously? Oh, God. Everyone else wants to go, too. Plus, I want to introduce you all to Konami. Come on, you senpai. Shake a leg or we're going to leave you two behind. I'm coming. Of course, we'll go with you. Let's just hang on a sec. <laughs> That's what that was about. I was wondering what she was talking about with everyone over there. Reese is very good at this sort of thing. You could say she has a knack for making people smile. I've already met with Kanami-san, so I honestly just wanted to practice a little more. But if everyone else is going, I might as well tag along. I quickly towel off before heading towards the entrance where everyone else is waiting. Her head looks tiny because she has so much fucking hair! Mm -hmm. That is pretty amazing. I wonder what size she is in front. Yukiko's like, I just want to know how big her boobs are. <laughs> when we arrive at the studio where Konami san is, Rise pokes her head in first to greet the staff inside and explain that to them about us. Thanks to her, we're allowed to stay and watch the photo shoot from a distance as Konami san is bombarded with bl with blinding flashes. Wow, we she's so Chest is like BAM! While her waist is so slim, she's totally Yosuke's type! Hey, keep it down! Wow, though, that's really her. Seriously, thanks so much for letting us see the real kind of mean. <laughs> I can't bother her while the shoot's going on, but I'll make sure to introduce you all later. You have to be on your best behavior, though. Promise? Yes, yes. I swear on the Juness name that I won't cause a scene. What does that mean, swearing on the Juness name? I swear on the Yosuke name that I won't cause a scene either. What does that mean? Ugh. That makes no sense. Then why are you swearing by me? Oh. Rise Kujikawa, what is the meaning of this? Are you on some sightseeing trip with that group of yours? If it's a field trip you're interested in, could you take it elsewhere? Oh, crap. It's Miss Ochimi's... Oh, crap. Risa furrows her brow and looks away. Miss Ochimizu, the producer of the LMB Fest, who was so harsh towards us yesterday, is standing up imposingly before us as if to block our way. Who's this nasty hat? Oh! <laughs> God, you can't you see that? 
who's this nasty hag? Oh, you know, the producer, Kanji! She's the general producer of the festival we're performing in. Her name is Miss Ochimisu. Dude, are you serious? The general producer of the Love Meets Bonds Festival is Kyoka, the Empress Ochimizu? You know about her, Yosuke? Of course I do! She's always on TV! She's this super scary lady who has no problem making other celebrities cry! I don't get it, but it sounds like she's sort of important. <laughs> God. <sighs> Honestly, we've had enough complications already. I don't need any more cropping up. Perhaps I should demand extra payment from Takara Productions for having to deal with these rude children. The hell did you say? Oh no. Whoa, hold it, Kanji. Give me a break. Dude, wait. Do you hear something? Ah, what is this? Where's it coming from? Huh? Hey, sound text. What's going on? I hear it too. It's a song that's faintly echoing from somewhere. I wouldn't forget a song like this. It's that song! It's that song we heard yesterday right before we fell into the midnight stage. Senpai, look! I look and see Kanami-san raising a hand upward, a curious gaze in her eyes. I follow her gaze and catch sight of something all too familiar, that same strange light we saw yesterday in the studio when we heard this eerie song. Whoa. What is this? this be a close encounter of some kind? This doesn't make sense. It's not midnight. What's going on? There's no time for that. Konami's gonna get taken. Konami is what? Miss Ochimizu, please move aside. Excuse us. Wow. My babies are surprisingly bold. Risa and Yukiko push Miss Ochimizu aside and rush towards Konami-san. The rest of us follow close behind. Wait! I said wait! Konami! Get away from that light! Huh? Risei-senpai? Miss Ochimizu? Oh shit! We all try to shield Konami-san from the ribbons shooting out from the airy light hovering near the ceiling. But Miss Ochimizu is faster than any of us and pushes Konami-san herself, getting caught by the ribbons instead. She made a snap decision. Miss Ochimizu knew Konami-san was in danger, but she couldn't have known what would happen next. Was she trying to protect Konami-san? I look towards her with some surprise as she scolds Konami-san. Oh, how troublesome. Don't I always tell you not to space out like that? Miss... Ochimizu? Listen, if something happens to me, go to Inoue. The festival must... Uh and she's gone. She got dragged in. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go after her. We follow her. Come on, everyone. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Woo! And then we're gonna dance. We all chase after Miss Ochimizu and throw ourselves toward the eerie light. Just because it worked once doesn't mean we'll make it through a second time. I pray for everyone's safety and I throw myself into the light after them. Looks like we made it. Ow! I fell right on my butt. <laughs> Just as we caught sight of a faint light, we were suddenly thrown out somewhere. We all managed to keep our balance as we land, and when I look around, I see that everyone is safe. Though Teddy and Kanji appear to have landed right on Yosuke. Uh, well, at least we made it in one piece. <laughs> that took a while. I was worried I might get separated from everyone and be one lonely bear. You know, I remember something like this happening before. <laughs> that takes me back. C can you guys chat after you get off of me? No. What are you doing, Yosuke-senpai? What's with that tone? I'm the victim here. All right, no fighting. Huh. Is this the midnight stage? I take the chance to check my surroundings once again. It's a dark, eerie place filled with bizarre objects and patterns. It's a familiar sensation. And then there's that eerie song I hear echoing from somewhere. There's no doubt this place must be the midnight stage. However... Yeah, but this place looks different from where we were before. Last time, 
That voice seemed keen on capturing Risesa. It invited us directly to a prepared stage. Perhaps we're being treated differently this time because we've been forced our way Twitch in. for a while, but I'm glad to see my first Twitch stream of 2021 Aww. with you. Hope you have fun with P4D. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The five month resub assassin. I hope you keep enjoying the emotes. <laughs> what is that? Not the voice? piano. It's the master of the midnight stage, and probably the culprit behind this. Didn't I say this place is off limits to unauthorized personnel? Or do you want to connect with us, Sasha? The eerie voice echoes from all directions, making it hard to tell where it comes from. Though we're on guard and searching for the source of this eerie voice, we don't have we don't have even a chance of finding them. Enough with these games! Who are you? Release Tomoe and the others right now, and Mizo Chimizu too! Release them? <laughs> that wouldn't be right. Can't you see they're happier here? Uh, happy? Is it serious? They're locked up here by force. There's no way they're happy about that. Do I see some new faces here? Good. You can connect with us, too. You're not willing to listen, huh? We'll have to do it the hard way. Do what you want. You'll understand eventually. <coughs> oh, you can dance the piano if you want to. Suddenly, the chokingly oppressive aura disappears, and it feels as if the air has at least gotten a little easier to breathe. Most likely, it's because the source of the voice has vanished from this area. The atmosphere seems different. Is it gone? Yeah, I think so. I'm just glad we weren't cast out like last time. That aside, I really don't like how this place feels. It looks fun and all, but it totally doesn't I hope you're doing all right way. after 2020's like crappy world, year. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hey, 2020 was actually freaking fantastic for me. I feel- I almost feel bad saying that, but... Wasn't all that bad. There were a lot of positives. But Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. To my world. You mean the TV world? Yeah. It might be in the same neighborhood, but I don't think there are any ways to go back and forth. So this midnight stage is a world all its own. By the way, is that the entrance? It... There's two different paths. You can go left or right. We look to where Chie is pointing. Sure enough, there looks to be a giant gate that splits the path into two directions. The atmosphere seems to be welcoming us to some kind of event. It feels somehow wrong, though, and I quickly look away from it. Hold on, let me search around. Come, Himiko! Whoa. I know you told us already, but... We really can summon our personas here, but we can't use them to fight with, right? No, you can only summon your personas to play guitar at the end. <laughs> we tried, but what the voice said was true. No acts of aggression worked. Whether it was using my persona or an Aotos gun, no one hurts or gets hurt. Personas must, be must only be used for music no one and dancing. Hurt, huh? That sounds fishy already. It's way too good to be real. Indeed. Also... That voice used bizarre ribbon-like objects it referred to as eternal bomb. They seemed to be what kept the shadows bound to this world. When I was caught by one myself, I could clearly tell that it wasn't any true bond, but outright brainwashing. No one should be allowed to force someone to discard their very self just for the sake of another's desires. That's why we need to show them how we feel with our dancing. Hey, dancing! Tamami is through here, and Tamoe is further in the back. As everyone's nodding to my words, Risei's voice echoes sharply. Sounds like she's found Tomoe-san's and the other's readings. Risei's ability has improved light lately. Her persona is one strength of heart, so if her power has gotten stronger, it proves that Risei has grown a lot. In this case, though, Risei finding their readings was proof of a bitter truth for us. I'm sensing Sumomo and Nozomi down the other path. Guess we were right about all four of them being over here. But Tomoe's reading is much weaker than yesterday. The others seem pretty weak, too. We need to get them out of here. I was hoping this wouldn't be the case. We better hurry. Then why don't we split up into two teams? That way, each team can save two of the girls. Hmm. There are two forks to the path here, but it seems like they come together again for- If we do like Yukiko-senpai says, we should be able to meet up there. Everyone nods at Risei's words, I see. Even if we split up into two teams here and, here and go through different entrances, we'll still be guaranteed to meet up again later. That takes care of that. Okay, Risei is a pro, and Yu's already won once with his dancing, so they should be on different teams. In that case, me and Naoto will go with Risei. Might as well just split up at what year we're in, yeah? 
<laughs> or do you just want to be with Nala, though? Uh, I guess that's fine. I just wasn't expecting that from you. <laughs> We've actually been talking. Like, we can't keep relying on our senpai forever, you know? That's correct. We thought we should find our own way of working. That suits us. I hadn't expected mm. to put it to the test here, but it would be a good opportunity. I'll support Kanji-kun's proposal as well. Of course you will. Because you're first years. You guys have been yep. thinking about this a lot, huh? You were first years together. <laughs> I bet you guys never knew we talked about stuff like that. If you keep treating us like kids, we'll surpass you before you know it. That sounds like a great idea. I'm with Kanji on this one, too. All right. Let's make it a competition. We'll see which team can rescue these girls faster. Bring it on. Hey, what about me? Which team am I on? You stay here. You're coming with us. Ah, god damn it. If they had five on their team and we only had three, that wouldn't be fair, would it? Oh, I'm getting fired up. The time has come for me to overcome the great wall that is Sensei and fly out into the vast world beyond. Fly away from Juness first, will ya? <laughs> Anyway, we'll each rescue two girls, then meet up at the rendezvous point, okay? I'll make sure to keep an eye on you guys. And if anything happens on our end, I'll let you know with my persona. I hope you don't mind us going on ahead. We'll see you in a bit. Senpai, you better not let your guard down and get your asses handed to you by some weird thing. The Kanji Nato Risa and Teddy each give us big smiles as they run past the giant gate. Ha ha! Looks like they're off to a great start! Ha ha! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Our team, on the other hand, is still astounded at our junior's unexpected growth, watching them dart off. Did they just totally steal the spotlight? Wow! They've all grown up before we knew it. I felt like I was watching them leave the nest for the first time. <laughs> you know they're only they're one year like older! Mom. That's like nothing! We should hurry, too. We need to save Tomoe-san and Tamami-san as fast as we can. All right then, third year investigation team, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Humans. We can't fall behind here either. Of course, our objective is to rescue the kidnapped members of Konami Konami Kitchen, and this isn't a race or anything. But even then, we'll take on the road ahead with everything we have and keep a step ahead. Yeah, whatever. Can we dance yet? <laughs> I want to dance. The festival begins. Oh, chapter two. Hell yeah! <laughs> After splitting from Kanji and the others and traveling farther down the path, the atmosphere starts changing. It's still a creepy sight, but how do I put it? It feels like their surroundings and paths have been kind of standardized. It looks like the others are feeling the same thing. They're glancing around with worried expressions on their faces. Oh god, I hate it. This is a very different look compared to the last plate. What is this? It's starting to look like some weird circus. Oh, this is probably where Teddy is gonna dance. Because he's the clown of the group. The TV world changed according to the mind of whoever appeared on the Midnight Channel, right? There's shadows around, and we can call our personas here. So does that mean this Midnight Stage works the same way? You're telling me someone's mind looks like a circus on the inside? That, uh, raises a lot of questions. It's either Teddy or Yosuke. Actually, come to think of it, this might be where Yosuke's gonna dance, huh? It's that voice! Stop hiding and show yourself! Hmm. And why should I do that? I don't see any reason to bother with you. What?! Yusuke's anger is only natural. We can't see whoever's speaking, and we still haven't figured out what it's trying to do. It's like our words aren't even reaching it. But that's not important now. If it's not going to listen, then we need to at least draw out as much information as you we can. You just said this was Tamami-san's stage. Is she up ahead? <laughs> yes, she is. And her performance is about to begin. She's going to become the Tamami everyone wants. A true star. Shining brightly at our eternal concert. Rise told me about your spiel. Becoming the you that others want, huh? That's just letting yourself be brainwashed. Brainwashed? Not at all. 
This is for Tamaki's sake. Forcing others to deal with your true self won't make anyone happy. To her, there's no point in being someone that nobody loves. But if she becomes the Tamaki Yikes. everyone wants, then everyone will love her. <laughs> Nothing could make her happier. A white hot flash runs through my mind as though the voice wouldn't listen to us, but I didn't think it would be like this. That voice has no ill intentions. It truly believes it's doing this for Tamami's sake. This doesn't look good. Nothing we say is getting through. In any case, I'm sorry you've come all this way. But I'm afraid there's no admission for those without a ticket. Got it. So, um, so right, so right, this is Kamami, right? K K economy? Wait, did I just say Kamami? I don't remember her fucking name. This is Con Con Economy. And, uh, who's brainwashing her, you ask? Uh, well, that's obvious. It's Dojima. No, 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 no! Lunar Towns! What? Holy crap! Thank you so much for the host! I really appreciate it! Kawami K K K Economy Con Con What's her fucking name? <laughs> Konami! I think it was Konami, right? <laughs> So, economy is, uh, she's going through some shit, and the person brainwashing her is clearly Dojima. Maybe Nanako. <laughs> oh, the memes come back. <laughs> but again, <laughs> thank you so much for those. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a really good stream, and welcome on in, everybody. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look, I have trouble remembering all these characters' names, okay? Could, economy? I'm pretty sure it was Economy. Right? Economy. Co <laughs> Ugh. Black mist starts to swirl up in front of us, eventually taking form and blocking our way forward. Shadows. Hmm. What the? Shadows connected by ribbons. Just Brainwashing like ribbons! Be careful. Don't the get best caught. kind! Come on. Connect with us. If you do, I'll let you join us. It's Dojima, sorry. It makes sense. Dojima is so tired of these anime idols. The very last thing he wants. is more anime idol so he comes out and he's like man i'm just fuck i just gotta brainwash these bitches clearly it's the only way to get rid of anime idols so he uh he he just brainwashes them it's, makes perfect sense and you make you make economy turn out to look like the bad guy but it's actually just some bitch that hates idols i.e dojima <laughs> <laughs> Instinctively look away, but it's futile. <laughs> Since this world amplifies the ability to express yourself, their dances go past simple visual appeal and reaches directly into our minds. Losing strength, I struggle to fight back against the urge to join the shadows. This song again. <laughs> I know I was warned, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh God! Somebody, please start dancing. Everyone hang in there. Don't Please. Please start dancing. God, this background noise is annoying. Yosuke Nanta takes a step forward, meeting his eyes. I instantly understand what he's going to do. Yosuke, you've got this. Yosuke's gonna dance! Huh. Oh, of course Good the clown stage is his. Give us a song to work on. Dancing is expressing ourselves. I still don't quite get it. It looks like I gotta give it a shot. So how is Yosuke, Yosuke gonna dance? I, I imagine to Yosuke to be kind of like Ryuji a little Sorry, bit, but, but maybe a little bit better. He's he's probably not like a, as much of a hot mess as Ryuji is, but um, he's got. I'm sure he's got some more rhythm, you know. But I don't imagine like he's gonna be super fantastic. I guess we'll find out. I'm not expecting like some. Bust out big ass moves from Yosuke. Are you ready? I would like I'll to be pleasantly surprised, but we're gonna find out. Time to do this. Good luck. Oh!
This is already way better than what I was expecting. Oh, this is cute. I expect a lot of kicks from Chie's dancing. Oh no, doors knocking. I have another package? Jesus Christ. Okay, now he's just repeating. I think oh god. I think that's my poutine, maybe. Yeah, I think the poutine's here. Yeah, get it, Yosuke. Wait, was it the poutine? Yeah. Was it the poutine? Okay, just want to make sure. Thank you. So cute together. I can't stop smiling. This is precious. I do have like an initial like Oh dang, Jiraiya. Oh shit. Dude, why are the personas rocking guitars? I don't understand. Yeah, I feel like I need that. <laughs> awesome, Yosuke. I bid thee my compliments. The one thing that sticks out to me, so if this game was like the first dancing game they came out with, I can see the improvement with like Persona 5 dancing in terms of the dancing because it seems like there's a lot of repetitive moves. Lots. Lots and lots. But maybe it'll get more, maybe there'll be like more choreography later. Yosuke, you did but just from those first two dances, I'm like almost like half the dance is repeated. Yes, you were wonderful. <laughs> Whew. Not such a disappointment now, huh? It's not like I've been screwing around all this time, you know? Whoa. Chie, are you all right? You're spacing out. Oh, it's... It's nothing. It's nothing at all, really. Just, uh... It caught me off guard. Yeah, Chie? I, I was like... Damn, Yosuke! Oh. <laughs> Damn, Yosuke! What was that, Chie? Now that Yosuke has cool more dance be. moves than I thought he Are was gonna have. Falling for me? I will give Yosuke credit. No, that's not possible. Right, Chie? Yukiko's like, no, it's not possible. Chie loves me! <laughs> yeah, your dance was awesome, but none of that other stuff. Uh, Yukiko-san. Chie-san. <laughs> It was supposed to be a joke. Can you please get the punchline instead of taking it seriously? Oh, damn it. Even the shadows understand me better than you two. 
<laughs> Jane, you can go ignore Yosuke's stubborn complaints as I approach Yosuke to console him. The glowing, uh, the glowing shadows around us suddenly uh, begin melting away. Shadows cheering in joy at Yosuke's dance are engulfed by light. Little by little, they fade away into the air. It's a beautiful sight, no matter how many times I see it. We all watch in awe. What's up with those shadows, anyway? I mean, these guys are kind of different from the shadows we're used to, huh? Usually, they try to beat the crap out of us as soon as they- Now that you mention it, you're right. Oh, are they calm because they're chained down? You know, like Chosokabe. Chosokabe? The Sengoku era feudal lord? No, not him! You know my dog? His name's Muku! I keep telling her, but she keeps- What? Getting... Yukiko? Oh, this isn't even the TV world. Are there really this many shadows outside of it? She thought Chie's dog was named Chosokabe? How can you be that far off the mark? I know it happened once, but that was That's not even like remotely case. close. <laughs> this case right. I hadn't given much thought to it since this isn't the real world, but are shadows really everywhere? Just as our personas prove, shadows are entities tied closely to the human mind. I highly doubt that they can't they could just be anywhere that qualifies as an alternate world. Hmm. Maybe they were caught in the TV world and then they got yanked over here. Perhaps someone was walking them? Are you still stuck on dogs? <laughs> <laughs> They're from Maybe here. they've been here all along in this world. But didn't Teddy already say this is a totally different place from the TV world? Do shadows exist, like, everywhere then? That's a scary thought. Uh, first off, where even is here? This definitely isn't the TV world, right? Teddy said as much, so we can at least be sure about that. That voice said this is a place where no one hurts. Yeah, no one hurts or gets hurt, right? Well, if you get brainwashed by that ribbon... I guess you wouldn't even think about hurting anyone. Who the heck is that voice anyway? Sure sounds like they know a lot about this world. More like it rules this world. Maybe that voice created everything here. That is a very Chie-like idea. It made this place... Hmm? It certainly is possible, but we don't have enough information to determine that. Who knows? It's not like any one specific person made the TV world either. Though if the voice does have that kind of power, then we're up against one tough opponent. It's hard to believe this is all the work of a normal person. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the culprit isn't human. An alien, maybe? Oh! This makes perfect sense, Chet! The, the culprit is a young Maruki! Uh, I... Oh, yeah. That reminds me. I did a little research like after baby. getting Rise's text. You know what people are saying about the LMB website's video, right? Dead idol. Everyone turned toward Yosuke, startled. No, Yukiko was fascinated and Chie was horrified at his unexpected words. Chie has a known problem dealing with this kind of subject and she's quick to challenge Yosuke's statement. What? No. Just kidding, we all know the culprit is Dojima. Chie's pissed. Hey, I'm being serious here. There was an idol that committed suicide a while ago. And rumor has it that she cursed the site from beyond the grave. So since she's already dead, you think she has supernatural powers? Yeah! <gasps> oh, you too, Yukiko! Just stop! Conversation over! Come on! We should get going! We need to save Tamami-chan, right? We don't have time to be standing around chatting! Yeah! More- less chatting, more dancing! <laughs> Maybe what we're talking about relates to the incident, but it's dangerous to waste time talking, mostly for Chie. It, we still have a ways to go. We can't have her losing her composure. She's valuable help. Plus, she dislikes the subject. If we need to go over it to solve this mystery, then unfortunately for her, we'll do so. But right now, we're, we'd better move on. You're right. Let's focus on rescuing Tamami-san. All right. If we're ready, then let's move. We all nod and start running down the path. Tamami-san is up ahead. We need to save her. Yeah! I still think it's Dojima too. It's definitely Dojima.
Uh... Look! Someone's there! Huh. We spot a silhouette up ahead, and Chie is the first to speak up. Our close inspe on close inspection, it's definitely a girl wearing a familiar white outfit, looking utterly lost. It's her! It's son You, son? Huh? Why are you here? Dude, awesome! Just like on TV! You! Why are you here? Bush. Huh? But why are you in your stage outfit? We were practicing, and we heard this creepy song, and then something all flat and slithery wrapped around us, and... I don't know what happened, but the next thing I knew, I was here. This doesn't make any sense! Where are we? And who are you? It looks like seeing a familiar face has brought her at least some relief. Tomami-san keeps changing her expression like a child throwing a tantrum as she yells at us. I've met her before, so I'm a bit used to it, but the others seem a little taken aback by her attitude. Oh, uh, yeah. We haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, this guy's partner. <laughs> he and this introduces is Satonaka, <laughs> and Yukiko Amagi. He introduces himself as... Our team, I guess? <laughs> he was partner. <clears throat> Anyhow, you can relax now that we're here. Don't worry, Tamamine. We'll save you. Yosuke-san, Chie-san, and Yukiko-san? This hmm. guy's partner. Tamami-san steps forward, Yosuke and the others, and take, uh, and, uh, <laughs> toward Yosuke and the others, and takes a good look at each of them, staring into each person's face. Judging from what I know of her, I might have an idea of what she's trying to do. Well, that sounds a little misleading. It'd be more accurate to just say that she's trying to pick a fight again. Huh? Uh, something wrong? N nice to meet you. Whoa, that's close. Uh, what's up? Yep. I win. I'm the cutest one here. Oh boy. What? That's what that was about? Is this really the time for that? And hey, why am I even in the running? <laughs> Suddenly the atmosphere around us changes. Without a word, we all ready ourselves for action. We know this feeling. As we expected, an all too familiar voice echoed down from above us. No, to Tamami-san standing behind us. I found you. Oh, Tamami, what a funny girl you are. Well, who do we have here? We won't let you have Tamamine. You're still around? Sorry, but it's almost time for Tamami's big performance. Let's go, Tamami. Make everyone laugh, like you always do. Wh why should I go with you? Besides, I'm not trying to make anyone laugh. Oh, I know. You're just working hard, always trying to do your best. But it's a funny thing, isn't it? The harder you work, the farther away you seem to push everyone. Funny? How dare you? I... It's all right. I understand your pain. If you connect with me, you won't have to suffer at all. Ugh, trippy. Black mist gathers and forms a crowd of shadows. Like before, they're all connected by ribbons. As they eerily sway their bodies, they try to reach out to us. These guys again? Dude, there's even more of them this time. I won't have to suffer? Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. You can't listen to what that voice says. Huh? Uh, okay. All four of us, Chie, Yukiko, Yosuke, and I stand in front of the shadows, blocking Tamami-san. There's only one thing to do. We can't let them take her. Hey, you! Think you can smooth talk Tamami-chan? Whoa! Not gonna happen! Sorry! That's right! All your pretty words are nothing but lies! Okay. Ha. Now that we're here, it's not gonna be so easy for you. Ha! Stop yelling! You don't know a thing about Tamami. No one likes pain or suffering, so let's all get connected. We're all getting connected. Hmm. The eerie song begins playing and the shadows start up their dance, and again, their stra this strange feeling of lethargy washes over us. Song 
again. Oh, no matter how many times no, I hear no, it, it no, makes me no. cringe. Holy crap. Um, uh, Lunatic, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. Dang. Thank you, fam. Hope you had a good stream. Oh, Makes so me cringe. Just how many more are there in this freaking place? Still, we can't afford to lose. Stand back, everyone. Wait, Yukon. I'll dance this one. Yukiko, what are you saying? Oh, Yukiko's Don't going? Worry. I've been practicing the song Risei-chan gave me every time I took a bath at our inn. First come, first served. Right, Yosuke-kun? Yukiko walks ahead of me and exhales sharply through her nose, straightening her posture. She looks ready and willing, in fact, looking at her. Hey, you think maybe Yukiko just really wanted to dance? Okay, how is Yukiko gonna dance? Hmm. You were dancing in the inn's open air bath? Hmm. Sorry for the holdup, Senpai. The shadows are right in front of you, aren't they? Risei-chan, I'll be dancing this time. Can you prepare the music for me? I, I, well, I saw in the opening she was doing fuates, which I expect out of her, but I, I kind of get like a more contemporary feel from Yukiko. I can't imagine she'd be very like hard hitting. You mean your track, Yukiko Senpai? Uh, give me a sec. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like contemporary vibes off of okay. Yukiko. Let's see. Let's get it started now. Let's get it started. Starting. All right. Time to focus. It's all oh. right. Just keep calm. Oh, I just keep break. Oh, she's cute. Let all our feelings get. I can't stop watching her. Uh, I'm not getting any of my notes. Is like pretty good on that. It's contemporary feel. Let all our feelings get through. More um <laughs> kind of ballet y but not like true ballet. I think it's fitting. That's that's kind of what I would imagine Yukiko to dance like. Vibe and oh, you! It's, good. it's going great. That's it. I think it's going great. Looking great, Yukiko. They're saving me again. They're so dependable. You go for it, you do. Thanks, Yukiko. You really are reliable Aww. when things matter most. Good.
much what I expected. I like it though. Still nothing like super fancy though. Her persona's playing the auto sex, what the fuck? That went very well. Dang! I'm glad I could watch your beautiful dance, Yukiko. I vibe with Yukiko. I'm vibing. I do like jazz. I like that the personas play instruments at the end of these. It's really cute. Definitely got my stamp of approval. Thank goodness. I guess they understood me. How well did I dance, though, I wonder? You danced beautifully. As the shadows cheer in Yukiko, at Yukiko's amazing dance, we run towards her all smiles. Her, Yosuke, they're all incredible. We may have had Risei's help, but it's still impressive how far they've come. It may be that something in, that, in this world is affecting them, but even then I can tell how much they've been practicing. Of course, Risei deserves credit as well. She had a pretty strict reg regimen for us. Wow. Who are these people? We're dancers! <laughs> are they really amateurs? Her moves weren't anything special. The emotion in that dance. I... I can't possibly... Do you see now, Tamami? They'll only hurt you. You're not like them. They can't save you. Stop being a sore loser. You're trying to pull <laughs> something else? <laughs> Me? Oh, no. You're the ones tormenting Tamami. No. I... I need to be number one. The best. Or else, my place. My, my purpose. Tamami san, stay calm. No! I. Oh shit. Tamamine! Tamami san! Happens all at once, countless ribbons start out of nowhere and drag Tamami-san off into the distance. We stand there, frozen, everything happening before we have a chance to react. What was that? The voice talked to Tamami-san, and the moment she faltered, the ribbons bolted out with unimaginable speed. Damn it, what the hell was that? We can't save Tamami-san? What did that voice mean? Later, we have to hurry. She wasn't acting normal at all. Tamami-chan is in danger! You're right, let's chase after her. After sharing a nod, we dash off in the direction Tamami-san disappeared. We won't let our guard down this time. Tamami-san, we will save you. Yeah! With the power of- just kidding. With the power of dancing! <laughs> As we run down the path, the surroundings get stranger and stranger. Eventually, we arrive at a giant tent. We go inside without a moment's hesitation. Yosuke yelps, though not out of disgust or shock. What the- This is an actual circus tent. Is Tamamin really here? I see her! Over there! Yukiko points to the center of the tent where Tamami-san stands, lit up by a spotlight as if she's performing. Shut up! I'm going to be the best, the number one idol in the industry! Do you have any idea how much I've done? How hard I've worked for that? <gasps> no! Piano, be gone! <laughs> True. You've put a lot of effort into realizing your goal. But is that what you really want? Huh? You just want to be accepted. All your life, your famous actress of a mother and your beloved father have told you to be a star. How, How could you know about that? <laughs> I know everything about you. And I know how badly you're hurting inside. You've been trying hard for them. But you're well aware that you'll never live up to your mother's image. Or even Konami. And since you're not the best, no one is going to accept you. This is so toxic. No or to mommy. Tamami san shakes her head vehemently like a child and crouches down as if to reject everything it's saying. It's so familiar, I've seen things like this happen again and again. It's the worst case scenario when a human who has fallen into the TV world denies their own shadow and the shadow goes wild. I'm sure everyone's thinking the same thing. One moment we're holding our breath and the next moment we're all dashing for Tamami san. This is bad. We gotta hurry. 
Tamami-san! Tamami-san! Look, they've come for you, Tamami. Stronger, more talented people, here to save a helpless little girl. Yes, I know that you aren't strong. You don't really want to be the best. No, that's not true. I... It's all right. Don't kill yourself over something you're not. People want you just the way you are. Just listen for yourself. Listen to everyone's voices. Tamami doesn't need to be number one. Ouch! Her looks are pretty average, but she's still decently popular. Who cares if she doesn't sell that much? Suddenly an unfamiliar voice resounds from above. No, not from above. It feels like it's whispering directly into her ears. Different from Risei's persona communication. What the? Who's talking? I don't know. What is he talking about, Tamamine? <laughs> I know, right? As long as she's fun to watch, I'm totally fine. She's kind of a natural airhead. All she needs to do is make us laugh sometimes. I don't want her to break out or anything. I prefer she just kept being the group's comic relief. I heard she does a ridiculous amount of training on her own, but why? She won't lose her job as long as she keeps people laughing, don't you think? Uh, hi. See, Tamami? You don't need to go to such trouble. No one expects it. Won't you accept these people's desires? You can leave your days of pain and hardship behind. I see. <laughs> I never needed to work hard. Ah, shit. At Tamami Sun's words, it happens. Ribbons fly from all sides, wrapping around her body and lifting her hand to the air. But at, but even caught there in the ribbons, like prey in a spider web, Tamami Sun remains quiet. Tamami! Tamami John! I don't care anymore. If that's what everybody wants, I might as well take the easy way. Suddenly, the ribbons bind Tamami San's entire body, wrapping her like a cocoon. And at the same time, black mist like that of a sh of a shadow frenzy. Just like when we saw what we saw up upon first entering this world begins turning over her body. What the hell? Dude, this looks bad. She's been taken in by the voice's power. <laughs> there. They're connected. Now we can become the Tamami everyone wants. Oh, I can do without that effect. Yes, it's fucking with my eyes. Great. This is the me that all the people love. I'm totally fine with this. Everybody will accept me now. And all I had to do was forget about myself. This is healthy. Now that's just gigantic. A clown outfit, a balloon-like body that's easily over two meters, and a giant face drawn on its stomach. After the ribbons burst, a creepy and yet ludicrous creature stands where Tamami-san was. As we prepare for conflict, one explicable through thought runs through my mind. It's even bigger than Kanji. Hearing eerie cheering from behind, we turn to see the strands empty. Moments ago, now filled with shadows connected by ribbons. So this is what the voice meant by Tamami-san's stage is starting. Now Tamami-san has taken on the form that the shadows wanted all along. Oh, I've had enough of this! Throwing your feelings away, pandering to people so they like you? There's no point in that! People should be proud of you for training like crazy! For fighting to make yourself even better! I know you know that, Tamami-chan! And I'm not gonna forgive anyone who doesn't respect hard work! To be honest, I was surprised. She must have been outraged ever since we've been dancing. Chie looked like the mo looked the most hesitant, but now she's taken the stage. She's probably the most earnest of us all and the hardest worker. I'm sure she couldn't stand seeing Tamami-san being made a full of when she's uh full of when she's working so hard. Chie. There's lots of things I hate about myself. I tried to hide them worried that people might not like me. But these oh. guys saw me inside and out. And they accepted me for who I am. I love you, Chie. All the important stuff that everyone taught me. I'll get it through to you, Tamami-chan. Yeah, Chie! Knock him dead! Chie-senpai, I heard everything! 
<laughs> Breezy John? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there you have it. So cue it up. Yeah, I'm cranking it up, so show me that fancy footwork. Alrighty then, let's do this. All right, I'm ready for kicking Chie. Kicks everywhere. The dancing yeah, might be good. questionable. <laughs> Tamami chan, we'll save you in no time. You're on <laughs> fire, Chie. Show off those kicks. Oh, I missed the first thing. Oops. Oh. oh, I'm missing notes. I'm too busy looking at her. Oh, there's one kick. I should count the amount of kicks I see. Aw, <laughs> she's actually super cute. Maximum levels of cute. That's my ex-girlfriend. Makes me very upset. <laughs> oh no. I'm looking at that because I try to replicate whenever I do these cosplays or whenever I'm going to do all these characters, I try to replicate their dance move. They're like, they're freeze frame still that they got. That's gonna take practice. Did that do it? The monster lets out a scream of pain and writhes. Awakened by Chie's dance, its voice is gradually turning back into Tamami-san's. When it finally breaks down, the monster crumbles away and only Tamami-san is left standing there, hanging her head. Tommy John! 
What's a, what the fuck are saltos? I... what? Uh, no biggie, right? Yeah, what's important is that you get it now to- Oh man, I thought I did everything I could, but I didn't realize I had so much to learn. At least we got more gameplay now. Did three dances like pretty much back to back to back, huh? Along with that bitterness, I could feel a new resolve from her as well. And as proof, Tamami-san raises her head up, looking more determined than ever. I'm going to stick to my extra voice training and all the dance lessons. No matter what anyone else thinks, I won't give up. I'll keep at it so one day, I'll be able to express my real self to those people I heard. Thank you so much, Chie-san. And you too, Yu-san, Yukiko-san, and Yosuke-san. Good luck. I'm sure you can do it. But I'm still gonna be number one. No more helpless little girl, ever. From now on, I'm the one doing the saving. It'll be exciting, dramatic. Like I dramatic. suddenly appear and save a puppy caught in a storm drain. Hey, you think she knows this kind of stuff is why people think of her as the goofy one? Don't ask me! <laughs> you guys, I'm standing right here. I'm an idol. A very serious, very professional, non-comic relief idol. Non-comic relief. Got it. That's really funny. Ha ha ha! Oh shit, a door. Tsumami yells, and for a moment it feels like the same hectic atmosphere when we first met her, before a pillar of light descends nearby. A thick metal door appears, as if from thin air. What is that? What the- A door of some kind. But where does it lead? Wait, is this the door to our dressing room? Oh, it totally is. It's got the same scratch right across here. The door to the dressing room? Yeah, the one at Takara Productions. We use it all the time when we have a recording session or something. Come to think of it, it is familiar. The store does look like the, the one at Takara Productions we use for practice with Risei. But these types of doors are in most studios. Being newcomers to Takara Productions, we're not in a position to identify it for sure. But what about Ta Tamami-san? She's a veteran idol and she knows the studio. She's been going there for years. If she says that it's their door, Takara then... Takara Productions? You mean where we came from? How could it be here, though? Let's go take a look inside. We might find out something. Um, hello? Excuse me. It's a tiny bit different, but this is the Takara Productions dressing room. I'm sure of it. I don't sense any enemies around. I think we might be safe here. I can feel everyone's tension drop after I say so. As I thought, they're all tired. We've been on high alert ever since we arrived here. I don't blame them. Realizing something, Yukiko raises her hand to her ear and listens Did carefully. you notice you can't hear that bizarre song in here? There's something about this room. It's different from the other places It's a safe room! So yeah, I know what you mean. Almost makes me forget we're in another world. What is this? Huh? Some kind of note? A note? Does that mean someone was here before us? I don't think this is a letter. It's more like a diary entry. A diary? Whose, though? Hey, you. You mind reading that out? The pressure from everyone is crushing me. No one really knows me. I don't have any bonds with anyone. I don't want to sing. I have no right to sing that song. It hurts so much. I feel like I'm suffocating. I want to disappear. I'm too weak even to stand on my own. I just wish I could connect to someone to have a bond to support me. The writer was clearly in a lot of pain. I wonder if they came here and wrote it. But this isn't the real world. Who would even have had the chance to do that? A silence settles over us after all, and none of us have the answer to that question. But this rather realistic note left here, because of how strange it is, it feels like a clue to something. I just thought of something. But, uh, I don't know. Go ahead, Yosuke. Say it, Yosuke. That voice out there kept telling us and Tamamin to get connected, right? And then there's this note. 
and the idol who committed suicide? I don't know, but I'm getting the idea that it's all... No, -uh! <laughs> no, I can't handle that stuff! An idol who committed suicide? Everyone, are you all right? Oh, oh Marisa, cool. we're fine. How about you guys? What the? What's going on? Oh no! Now I'm hearing voices. Risei senpai's in my head. Yup. Right. Since we're all in this world, it slipped my mind. But Tamami-san and the others don't know about personas or shadows. It's only natural for Tamami-san to panic when Risei's voice is suddenly in her head. I wasn't quite sure how to explain it, but you could go instantly solve that problem. Don't worry. It's like a phone. It's harmless. <laughs> uh, oh. Really? We just saved Sumomo. You're with Tamami, right? I can tell she's there. I'm glad you're safe. Looks like things are going well on your end, too. Yeah, Kanji and Teddy are both really pulling their weight. Oh, and so is Natsukun, naturally. I see, I was a bit worried, but it looks like Risei's team is doing better than I thought. As I glanced at Tamami-san, she breathes a sigh of relief at hearing of the safety of her fellow idol. Oh, thank God. Sumomo's okay. And the place you're in right now, it looks like a dressing room, right? What about it? I think it'd be best to leave Tamami there to rest, instead of moving on ahead with her. What? Why? I don't want to stay here on my... Ooh. Ooh. Just as Tamami sound stepped forward to speak, she lost her balance. Ready to spring forward to catch her, we all breathed a sigh of relief when she managed to stay standing. Tamami-san, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just... I feel really tired. Of course, now that I think of it, that makes sense. She's been in this world a day longer than we have. We're used to, to we're used to situations like this, but even then, we're used to more energy than normal. There's no way tamami san wouldn't be tired. I knew it. It's like the TV world. Normal people get exhausted just by being here. So it would do more harm than good if she went with you guys. Is it really that safe here, though? I mean, what if shadows pop up again while we're gone? You sent away all the shadows in your area, so it should be okay. Plus, I don't even sense a residual shadow presence in that room. It's almost like a safe zone. A safe zone? Oh! Hey! I call this a as safe zone. As far as I can tell, yeah. So you should make sure Tamami gets some rest and go on ahead. Oh, and about Miss Ochi. It's a safe room. Uh, uh, geez, I gotta go. We'll talk later, okay? Got it. I said goodbye to Risa after she cut the conversation short on our and our communication ended. There's still business we have to talk about, but she's probably she'll probably call back later. Was Risa Chun gonna say something at the end there? Wonder what it was. Yeah, something about Miss Ochimisu. Uh, hey, do I really have to stay here? I can't go with you guys. Being stared down by Tamami san, I was at a loss for an answer. Risa's right, it's probably as best to leave her here. But to her, it feels like being abandoned in a strange hostile world. I understand what Risa Chun's saying. But it's only natural for Tamami-san to feel anxious being here alone. What should we do? Maybe one of us stays with her? Considering what just happened, it's probably a bad idea to split up our forces. I'll stay with Tamami. How the hell did you get here? Ms. Ochimisu? You need someone to stay in order for you to move on, right? So, I'm saying I'll stay. I was in shock. It was none other than Miss Uchimizu, the head producer of LMB, exactly as I remembered her. That is Miss Uchimizu, right? The LMB producer? I think so. That rude lady we met in the studio. Yukiko, she can hear you! Wait, hold on. She protected Konami-chan, and she got dragged into this world. Why is she standing here all cool, like nothing happened? This has got to be what Risei wanted to tell us. Of course I pushed Konami away to protect her. I'm sure nobody had a better plan at the time. You don't have to say it like that. Not good. Unlike me, the others aren't used to Miss Ochimizu yet. I'm not worried about Yosuke, but Yukiko and Chie tend to take things personally, which means they could clash with Miss Ochimizu. In order to demonstrate that this is a Miss Ochimizu's normal, I try talking with her like I usually do. Miss Ochimizu, I'm glad to see you safe. But how did you get here? I hate repeating myself, but I suppose I must since you weren't with the other group. I simply walked here. When I came to, I was lying on the ground, so I started moving. I did run Kinda into sus. some strangely dressed people along the way, but they didn't do anything to me. Strangely dressed people? Wait, you mean shadows? And they didn't attack you? How's that possible? I don't know, but when I got closer, they vanished into thin air. Suppose I'm not too popular here either. Sh shadows have likes and dislikes? Pardon my rudeness, but 
You don't look very surprised given the situation. Why is that? Well, I'm not that hard-headed. I don't know where this is, but after what happened, it would seem reasonable to think that something supernatural is going on here. And panicking won't get me anywhere, will it? Now, from the looks of you, I'm guessing you have an idea about what's going on. Or this is something you're used to. And you've come here to save Tamami and the others. Is that correct? We all couldn't help but exchange glances at Miss Ochimizu's sharp deduction. She's certainly on the mark, but we still don't know her intentions. Uh, well, that's pretty much it, yeah. Then I can only offer my thanks. Sumomo and Tamami. At the very least, your group rescued those two already. Well, we just, you know, did what we could. Wait, Mizuchimizu, how do you know that? I met Rise Kujikawa and the others prior to coming here. It was after they saved Sumomo. Dude, she really gets stuff done. <laughs> Ignoring Yosuke's reaction, Miss Ochimizu calmly scans the area and her gaze settles on Tamami-san. Immediately, Tamami-san stands at attention, frozen like a deer in the headlights. Tamami. If you're a professional, then bite the bullet. You're staying here with me. Understood? Y yes ma'am. Jeez, she's so intense. There's no way anyone could say no to that. I freaking told you! This is the Empress! Every fan's worst nightmare! That's all I have to say. If you're done here, then go. I'll leave the other members to you. No mistakes will be tolerated, right? We'll do our best. Ms. Ochimizu snorts and tilts her head dismissively as if ending the conversation, then looks away. Shortly, Chie comes up to me baffled. Yukun, I can't believe you can talk to her like it's nothing. She really gets under my skin. Me too. Does she really have to put things so harshly? That's no way to ask favors of people. It makes me lose the will to even try. Yeah, huh? I've seen her on TV, but man, she's even rougher in person. But is it me? Or is she harsh on purpose? I wonder if there's a hidden agenda or something. Do you really think so? She did thank us, so I don't feel bad about anything she said. Well, we're here to save the members of Kanamin Kitchen. Whatever she says, it doesn't change what we're going to do. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry I brought up such an awkward subject. Anyway, we should take a quick rest and get moving. We don't have any time to lose. We need to save everyone. Two left, there's still people we need to save. Yosuke's right. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. We've got a job to do. As I'm thinking, Miss Ochimizu finds a strange note looking it over. Hmm. Yikes. After Yu's team left the dressing room, all that remained was Ochimizu and a very tense Tamami sitting out alongside her. You have a solo part at LMB, don't you? Y yes I do. How are you feeling? Any better now? Yes, I was exhausted before, but I think I'm okay now. I see. Can you dance for me? R right now? If you're too fatigued, then that's fine. Oh, no, no, I I'll do it. Please, let me dance. Then start. Yes, ma'am. Tamami-san stood in front of Ochimizu and began dancing. <laughs> Stop. No. No, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tamami. The power, the soul of that routine is... Pain and outrage. The agony of the oldest brother of a family of orphans. His precious flan eaten by careless younger siblings. You raise your hands to the heavens and cry out in pure, wretched, exquisite misery. Do our bonds mean nothing? What? I, uh, I don't get it. What the fuck? Leaving Tamami-san behind, we move on. After some time, our surroundings start changing again. What is this? It was Tamami-san stage just a minute ago. Does that- does this mean that from here on it's something different? Ooh. Whoa. What a 
we have here? It's way different from before. It was a circus for a while back there, but this feels more like nightlife, don't you think? Mm-hmm. I wonder what the person who made all this is trying to accomplish. The person who made this, huh? Yeah. Dojima. It's not like the TV world where everything reflects the mind of the one trap, so the most reasonable guess would be that that voice made all this. That's right, in our investigations inside the TV, the mind of the person inside the TV affected the environment's uh, appearance. But based on Tamami-san's case, this is different. So who's shaping this? Is it that voice like Yosuke said? Who the heck is it anyways? It's been all voice and not one appearance yet. Huh? You mean it's not a ghost? Yukiko, Wishing I know you it's a great day day hearts. But you really should watch what you say before you start losing friends. Ouch! Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Justin. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day as well. Look, forget the ghosts. Either way, we have no idea who this person is, right? Isn't there some sort of hint anywhere? You know, something not ghost-related. Uh, it knew Tamami. Let's kiss. Oh, oh, like I wanted to do kiss. Oh, no. Fairly well. Hey, that's right. It even talked about Tamami-chan's mom. She seemed pretty surprised herself. Yeah, and you know, there's a ton of idols out there. Weird that only the four from Kanamin Kitchen were kidnapped. Considering what happened to Tamamin, does the person responsible know a lot about the other three too? Oh, right. Tamami-san also recognized that dressing room from Takura Production. If Yosuke-kun is right, and that voice is the one creating this world, then... There's a good chance the culprit is related to Takura Productions, and knows Tamami-san and the others well. I wonder who it could be. Man, chat. This is a tough one. It's fucking Dojima! <laughs> That's as much as we can puzzle out for now, but Takara Productions is, is, uh, is Kanami and Kitchen's agency. Everyone knows them there. We don't have enough information to pinpoint the suspect right now. Definitely Dojima. Shut up! We're here to save Tamamin, Sumomin, Tomomin, and Nozomin, not to play your stupid game. We already know you've got something to do with Takara Productions. We'll catch you sooner or later. Catch me? You're so funny. But how sad. You don't listen to a word I say. Our Tamami paid the price. Because you poisoned her. She abandoned her bond with us. Don't say it like that! You're twisting things to make us sound like the bad guys! Yeah. Yo, Rose, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming 4 month sub. I really appreciate it. I hope you keep enjoying the emotes. Oh, but you are. A cruel poison that eats away at our bonds. If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy. Never having to deal with pain and suffering. Oh. How about this? I can return you to the world you came from. After all, if you're not interested in making a connection with us, then you have no place here. Huh? You'll send us back? Well, that's good for us, isn't it? Don't fall for it, Chie. I'm almost positive that voice's offer doesn't include Tamami-san and the others. It's only trying to get rid of us. We don't need you. Sorry, but we don't need your help. We're going to save all the idols and return to our world on our own terms. You's right. There's no way we're just taking off on our own. I see. Then do what you like, I suppose. But I wonder, will Tomoe go with you? With the power of dancing and friendship, fuck yeah, she will. Tomoe? She's up ahead? Maybe. <laughs> Uh -huh. No, not the throbbing shadows. No, I hate this screen so much. 
Uh, it has no intention to talk with us anymore. The horde of shadows in front of us is proof enough of that. We all know what's coming next. We take our stances and brace ourselves for that song. Looks like it's not gonna let us through so easily. Why don't you just give in? The harder you persist, the more pain you have to suffer. Connect with us, and you will be freed from everything. <laughs> The volume of the eerie song keeps going up and the shadows dance is affecting us. We're shaken up, but we can't afford to let our guard down now. We won't let this delude us anymore. <laughs> That's my cue. No way in hell we're backing down now. Yosuke. All right, go Yosuke. Another Yosuke dance? Yeah, thanks. That's really encouraging. Risei, can you hear me? <laughs> Loud and clear, Yosuke-senpai. Ready when you are. All right. Well, I don't look that good. And I'm not as talented as you. But as long as I have friends who accept me for who I am, friendship. I'm stick yes. With it. Time to bring the house down. Okay, another Yosuke dance. Get ready to dance. I'll be sure to make it look good. It's all right. Just keep calm. Oh, that footwork. Ah! Okay, bring it on whenever. Oh my god, this background is so trippy. That fucked me up. I'm going in too. Oh! The partner's dancing. Look at these two. You can do this, Yosuke. Now that's my partner. Ooh, so nice you are the best partner I can ever have. Aww. 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 Oh, the background. No, why? Who thought that was a good idea? I love seeing these two together. Dancing together. Nice. Oh, shit, I'm not paying attention. Ah! I was watching! At least Yosuke's got rhythm. Nothing too fancy here. He's got some fancy footwork, though. I'll give him that. Oh, we're not done. I thought we were done. I give him props for that. One thing I'll probably do whenever I'm done with these dancing games, all of them, I'll, I only want to look at it after I'm done, but um, 
I'm sure they have like somewhere like who choreographed the dances. I'm interested to see if the choreography or the people doing the choreography is that different. But I'll find that out later. Because so far the choreography is a lot more impressive in P5 than these dances. At the end of the song, the shadows surrounding us cheer in joy. Yosuke's dance charmed the shadows and freed them from that eerie song one by one. It lifts my spirits to see. I'm proud of him as his partner. Yosuke, well done. Aw, oh, as his partner, I'm so proud. Whew. How's that for expression, huh? That was very expressive. I was smiling the whole Not time. Not bad, Yosuke. Yosuke. That was all you out there. Yeah, that dance had Yosuke written all over it. That's true. It did. You don't give up, do you? Well, no matter. Whatever you do, our bond is eternal. Our bond is eternal. Well, there goes the voice. That really ticks me off! Say whatever and take it off just like that! Oh, I am so mad I don't care if it is a ghost anymore! <laughs> but that voice... It was bothering me as well. Yukiko seems to have noticed something about its words feeling strangely wrong. What was it? If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy? Never having to deal with pain and suffering? Ouch. Wait, if you flip that around, isn't it saying as long as we're here, they'll have to deal with pain and suffering? Sounds like it actually understands what we're saying. They just want to sweep the pain under the rug. Maybe the voice knows what it's saying is wrong. So what? It's painful to face the truth, so they're choosing to look away from it? Hmm. I noticed that it's hung up on the whole bonds thing, too. Then we might be able to reach out to the voice after all. Yeah, we gotta make it come to its senses, even if it hurts us. In any case, our top priority is still saving everyone. If what that voice said is true, then Tomoe-san should be just ahead. All right, let's get hyped. Let's keep our momentum going and save Tomoe-chan. Right, okay. yeah. More dancing! Sultry lounge. How long have we been running? As we run through the empty urban expanse, Yukiko suddenly calls out, pointing ahead of us. There. Oh. Whoa, that's definitely her. Those wistful eyes, that alluring look, that flowing hair. Yosuke. Tomomine I mean Kitchen's leader, Tomomine, the soft lamb. Wow. I mean, wow. Holy crap, this is a dream come true! Well, here we go. When it comes to this stuff, you can't shut them up. Nope. That's definitely Tomoe-san. But still, recognizing her before me, even though I'm the one who me who's met her, Yosuke is amazing. As we talk amongst ourselves... <laughs> you is so impressed by Yosuke. Wow, Yosuke is amazing. He recognized her right away. Wow! <laughs> the way San notices us and both stores us from where we can call her. You, you uh, are with Risa, Their relationship is something cool, special. Right? Tomoe San, I'm glad to see you're safe. I, I'm fine, but I couldn't find anyone else. I don't know what to do. I, I'm so worried. Sumomo, Tamami, Nozomi. Oh, I hope they're okay. Tomoe-san looks really shaken up. The composure she had on our first meeting is long gone. To calm her down, I decided to explain everything calmly and steadily for her. We just rescued Tomami-san. She's with Miss Ochimisu now. The others are on their way to save Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san. Really? Oh, thank heaven. I was afraid something might have happened to them. Where's Tomami? I need to see her. She must be feeling terrible right now. Whoa, um... T Tomomine, calm down. You're not really, uh, acting like yourself. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I can't believe... I'm... I'm so sorry. Uh, no, no, no. It's... it's fine. I was just... surprised. I never really imagined Tomomine losing her cool, you know? Ah, shit. <laughs> come now, 
to know it. That's not the you that everyone wants. The air around us suddenly goes cold and that voice echoes around us. This time it definitely is targeting Tomoe-san. I get re ready to move quickly and in, in case anything See happens. You again? We won't let our guard down this time! Let's go, Tomoe. Your greatest performance is about to begin. Uh, uh, stop it! Can't you see she doesn't wanna? Of course she does. This is all for her sake after all. Right, Tomoe. I'm not going. I don't want to perform here. It's okay, Tomoe. I know you're just saying that. You will come with me. It's what everybody wants. See? Uh oh. Oh no, not the throbbing shadows. No, no, no. Anything but the throb throbbing shadows. No, 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 no! It's clear enough everyone is referring to the shadows around us as trying to push us w its will onto Tomoe-san, whether she wants it or not. Look, the shadows here are connected by those ribbons, too. Come on, Tomoe. You're the leader. It's your job to live up to everyone's expectations, isn't it? Are you going to turn your back on them and run away? The, the leader... That's not your Don't job. listen to it, Tomoe-san. Being a leader doesn't mean you have to appease everyone. Oh, you, you're right. After all that stuff with Tamamin, we can't let our guard down. I mean, Shaq can talk about whatever you want. I mean, I, I just don't really read much <laughs> out of fear. Life. Yeah, but first we need But to I won't do look at- I don't look at shadows. voice actor stuff that often- the, nah, I do look at voice actor stuff, but after, uh, usually- typically after I play the game. Unless something really sticks out to me. Gia was right, even if we take uh, can take Tomei-san to a safe place like the dressing room Tomami-san's in, we need to take care of this first. So now the only question is, who's going to do the dancing? Don't worry, I'll handle this. Yukiko! I kind of understand Tomoe-san's feelings. When everyone has high hopes for you, you want to make them happy, but your feelings are all mixed up. You don't want to disappoint anybody, so you struggle. It's always on your mind. You don't know what to do. It hurts. I feel so called out. <laughs> Yukiko. But you can only be you. Nothing good comes from lying to yourself. I understand now that telling others who you are and being understood makes life so much better. <laughs> Too real. So you think you understand? Oh, no one likes a thought that only brings you pain. Connect with me, and it'll all be so clear. Oh, the song again. The eerie dance of the shadows begins. Next to me, Tomoe-san groans softly. Don't worry, Yukiko will pull through, as I think this Risei's persona broadcast voice sounds in our heads. Senpai, sorry to keep you waiting. Are you all right? No, we're dying. <laughs> Make me dance! What? Um, okay, uh, oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to split up. I'm twice as busy here. <laughs> Sorry, Risei-chan. It's fine, it's fine. But promise me you'll use everything I taught you and make it your best performance. Mm -hmm. I'll focus on doing my best and not worry about dancing well. Huh? Uh, you really should try and dance well, you can go some Here I It's go. all about the feeling. Sorry. That's true, though. Let's get it started now. Like they say, don't forget your roots. Well, time to <gasps> <get it gasps> snowflakes. Oh, they're so cute! I think it's going great! Now that's my best friend, 
Thanks. Uh, Looking good, you two. Look at the way she's looking at her. Oops. the first real, like, flashy ballet move she did. Oh man, there she's doing flutes! Oh, she only did two, but still! Get it, Yukiko, okay! Graphically, that one's definitely my favorite so far. There was a lot more, like, good choreography in my opinion in that one. Yeah, bring out the sax! Hell yeah! I enjoyed that dance a lot. Thank goodness. It looks like they understood me. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. Yukio breathes deeply and walks back to her side. Delicate, elegant, and somehow defiant. It was beautiful dance that embodied Yukiko herself. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! Oh, man. That reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date. Oh! Huh? You did? When was that? Oh, never mind. Forget it. I already learned not to expect anything. Ouch. You did? When did you ask me out? Gosh, I'm just so re used to rejecting. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain, but you got to find someone who will hear you out and show them the real you. <laughs> you kids really are interesting, but you don't get it, do they, Tamari? The more you act as yourself, the farther you push people away. You know that better than anyone. Have you ever been loved, even once, for who you truly are? Ouch. You only get hurt and betrayed. Isn't that right, Tamari? I... I... Tomoe-san steps back and shakes her head in both denial and terror at the voice's implications. Tomoe-san seems looks more frightened than I'd expect, which means just like with Tomami-san, the voice is deliberately going for her deepest insecurities that we don't know. Do you really want that? You're the leader. If nobody loves you, how can you protect anyone? No. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! On it! Feeling something bad coming, both Yosuke and I rush to Tomoe-san. If this is just like earlier, then the instant Tomoe-san gives in to that voice... No! Ah, there it is. That didn't take long. Ah! 
Oh shit! Ribbons from all directions knock Yosuke and me away. We both hit the ground. The ribbons coil around Tomoe-san and pull her down the path. So powerful, I braced myself for the impact, but I still couldn't resist it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tomoe isn't going with you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! We couldn't stop it! We can't give up for Tomoe-san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on, we've got to move! Yes, let's go! If we hurry, we can still catch up! <laughs> Sorry, I left at the footstep sound effect. Huh, interesting. After traveling down the path to Moe's was taken, we encounter an unbelievable sight. A floor covered in bright neon shelves lined with liquor bottles, gaudy and chintzy decoration here and there. This is... What is this place? It feels like somewhere shady you'd go to drink at night. Although, not that I've been to one, but this looks kind of retro. Look, there's Tomoe chan at Chia's exclamation, we all follow her gaze. In the middle of the stage, surrounded by neon and all kinds of strange objects, Tomoe-san stands looking up and yelling something. No! I'm not doing it because I want to! <laughs> True. You aren't the sexy type at all. In fact, you're so shy, you've never gone out with a boy. And have a hobby of yours. <laughs> But to Moe, no one needs that, you. If people are disappointed, their hearts will abandon you. Poor girls, left behind by their own leader. I... I... Sumo... Tomoe-san! Tomoe-chan! Noticing us, Tomoe-san tries to run towards us, but the voice speaks again as if to cut her off and Tomoe-san freezes in her tracks. Forget who you really are. Sexier than anyone. Dominant over everyone. The mature leader. That's the you everyone wants. Here, listen to what everyone has to say. No! I love how she seems so seductive. In control. Like, they're supposed to be edible idols. But it feels like she's the one doing the eating. That better than you attitude gives me chills. I love that sultry look, like she knows exactly what you want. These voices again! Without Tomomine, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the hots for. And that's Tomo Mean all over. I. I. Ah! Oh, see, Tomoe. Everybody wants the sexy, confident you who has men wrapped around her little finger. Now, kinda disgusting. There's no place for the real you. This isn't good. I tried calling out to Tomoe san, but it's too late. Tomoe san's lips quivering in fear up until now, curve into a crooked smile. That's this is all I have. No, Tomomine! Damn, they got Tomoe this artwork Sun. down pat! Wrapped in ribbons, Tomoe san only laughs sadly as black mist starts covering her body. This is just like Tomami san, no, even stronger. The ominous presence engulfs the area, and the miasma covering Tomoe san begins taking shape. Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Why does it have to end up like this? Keep your guard up. It's coming. Boss battle time. Don't worry, Chie got this. Holy tits. Those are some gahunga gongas. I feel so hot. That's right. I am the butterfly. The queen of the night. It's useless trying to show the real me anyway. No one would ever understand. Come the gagazunga gangas. The their gahunga. Gunga. Time of your life. 
Don't you prefer pleasure over pain? Uh. Why go through the pain of expressing yourself? You get nothing out of it! Okay, kind of gross. Can we dance now? That's not true. Ignoring the cheering of the shadows suddenly filling the stands, I stand to face Tomoe-san, my gaze meeting the two cold, glowing eyes behind the giant butterfly mask. I yell out at the monster. Expression is good. There are times people don't understand you, no matter how much you try. But it's so worth Dance the succeed. tits away! <laughs> That's why I'll never stop reaching out. To Be gone, tits! We don't want you! Yeah, what he said. I know it sucks getting hurt. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your feelings. Watch me, tomoe san I'll show you what it means to express yourself. All right, get him, you. You can do it. Rise, can you hear me? Oh, Yu's high. dancing. Oh, I let's thought this was going to be Chie. Play the music. All right, let's go, Yu Narakami. Dance number two. Showtime. Showtime. Don't give up, tomoe san Keep your Fuck horny. I want to sure dance. Be fine. Oh. I don't know what the song is. Well. All right. Oh, this song. Oh, that caught me off guard. That went well. <laughs> you! Oh God, I never would have expected to see him do that. All right. Look at this Chad dancing. That went well. All right, I'm ready whenever. How's that? Perfect. I'm trying to watch the dancing. All right. I was expecting Yukiko. Woo! Yukiko. Totally came across. You got me fired up too, Yukiko. Dance with me again sometime. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of this remix. Went well. All right, I'm ready whenever. How's that? All right. <laughs> that went well. I'll now begin my performance. Yeah, not a fan. How's that? the elegance I was expecting, Yukiko. Your passionate feelings totally came across. You got me fired up too, Yukiko. Dance with me again sometime. The dances are getting better. Although that song, though, I could have done without that remix. Izanagi without the guitar! That's epic. Brilliant! That went exactly Whoa! 
I guess I, I guess technically what that's a base. Technically. Whatever. Look, I'm a dance major, not a music major. Did he do it? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Everything. The good parts and the embarrassing parts. It's all part of you, Tomoe-san. We're the same. And I'm sure there are people out there who will accept you as you are, Tomoe. Dame dame. Dame dame. Thank you so much, Slama, for the tier one sub, dude. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Tomoe-san silently looks down as if deep in thought, then raises her head and looks us directly in the eyes. A newfound resolution burns in her eyes. When I was a student, I a friend about my hobby. She laughed so hard. I got scared. Couldn't face her. And before I knew it, we weren't friends anymore. Huh? Wow, I'm sorry. I guess that was when I learned to distance myself from everyone else. I was scared to be myself. Tomoe-chan! What's the hobby? Just so we understand, could you tell us what that hobby is? What, dude? Didn't she just tell us how it was a sore subject? Tell us anyway. No, it's okay. This is the first step. I need to be able to talk about it. Thank you, Yukun. See? I... I... I'm... weird! Come again? Manga. I watch TV at home all day. I just can't get out of my kotatsu. Bro, that shit's normal. On my days off, I stain my PJs, eat snacks, drop crumbs all over, and waste hours online checking my favorite sites. Okay. <laughs> I'm too scared to hold hands with a boy. I'm not good at talking to people, and I always spend New Year's on One of life. us. One of us. One. <laughs> I see manga I like, and I buy it. Then I realize I already have that volume, but oh well, you know. God, I'm awful. <laughs> oh my god. One of us. Girl, same. <laughs> <laughs> Flirting it all out in one breath and losing speed toward the end. Tomoe-san's incredible confession comes to an end. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I can't think of anything immediately. I look to Yosuke next to me for help, but he appears to be in shock, probably for a different reason. Uh, wait, uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh no, Yukiko and her laugh. I did that as well. I bought two of the same manga. It was, uh... I think it was Full Metal. I don't buy manga. I only buy manga for, like, the my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, series. And I remember I did buy two of the same Full Metal Alchemist manga. Yukiko-san! I'm calling Now's myself out. Now's not a good time for that. What if this traumatizes Tomomine even more? Oops. For sure. I mean, who'd need two, right? <laughs> hey, you know, if you have a friend over and you both want to read the same book, well, you need two. Makes perfect sense. Oh, boy. So she's that type? Oh, and I thought one was tough enough to deal with. All right, this girl's my favorite. Fuck the other idols. Yukiko and Tomoe sounds laughter echoes throughout the room, and the rest of us just stand there, staring in amazement. Then suddenly, a familiar beam of light descends on a spot a little away from us. Oh, a safe room! Again. 
That same door we saw with Tamami-san. Two is not enough? Oh, wow. Three. Okay, uh... Is this the door oh, I'll to get the three, dressing though. room at our office? How... Why don't we go inside? Uh, carefully. We don't know yet if it's safe inside. Oh, wait. So I don't have a gorb? But I'm thinking about getting a gorb. So you're, what you're saying is I should get three gorbs, not just one. You know, purely for collector purposes. Got it. I'm glad that chat validates me. <laughs> just like I thought. Oh, man. It looks pretty much the same as last time. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear that song either, huh? Anyway, we should probably take a short rest. We've saved Tamami-san and Tomoe-san so far. I'm sure you're all feeling tired by now. <laughs> you have all the P5 orbs? Oh, I'm jealous. I don't like collecting things. I, I don't, I'm not like a figurine person. Literally, the Akechi one is the only one I have and probably the only one I will ever have. It's the only one that matters. Who? Don't mind if I do. This dance. I don't like having a lot of stuff. Legs, I live a know. very like minimalist life. G O R B. Thank you so much for the three months, Phoenix. I appreciate it. Everyone relaxes, letting the tension ebb away. I'm a little tired myself, and take a seat in a nearby chair. With perfect timing, Risei calls us up with her persona. Senpai, are you okay to talk? Risei, yeah, we're good. We just saved Tomoe-san. Uh I can't be going crazy. You're going crazy. I, I can hear Risei-san's voice inside my head. And Yukun is talking back to her. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. They can't help it. It is getting repetitive, though. Yep. I know that Yukiko didn't mean anything by it, but she could probably afford to be a little more sensitive. <laughs> I glance at everyone explaining persona communication out of the corner of my eye, and I focus on talking with Risei. How is it over there? Is everyone all right? We're having some issues. I gotta say, it is a bit rough without you guys. By the way, about Miss Ochimizu. Yeah, it seems like the shadows don't attack her for some reason. Wait, how do you know that, Senpai? We ran into her too. Oh, I see what's going on. Geez, she does whatever she wants, like always. What do you mean? It's nothing. Anyway, we've got some catching up to do. I'll fill you in once we meet up. All right, we'll be waiting. Bye, Senpai. Bye. Oh, don't worry, I don't ever intend on getting into figure collecting. Main reason is money. I don't like spending my money on stuff like that. As I end the conversation with Risei, my friends finish up explaining to Tomoe-san. We relax, the conversation turning casual. As we're talking, Yukiko calls out to us, apparently noticing something in the makeup corner. Another letter. Look, it's just like when we were with Tomoe-san. I'm seeing a pattern. Oh, not that again! And I was this close to putting it out of my mind! Before even reaching Yukiko, we knew what she found. Just like with Tamami-san, a note. After making sure I have everyone's attention, I take a look at the, con at the contents. As I thought, although the actual text is different from the one in Tamami-san's room, it's pretty much a continuation. The morning glory won't bloom, no matter how hard I wish. I've already forgotten my true face. My love for music has grown cold. I'm scared to sing. Scared to get on the stage. Scared to face my fans' expectations. How would she feel if I left? I don't want to make her sad, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. Yikes. This person's having some hard times. It's even worse than the last note. Ghost or not, this is just plain scary. Could the culprit behind this really be a ghost? That idol who committed suicide. Even if that's possible, it's too soon to judge yet. Uh, if we could just figure out who wrote these, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Idol, suicide, morning glory, calistegia of what? Calistegia. It's another name for morning glory, but don't tell me. We all turned to my son and her sudden outburst. She was staring into space as if trying to remember something. Does Tell she? Me. You know what this note is about? N no, but it reminded me of something I heard when our appearance at LMB was finalized. A very popular idol who was with Takara Productions passed away a few years back. It was apparently big news back then. 
just before she died, she wrote one final song. Calistegia, a flower commonly known as morning glory. And that song, Calistegia, that's the new song we're debuting at the LMB Fest. An idol that belonged to Takara Productions, who has a connection with Kanamine Kitchen. It does match the profile we came up with. Uh, this conversation is going in a bad direction. Are you saying the culprit is seriously <laughs> a, a, a ghost? It's a ghost! Chie, breathe, relax. <laughs> it's too early to jump to any conclusions. But yeah, things are starting to connect here. <laughs> Drive a stake through my heart, why don't you? <laughs> I calmed down the Rowdy team and looked squarely at Tomoe-san. Whether or not that idol is the culprit of this case, I think we need to get more information. Tomoe-san, do you know why that particular song was selected for Kanamine Kitchen? Ms. Ochimizu. Ms. Ochimizu? Yes, it was her decision. Calistegia never saw the light of day. After what happened, its release was put on hold indefinitely. But Miss Ochimizu said that'd be a key selling point. Seriously? Tomoe-san, um, if you don't mind, can I ask you the name of the idol that passed away? Oh, yes. It's... Yuko Osada. And she's here. Miss Ochimizu, why are you here? Yuko's curse. The notion is so ridiculous. I'd expect to find it on the cover of a tabloid. You don't have to put it like that. How can you say that for sure? Having Kanamine Kitchen sing Yuko-san's song might be an effective marketing strategy, but it could well be thanks to you that they were thrown into this incident. I can see your position. In a place like this, it's easy to think some monster or ghost is responsible. However, it's impossible that this is Yuko's curse. It's flatly out of the question. You can't know that for sure. Yes, I do. And that's the end. Yes, the I know that it's not Yuko's curse. Meh, shut up. Tomoe, <laughs> you listen to me, you prick. You don't want to make a fool of yourself. See what chaos you've caused? Uh, I'm sorry. How could you? Miss Ochimizu's attitude was clearly aggravated, aggravating Chie and Yukiko. It is strange. Miss Ochimizu does, intend to, does tend to speak aggressively, but this time feels different, like a rush of emotion. Why is that? As I try to calm Chie and Yukio down, I ponder the possibilities. I understand their feelings. We're trying to account for actual victims here, and being worried for their safety makes us emotional. But attacking Miss Ochimi Ochimizu is the wrong way to deal with it. We don't even know the extent of her connection here. Everyone, that's enough. We don't know if Miss Ochimizu is even a part of this. No, I apologize. I shouldn't have lashed out. In any case, I'll take it from here. Tomoe, stay here with me until you've recovered. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Uh, at Miss Uchimizu's calm apology, she and Yukio come back to themselves. I know, Yukiko and Shie don't want to blame Miss Uchimizu if it's not justified. Yuki uh, Yosuke starts talking again, trying to change the subject. So, why are you here, Miss Uchimizu? Yes, I came after you. I figured if you saved another girl, she would need looking after. Like in Tamami's case. As for Tamami, she's fine. That room seemed pretty safe, and she's calmed herself. Idols aren't that fragile. I see. Thank you. Anyway, you've successfully saved Tamami and Tamami. I'd like to thank you, but I think I'll wait until this whole mess is over. We're looking forward to that. Let's get out of here together, all of us. I'm afraid I must leave that to you. Neither Tamoe nor I are of much use here. It's always like that. Every crisis I face, I'm made aware of my powerlessness. Go once you're ready. And play detective all you want. But that's quite enough throwing around baseless accusations. Whew. Ouch. Ms. Ochimizu makes her final statement and leaves, but I still have my doubts. Her powerlessness? Again, something in her words feels wrong. It sounded almost like self-deprecation. And from that, I think there's a reason behind the way she speaks normally. Somehow, I can't take her at face value. I hate to say this, but... I just can't seem to like her. The way she acts, I'd be surprised to find someone who does. Hey, what if I, I like her? She has her reasons for it. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to meet up with Risei's team and find a way out. I'm sorry I made things awkward. Off yeah, me too. I'm really getting hungry, so let's just get this over with and figure out everything else once we get back home. <laughs> That's just like you, Chie. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 
Nobody would think of dinner at a time like this except for you know who. Aw, sheesh, guys. I can't help it. I'm only human. <laughs> We love you, Chie. Everyone laughs at Chie's pouting as usual. Yeah, we're fine, just like we always are. After exchanging looks with my friends who've stood up at my side through countless trials, we step towards the door. Ah, <sighs> steak on the brain. After Yu's team left the dressing room, all that remained was Miss Ochimizu and a flustered Tomoe sitting alongside her. Some buildup on your face. Oh, um, I've been here since yesterday, and I couldn't do anything about it. I see. Yes, that makes sense. You're the eldest member of Kanamine Kitchen, correct? The LMB Festival is right around the corner. Huh? What? Oh, yes! You know, Eat yo skate. That that what? Exercise is good for the skin. You take that comment back. I'll, I'll exercise. Uh, uh, some dance practice. Please allow me right now. Go on then. Tomoe stood in front of Ochimizu and began dancing desperately. Uh, no, no, you're not getting it at all. <laughs> Listen to me, Tomoe. You need some real nuance. Some emotion in that dance. Something like... Oh, no. A female veteran of the company's lowest department advising the new addition to the group. A woman's worth is measured by the number of men she has conquered. Do you feel her pride? Her sorrow? Oh, my God! I'm ashamed of myself! I didn't understand my routine at all! Ugh, oh, I'm so confused. Me no, me no comprende. After exiting the dressing room, I took a good look around. Hell right, there's no sign of any shadows appearing here. I think it's safe to leave Miss Sochimizu and Tomoe's on there. Glancing to my side, I noticed Yosuke stretching. Good, looks like he managed to get a little rest back there. All right. Then let's meet up with Rise. Whew. Man, I'm really starting to ache here. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Thanks for being with me. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing! You know, you. I was wondering. It's about Ms. Ochimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind of strange? Ms. Ochimizu? Something in my memory flickered at his question. I did feel something wrong with Miss Ojimizu back there. Is Yosuke talking about how Miss Ojimizu got suddenly emotional? I mean, it was strange, but... You think so? Really? Was she? You didn't notice? Was it just me then? Well, what did you think was strange? I noticed something too. She became pretty emotional, didn't she? Yeah. Right when the time. Imagine a human idol, feeling can... emotions! It's only a hunch right now, but... My gut tells me there's something she's not telling us. But what? I agree with most of Yosuke's opinion. We don't know what, but Miss Ochimizu is definitely hiding something from us. It most likely has something to do with this Yuko Wasada, but... Well, I don't know yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Wasada thing. You mean whether or not this Yuko-san is the culprit? I'd like to stay away from that possibility. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. And what with these mm. messages, which read almost like suicide notes. It does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. Also, she was with Takuro Productions, and Kanamine Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB, huh? She knew too much. There are a lot of connections, but that voice seemed to know a lot of close personal information about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to imagine that Yuko-san would know that much about them. Yeah, exactly! See? I knew Yuko-san wasn't the culprit! Huh. You've got a point Thank there. Thank God it's not a ghost! Tamami didn't know much about Yuko-san, and it seemed like Tamami didn't either. 
Besides, Kanamine Kitchen hasn't been around for that Sorry. long. When you think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. As I thought, knowing Yosuke, I'm sure the info on Kanami Kitchen is accurate. And if that's the case, it's hard to think that the voice is Yuko-san, but that means... Ah, oh, crap. It looks like we're back at square one. If it's not her, then who the hell's the culprit? If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san like Tomoe-san suggested, then we can assume the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takara Productions, who knows Tomoe-chan and Tamami-chan very well, and also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then, we're out of luck! Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. Oh yeah, and they've got Naoto-kun with them! Yeah! The real detective and our leader together! The real detective! The we can't solve! Uh, why are you the one bragging? Cause she's my best friend! <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Oh shit. That's a lot of shaking. Suddenly, we feel a shock. At first I thought an enemy was attacking, but it seems like something else entirely. This- Whoa, what, what the- An earthquake! Whoa! This is not a good sign! Something might have happened to the other group. Let ah shit. Oh. Oh! Oh, shit! We're going backward! What if I want to keep going? I did all that? Well, that's crazy! Whoa! Look at all this shit we did! Wow! Alright. Well, now we see the other side. Kanji, Nato, Rise, and Teddy. Oh boy. This side's gonna drive me nuts, isn't it? A little while after we split from Senpai and the others, I noticed our surroundings begin to change. What is this? It's like an amusement park with some sort of theme to it. It reminds me of the stage that was prepared for me when, I'm, when I got pulled into the world. It's a little unsettling. Let's play with dolls. Whoa. Hmm. What is this place? It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. From a fairy tale or something. Don't let your guard down, Kanji-kun. There's no telling when the enemy will attack. Yeah, I know. <sighs> uh, everything okay with you two? You're awfully quiet. Are you not feeling well? Aw, now, Chan, you're all lonely because you're not with Sensei, huh? Don't worry. Teddy will stay at your side forever. What is Teddy wearing? That's not the case. Teddy? Yeah, same here. Wait, did you just ignore me, Ted? What the hell'd you put that on? Ah, uh, I... Ma? Ma? What? Uh, I get it. Come on, Kanji Natoku. We want to prove to our senpai that we can handle things on our own, right? Aside from that, though, it didn't. I didn't notice that Teddy put his fur back on until the Kanji mentioned it. Wait, what's with that outfit? A white jumpsuit, a gaudy belt, and what do they call those dangly things? Oh yeah, fringes hanging off his sleeves. And on top of that, he's got Kuma printed- oh, Kuma. Printed across his chest in glitzy gold letters. That's definitely not the costume in Oisan prepared for him. We didn't have any plans for the bear suit at all. He probably made that himself. Not that I'm going to let him wear that on stage. Oh, I see. When Yosuke's not around, Kanji keeps us in check. Uh-huh. Does that mean Kanji's checking me out right now? Is my Shut up! in danger? No, I'm not. And enough of that crap. <sighs> Come on. How long are you two going to mess around? It just never stops with you. Well, um, it's kind I of Teddy's fault. it loneliness, precisely. But it does feel awkward without Senpai. Precarious, if you will. Yeah. No kidding. We said all that earlier, but it's because of them that we're all together in the first place. <sighs> it just doesn't feel right, not hearing the usual kanji or calm down. This is a very serious situation indeed. Oh my god. He didn't take the chance to do a pun? Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hold 
on to something! Ah! Holy shit! Without Sensei to protect me, I'll be bombarded from all sides with He's a fake! Racism. He's not real! Dude, just don't stir up any shit. I need to hold on to something for dear life, oh my god! Alright, that's enough! Come on, guys, we need to keep our spirits up! Did you forget what we discussed? I'm shook. That we wanted to grow into a team our senpai would be proud of? Oh, oh my god! You senpai's not with us, which makes this a perfect opportunity. Let's work together and impress everyone. What's happening? I put a lot of energy into my words, trying to rally the down cat. The down cat. So yeah, well, I'm. I can't even read. I'm so shook. If we're going to fight by dancing, we can't go moping around. I'll, 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 I'll affect our performance for sure. Yeah. I'll be lying if I said I wasn't worried, but you have to be positive, or you're just setting yourself up to fail. I'm right. so shook. This is well within our power. Yeah, Nato Kun, totally. Although our team could be better coordinated if we had a decision maker, I suggest we come to a consensus on who should assume that role. You. You mean choose a leader? I'm fine either way. Not though. Substitute sensei, huh? Okay, I nominate myself. Fuck off. Go team! Teddy wants you! Yahoo! Well, in a matter of speaking, to be clear, I'm declining the position. Whoa. I tend to prefer the role of advisor. God damn it. <laughs> Sounds like Teddy wins by default. Oh, no, you don't. Look, hey, hold it. There's no friggin' way that's gonna work. Wanna do it then, Kanji? Huh? Well... If that's what you guys want, I guess I can give it a shot. What? Of course. At two, Kanji. My empire was destroyed in a day. In a day? More like five seconds. What empire? You ain't the leader yet. Great. Kanji and Teddy are arguing over nothing again. It's nice that they got they get along, but we've got more important stuff to worry about. I don't care who. Just hurry up and decide. That's it, Ted. You asked for it. You and me, right now, dance battle. I'm gonna crush you! Dance battle? Challenge accepted! Prepare yourself for the ultimate in break dancing! Okay, he's not fake anymore. Just then, I sense something change in the atmosphere. Instantly, I'm on my toes. Nanto-kun notices it too. She warms Kanji... She warns Kanji and Teddy. Not warms them. Hmm. <laughs> Interrupting their argument. Hold on, you two. I felt something. <laughs> You sure are funny. Welcome to the midnight stage, featuring Sumomo. There you are! Wait, Sumomo's up ahead? <laughs> That's what I said. It's almost time for the performance. She will shine forever on the midnight stage, as the Sumomo everybody wants. Sumomo is a lucky girl. She gets to join us and share our bond. <laughs> I already heard about you, but damn, you're one grade-A dumbass! You kidnapped her and you're saying she's lucky? You got a beatdown coming, punk, so get your ass up! I'm glad to see you're full of energy. But let me remind you of one important thing. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Kanji-kun, in this world, no one hurts or gets hurt. I already confirmed that rule for myself. To physically assault someone here would be impossible. <laughs> Stupid rules. <laughs> Here you can say goodbye to all your pain and suffering and connect with everyone. <laughs> Sumomo will be so happy. Look how many have gathered just for her. Alrighty. So about our dancing. No, not the shadow throbbing. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, something like black mist falls out of the darkness around and solidifies into countless shadows. They're all connected by ribbons, just like the ones we saw you, yeah, when we were pulled into this world yesterday. Ah, shadow alert! Sh hmm? They really are tied together by those weird ribbony thingy. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. God, I hate this screen. <laughs> The song. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I'm getting all. Just like yesterday, as the eerie song gets louder and the shadows dance, I still f I start feeling drained, like my will's getting weaker and weaker. This isn't good. I pull myself together and look around to see if the guys are okay. Be careful. If you're caught in those ribbons, they'll start affecting your mind. Hang in there, everyone. Don't let them get the upper hand. There's 
so-called bond is a joke. We need to make them realize that. <laughs> I hear you. Why should I be all buddy-buddy with them when I'm only getting tied to... Hey, Rise, give me my homework song. I'll show them what's up. Huh? You're going to dance? <gasps> I was kind of surprised. I how many I was at a hog and gave me tears. Yo, Pug! Thank you so much, Ryder, for the seven months. I appreciate it. Thanks, fam. You're the best. It's not that I don't trust Kanji, but I never thought he'd be so hyped about it. Wow, Kanji, you can be really reliable sometimes. What? That's no fair. This is where I'm supposed to step in. Mm -hmm. Watch and learn, Ted. You're about to see Kanji Tatsumi bring down the house with a man. Well, you're I'm scared to see Kanji you. dancing. Okay. I'll play your song, so you better give it everything you Damn straight. Ah! Why am I scared? Are you ready? I'll show you how a man does this. Let's stay focused. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's the wrong road. See you there. Anytime. Oh, his shoes are fire. Oh my god, he's punching walls. Dancing, dude. So far, not doing that, which is good, because yeah, I can't break dance. Watch, he's gonna like fucking drop it right now. Please don't. Like leveling up. I'm going over 9,000! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Dang! Nato, though. Mm. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. It. Okay. Oh boy. Oh god, what's his persona gonna do? Play the drums! Yeah! Hell yeah. Oh, he has a chair! <laughs> Breaks the chair out at the end. Oh, that's beautiful. Your sensitivity came through even during your fierce moves. How very like you, Kanji kun. <laughs> oh, that was super fun. Oh, I'm glad there wasn't, like, legit... I thought, like, 
From the opening? I thought Kanji was gonna like legit break dance. I was super scared. Cause like I wanna be able to do all of the characters' dances, and so far I can do all of them that I've seen. But like I can't break dance, so I was like terrified that I couldn't do like one. <laughs> Kanji's dance brings the shadows to their senses. They fade into sparkling light, going back to whenever they came from, uh, wherever they came from. As I watch the spectacle, I'm somehow more convinced that the shadows here were bound to this place by that weird song. Time to learn breakdancing. <laughs> I guess he still has one more dance. Yeah, he could awesome. in the next one. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh, but you are quite impressive yourself, Kanji-kun. Uh huh. Good job. You kind of freestyled a bit here and there, but it was very you. I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Not bad, Kanji. I know. Y you think so? I mean, of course. <laughs> What'd you expect from me, huh? <laughs> well done. The shadows were going wild to see you dance. Kanji's face goes bright red from all the compliments. <laughs> silly Kanji. I was genuinely impressed, though. His moves felt totally natural compared to how he was during practices. Still kind of rough, but not bad at all. Then, as if he remembers something, Kanji suddenly poker faces. Hey, this still kind of bothers me, but... His dancing is powerful, that it is. Why does dancing work on the shadows? Kanji-kun, don't tell me you just dance without understanding why. What? Well, of course I understand. Oh, you know, yeah. It's all that, uh, stuff, right? Like, like, like we say. Yes, said. Kanji. You got it. Dancing ain't about thinking too much, but more like, uh... <laughs> Letting yourself Oh, out. yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Our guess was that in this world, it's somehow easier to convey your feelings to others, whether humans or shadows. That's why our dances can influence our audience so much. As proof, my senses are way sharper than usual, and even in this big world, I can easily tell where Senpai is. Of course, I'd get a better reading if I called my persona, but it was kind of incredible how I could do that and communicate with others all on my own. I could even broadcast our songs to all those shadows at once. My persona provides backup by connecting my mind to the others, so it must be especially affected by this world. Well, can't complain since it's helping us deal with this situation. But besides that, what Kanji said caught me completely off guard. He remembered what I told him before? You were actually listening? I'm kind of surprised, Kanji. <sighs> uh, you were listening to me? What? Well, what I'm trying to say is, I did put my feelings into it. You know, like saying, this is who I am. But the fact that the shadows actually got that? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. I mean, how's that possible? You do have a point. No matter how strongly we try to express something, it's useless if our audience is incapable of understanding it. Which may mean these shadows have emotions just like us and recognize ours as well. Shadows have emotions? I bet those shadows didn't get it at first. They were just dancing to that creepy song, feeling okay about it because they were doing it in a big crowd. But then they saw Kanji getting down, and they <laughs> were like, Ooh, that guy's got the groove. Forget this, I'm going over there. I see. That may well be so. Case closed. I'm not sure I get what Teddy's trying to say, so shadows can understand and accept what we express through dance? Then there's no problem. In any case, we got our message across. Doesn't that make you feel good? Being accepted by someone, people or shadows, it's the best feeling. As everyone nods, I feel a sudden relief. We can definitely move ahead as a team. We're not gonna lose to you, senpai. Okay, let's take a quick break oh. and get going. That voice said Sumomo was up ahead. Yeah, I'm ready to beat the shit out of- Wait, we can't. Uh, <laughs> dance some sense into those shadows. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Fuck, we can't beat him up. Hey. You want to just make her the leader? Yeah, we're totally outclassed. <laughs> huh? You guys say something? It's nothing, leader. Please, show us the way. <laughs> subtly, very subtly savage, but just like... Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, well, let's go. These two idiots. Yeah, leader, what's up? Somehow I ended up as the leader. With that settled, I guess we start walking down the path. Didn't Kanji and Teddy both want, the, want to be the team leader? Yeah, they did. And then Naoto made the decision. But those shadows, they felt kind of different from the ones we fought before. I wonder why. Oh well, no time to worry about stuff like that. I've got some sweet ladies to rescue. Rawr! I'm coming for you right now, my precious idols!
I hate his outfit. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Following my heightened senses, we search the area for some Momo. I can tell we're getting very close. As I'm thinking that, Teddy pauses as his, uh, in his sniffing and points ahead of us. Oh, she doesn't have all the sparkles in her eyes. Senpai, and not that means she's dead inside. Oh, goodness, jeez, I was the one worried. I'm so glad you're safe. Woohoohoo! It's the adorable piglet Momo-chan, right here in front of me. Yosuke and I haven't missed a single Kanamine Kitchen appearance on TV, but eh, something's different. It's her manner of speech. She sounds like a different person altogether than when I met her. Oh, right. Teddy's only been seen Samomo on TV. Not to Kun and Senpai met her in person, but that was more of a business thing. I laughed dryly, attempting to explain the situation to the shocked Nato Kun and confused Teddy. I guess that is surprising, huh? Samomo actually grew up deep in the country, so this is how she really is. She doesn't mind bugs at all, and she does a ton of farm work at home. She's a lot tougher than she looks. No way! Cute little Momo chan, the sweetheart of teenage boys everywhere. It was all an act? Everything I know is a lie. I was thoroughly fooled too. I'm a detective. Ouch. Huh? So what? No big deal. Mizuchi Mizu done worked my tail off after all. I'm guessing you were hoping I'd be the sweet little sister type. I did not expect this. I I did not expect that. What now? You know, like an adorable little kid you just want to look after. Small and cute. But you can only go so far with that. I've been thinking maybe I ought to try doing something else. Yeehaw! Even if it's a tiny bit at a time. It's cute. Don't say oh, that piano. It was sudden. There was no sign of anyone else around us or even approaching us. And yet the voice rings out, as if the speaker had been watching us this whole time. <laughs> Who do we have here? Sorry, but you're too late. It doesn't matter. Simono can't get out of here, so why hurry? Simono, do you want to leave this world? Do you really want to upset your fans? My, my fans? That's right. Everyone wants the you they know as a helpless, adorable little child. Wouldn't they feel so betrayed if they saw you now? Ah, uh, I betrayed anyone. I've worked dang hard up till now. <laughs> yes, you've really done wrong, but it's still not enough. You need to become the Simono that everyone wishes for. Oh no, 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 Shadow's roaming. No! Can they just not do this like one time? Suddenly pick up a reading right in front of us. Sure enough, a big mass of shadows appears out of nowhere. When the voices started talking about the fans, even I feel it uneasy, even though it was directed at me. Uh, it phased, it phased me that it, it phased me that much. That's a dirty trick, pressuring her like that. No way, I'm letting her get to Momo. It's those out of character shadows trying to kidnap Momo Chan, huh? Well, you won't get her. That. We're not handing some. <laughs> you ain't gonna have it your way as long as we're here. <laughs> oh god, my room hurts so much. Daddy's plans to strike again. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it, Zar. Hope you enjoy the emotes. You have no idea just how much Simona is suffering. What are you talking about? You don't need to know. Ordinary Jill, thank you so much for the four months. I hope you keep enjoying the emotes. Thank you for the support. Except our bond. All right, who's dancing now? The eerie song gets louder and the shadows begin dancing. I can feel the surge to join them invading my thoughts. I won't lose. I fight back against the feeling and stand my ground. Uh, what? Ah, stop this song! No matter how many times I hear this, it never gets any better. Call this freaky shit a bond? Get the hell out of here! Teddy? Risei-chan, if you would be so kind. Oh no. Needs your finest song. Leave it to Teddy. I don't want to watch Teddy dance. What's up, Ted? 
Itching to get on the floor after seeing me dance? I'm gonna show you who's the man! Teddy is in the house, yo! Is that so, Teddy? I hold back the urge to laugh, but the smirk on my face isn't exactly idol-like. Okay, then it's all yours. Gotcha! Teddy, I'm giving you the coolest tune I've got, so do your absolute best! Aye, aye, we say Teddy wishes he now was the man. Drop that bridge. Oh god, Teddy. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Let's focus and get going! All right, Ted, go shake things up! Oh my god. Oh, I already hate this. I... Yahoo! God, he looks like fucking Elvis. Like Terry physically gains my soul. Uh, internet guy, thank you so much for 100 bits. more I like I like this Teddy a lot more see if the whole dance was this Teddy then I would be more inclined to do it kanji what is kanji kanji what is that face Teddy's wacky movements must have captured the shadows. They disappear into the sky, freed from the bindings of the song and the ribbons. But, hmm, Teddy, that was totally different from what I taught you. It, it did look fun, though, so I decided to keep quiet for now. Woohoo! Yeah! 
I bet they felt that. Teddy's debut performance was a smash hit. You guys are amazing. Oh, what is this? I'm getting goosebumps all over. It seems you've lost more fans, Samama. Are you okay with that? Hey, what are you saying? I'm still head over heels with Momo-chan. My heart is right with her. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm, Samama, are you that confident in your true self? You think everyone will still love you? Apart from being cute, you have no redeeming features. You're just a doll who can't do anything on your own. Without that cuteness, you'd have nothing left. Again, this voice was clearly trying to shake Samomo. Hasn't it hurt her feelings enough already? Uh, no, I, I want to be. Samomo, ah! Samomo san. It literally happened in the blink of an eye. Countless ribbons lashed out of nowhere, wrapping Sumomo up and instantly pulled her into the distance. No resistance at all. Resistance at all. It was all so fast that even though uh, even though we were right next to Sumomo, none of us could react in time. Oh, has been taken! Oh no! Damn it! What the hell? Mind games. The instant she showed her weakness in her heart, she fell for that voice's trap. Come on, we gotta chase after Sumomo. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Chasing after Samomo's signal, we reach an area with a fantasy world feel like we ended up inside a tiny box. And up ahead, where Samomo's reading is, we see... Oh. Creepy. Whoa! What in the what? An oversized dollhouse. This is quite an unsettling picture. Hey, look! That's... I don't need to look where Kanji's pointing, but my enhanced senses are already, t are already zeroing in on Samomo. I can see Samomo frantically pleading with someone, though I can't detect any presence besides her. That alone is proof enough of who she's talking to. It has to be that voice. No. Uh, I got a lot of things that I want to do. That I want to be. But you can't, Samomo. Don't tell me you forgot. Remember what you were told when you left the countryside? S selfish? <laughs> That's right. You shouldn't cause people trouble. You need to meet people's expectations. You were always told that, right? You know you're an unsophisticated hillbilly. Oh, you have nothing outstanding. No looks, no personality. Jesus! But you want to make everyone back home happy. You said so yourself, Sumo How disappointed would they be if they found out you ignored your fans and ended up abandoned by them? How? Do you know that? About me? About my folks? Ah, fuck. Samomo-san! Momo-chan! I can't bear to watch anymore. We rushed to Samomo, determined to what protect her, but she looks to us with terrified eyes. No, we were too late. She's already scared beyond reason. Hello, Sumomo. I'll let you hear everyone's voices. Sumamine is so cute. She's perfect as the group's little kid. She's so adorable. I don't even care that it's an act. What's this voice? Where is it coming from? I don't know. But is he talking about Momo-chan? She just needs to be cute, and that's all. Heck, I'd be weirded out if she tried something different. Sumamine doesn't have to do anything. I'm kind of a fan of how she's this helpless little kid, you know? She's been acting like she's thinking about her future lately, but all I can see her as is a sweet little girl. <laughs> see, Sumomo, all you have to do is be what everyone wants you to be. The real you is nothing but a burden. Carrying it around will only bring you pain and suffering. The voice echoes as if delivering the coup de grace to the crushed Sumomo. Uh, my own heart aches in sympathy. Uh, sorry, being told something like that directly, anyone would. Uh, Don't see, ask. I, I just had to toss it away. I just had to toss it away. Oh, well, yeah. 
That's the thing. It's uh, it's called a mind game. Why all the no? Hey, are you okay? Sumomo, we're here to save you. We're no. gonna save you. It's all right. How to make folks happy? Ah! Oh no, not a doll. Ah, creepy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no. Black mist washes over Sumomo covered in ribbons and began spreading out rapidly. What emerges from the mist is a giant doll, cute clothes, glittery accessories made immobile by stakes driven through in its monstrous body. This is... Sumomo-san. Her identity is being dominated by their want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I can feel your love for me, everyone. I just had to get rid of my feelings. That's all there was to it. Now... I can connect with everybody! I'm nobody if I'm not loved. I have to meet everybody's expectations, or else I'm totally worthless! I turned at the sudden sound of unearthly cheering behind us and see the once empty seats now packed with shadows. So, this is the stage that, but the sh that the shadows want from Sumomo, but you're wrong! No, you're wrong, Sumomo. You'll ignore your feelings and just do what you're told? You think your real fans are gonna appreciate that? Don't run from it. Don't give up! We're idols. We need to stand our ground. <laughs> I'm right with you on that one. Kanji! Hey, Tiny! Uh, Sumomo, right? Why don't you take a cue from your senior? I know it's hard to live up to people's expectations. And I know it gets tough. But listen, it ain't right to be pretending to be something you ain't. You gotta find a way forward, even if you're scared. Kanji's right. If you throw away your real feelings, then sooner or later you won't be able to tell who you are. That would be just... Too sad. I'm glad to have Kanji and Teddy backing me up, but I'm definitely not prepared for what I hear next. Yes, and that's exactly why we cannot accept this. Risei-san, I ask that you prepare <gasps> my song. Yes! Uh, are you sure not to- Huh? I may not Let's be as go! skilled as you when it comes to dancing. In fact, one might say I have trouble expressing myself in general, but that doesn't mean I don't have a self to express. Please leave this to me. I'm so excited hearing the resolution of Nato-kun's words. The three of us look at each other and smile. All right, if Nato-kun's that determined, then let's see it. Okay, you've been practicing so hard. I know you can do it. I'm ready when you are, so just say when. Well, guess I'll let you take this one. Get him, Nato. Nato. Sumomo-san, I'll show you what it's like to have your true self understood. Let the music play. Here we go. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. I don't know if she's gonna dance now. like because she can't dance that much. I'm sure Just she got this a little longer, I'm sure she got Sumomo this. Son. I want you to light up this stage. Jazzy! Oh get out. Is she jazz dancing? How's this? Oh! Oh shit! She's suave! Damn, she's grooving! Oh my god, she's dancing way better than what she gave herself credit for! Oh, Teddy has to come and ruin it. Fuck. I'm just kidding, this is probably gonna be cute. I don't know. Oh my god, I want to do this too. Like now. Good. How's this? I won't waste this chance. <gasps> oh, that's amazing! Good. I 
could do this. Baby, I've been waiting for this moment. That was nothing. That was perfect. Yeah, you got it. Oh man, this is great. That was really good. I I heavily dig the that choreography. It's in the princess I get through? lineage to dance. Uh, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Yeah, she said she couldn't dance, bruh. She can dance. The monstrous form holding Sumomo inside it thrashes around in distress. Maybe it would be easy to just be whoever someone tells you to be. But if you did that, you'd be what Sumomo is right now, a monster forgetting who you really are. Please, Sumomo, you have to understand. You felt Natokun's dance. We can't just let go. We've got to try hard so people will understand and accept us. As if responding to my mental outburst, the monster swells up and explodes. Oh my god, that was amazing. I want to do that one next. <laughs> but I, I have to throw the cosplay together, which takes time. Sumomo-chan! Sumomo! I was so wrong. Oh, don't be stupid. You're safe now. Just give it another shot. Or however many it takes. That's right! I'm sure everyone back home is cheering for you <sighs> working hard! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Guess I haven't grown a single bit. See, my hometown's out in the boonies. Out in the boonies! Only one bus every three hours, and my school only had eight students. So when I passed the audition, well, the whole dang town came out and congratulated me. They all really believed in me and told me that I ought to listen to the people here. I wanted to make them happy, so I told myself I'm gonna do anything. If that'll... But that ain't all it is, huh? I mean, it's important to sell and haul, but if I wanted people to really like me, I'd have to work on my own dang charm and share that with everyone, yeah? Samoa's words bring smiles from all of us, and we all nod encouragingly. Thank goodness our message got through to her. <laughs> You're dang, uh, damn right. Well, it ain't a bad thing to want to make folks proud, but... <laughs> Kanji? If you gotta throw yourself away to do it, then how? Might as well have someone else do it. That just sucks. So what do you do? Simple. Just live up to their expectations in your own way. All right, my mind's made up. First thing when I get back, I'm gonna go talk to the agency. My mind's made up. Maybe I ain't that cute. And maybe I'm a runt. You are so sure fucking cute. I'll find something I'm better at than anybody. Then, when I'm ready, I'll start showing folks who I really am. So they'll eventually like the entire me. I think that's great. But, um, the agency might have a tough time figuring out how to promote you. What? Rizzy Senpai, ain't you gonna help me out? Rizzy Senpai! Senpai like come on a show with me together? Please? Ah, uh, Samomo, you got your snot on my outfit. C come on, you're ditching a little too much cuteness. You're still an idol. <laughs> and, and why are you still calling me that when you don't have to be all cutesy anymore? Oh no, the safe room. 
As I try to extricate myself from Sumomo's grip, a bright light it suddenly shines down in the middle of the stage. Looking towards it, I see a door that wasn't there before. What is this? It seems to be a door. I can't be certain where it wow. leads to, though. Wow! Good observation! This is a door. <sighs> Hold on, I'll check. Persona! Whoa. Hmm, looks safe inside. I'm not sensing any shadows behind the door. Hey, wait a second. This is the door to our studio's dressing room. At Takara Productions? It's definitely it. I'm sure of it. I've been through this door more times than I can count. Well, how about we go in? Beats just standing around talking about. I go through the door, confirming a total lack of shadows on the other side. What is this place? It popped up all of a sudden, so there's got to be a reason it's here. At least I think so. It does seem safe here. I detect no signs of an ambush either. It is a bit different, but yeah. This is our agency's dressing room. How in the world could it be here, though? Hmm? I don't hear that spooky song in here. The hell is this place? Feels like a totally different world than outside. I don't know. Is there a purpose to this, or is it mere coincidence? We stand pondering the situation as Sumomo walks past to us to the other side of the room, to the makeup station. Suddenly she cries out. You know, the fact that she's walking ahead of us, even after all of that, really shows her how, how fearless she is. What, what, what in tarnation is this? Something's written here, and it's downright creepy. It looks like some kind of note. What's this doing here? There's a note stuck to the mirror of the makeup station. I get creeped out and take a step back, but Nautokun takes a step, takes a closer look, starting to read it out loud. Nautokun forgets how easily she gets frightened when she's dealing with this kind of thing. It's pretty amazing. I know what I want my songs to express, but everything important will go unsung. It's my fault. She has done nothing wrong, but she takes all the blame for me. I can't stand it any longer. What is this? It feels like a diary entry of some sort. I don't know. Dude wants to say Ouch. something, but can't? And everybody's bagging on some girl, but she's actually covering up for the dude. Guess he feels bad about it. Uh, what gifts? Kanji-kun is using deduction. Huh? <gasps> it's amazing how humans grow. I never thought I'd see the day Kanji would use his brain. I can barely contain myself. I'm so happy for you, Kanji. I can't help but nod proudly, and everyone, even Sumomo, follows suit. Of course, his deduction wasn't as refined as Naoto kuns or Senpai's, but knowing that Kanji was seriously trying to figure it out, figure out this case, made me happy. What the hell do you mean by that? Ugh, what a racket. Even in a place like this, you're squabbling and fighting like children in a playground? <sighs> Honestly, can't you be more civilized? Ah! Miss Ochimizu! Huh? W wait, really? I can't believe my eyes! Standing at the door and cutting off our conversation with a cold retort is Miss Ochimizu herself. Uh huh? But didn't you get snatched up by that ribbon stuff? That's correct. It was, well... Surreal, to say the least. But when I came to, I was lying on the ground. So I walked here as I assessed the situation. I'm sorry, but you walked here? Did you not come across any sh- <clears throat> Anybody suspicious along the way? Yes, I did, but they didn't do anything. They just vanished into thin air the moment they saw me. I was surprised at first, but if that's how they are, then there's not much point in dwelling on it, is there? What? How they are? Th that's it? Ahem, <clears throat> um, excuse me, but despite the odd situation, you don't seem terribly surprised. Why is that? It's a waste of time and energy. Standing around in shock won't accomplish anything. That is true, but... Yeah, that's Miss Ochimizu, all right. Cold, uncompromising, and condescending. 
But how could you not get shaken up in a weird situation like this? I'm not as inflexible as you'd think. Taking everything into account, it's fairly obvious that something supernatural is going on here. But as of now, I doubt that my actions will bring about any positive change. So why even panic? <laughs> You, on the other hand, look to have far more experience in this field than I do. You instantly reacted to the situation when Konami was about to be dragged in. I'm assuming you've come here to save Sumomo and the others? Well, uh, yeah. Then you have my gratitude. Thank you. At the very least, Sumomo is safe thanks to you. Huh? Seeing Miss Sochimizu bow her head so low startles me. I mean, she is a very professional person, but I've never been thanked by her so formally. What? Miss Ochimizu, uh, please stop that. I mean, we only... You only what? Only did what was natural? Then it's only natural for me to thank you as well. Never mind. In an instant, she goes back to her usual se condescending self. What's wrong with you? Can't tell if you're really grateful or not. You have an opinion on the matter? No, damn it! Ugh! You your pain oh. in the ass, you know that? So, Miss Ochimizu, why are you here? You seem like a rational person. I think you came to us for a reason. As a matter of fact, yes. I'll get right to the point. If you're going ahead, leave Sumomo here. You clearly aren't phased by incidents like these. But it's not anything Sumomo and I are used to. If we were to stick together, you would have to constantly worry about Sumomo. I need you to save all four of the girls. Any potential unnecessary issues should be avoided to ensure success. How does she know that all four of the girls are in here are in, and are in trouble? Kind of sus. Moreover, Samomo doesn't appear to have the energy to go with you. That was never mentioned. I turned to Samomo and realized that Ms. Ochimizu is right. She looks really pale. Gah, we messed up. We took the situation for granted. We thought we were being considerate of Sumomo, but we totally missed how exhausted she was. I guess Miss Ochimizu was paying it, uh, much closer attention to Sumomo than we were. Whoa, Momo-chan, you look pale! Uh, are you alright? Yeah. I, I just got a pretty fierce dizzy spell. She's in no condition to travel. Whether she goes with us or not, Sumomo-san needs some rest. Yeah, you're right. I don't sense any shadows around here, so it's probably safer to stay in this room than go anywhere. And I gotta admit, if we all move on, I don't think we can handle the shadows while protecting Sumomo. But, 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 but is it really okay to leave Momo-chan here all by herself? He's right. Sumomo-san would feel anxious if she were left here alone. Alone? No, I'll stay with her. Did you forget? The mob outside won't attack me. And even in case they do, two of us will have a higher chance of survival than just her alone. Ah, she's Dojima in disguise. Makes perfect sense. No, this isn't right. At times like this, Yu-senpai always made the decision for the group. This time, we need to make the decision ourselves. Plus, I'm somehow the team leader right now. Okay, but please, don't do anything risky. You should be safe as long as you stay quiet in this room. Understood. Did you hear her, Samomo? Yes, ma'am. Go whenever you're ready. I wish you luck. All right, guys. Let me contact Senpai before we leave. I want to see how they're doing. It'll only take a moment, so everybody take a breather, okay? I distance myself from the others so I can concentrate and contact Senpai. I take a quick glance at everyone else, but it looks like they're, ta they're taking the opportunity to chat and relax. Miss Ochimizu is just sitting at the makeup station, staring blankly at that note. Hey, I still don't have a handle on her, but... You think that Ochimizu lady ain't as bad as we thought? Kanji-kun, she's still in earshot. <sighs> hmm. After Issei's team left the dressing room, Sumomo uncomfortably sat and watched Ochimizu, who paced around about the room as, as if lost in thought. How is your LMB practice coming along? Have you memorized your dance routines? Oh, yeah! 
it? Can you execute them flawlessly? Oh, uh, no. N not yet. I see. Uh, um, ma'am? You mind taking a look at my, uh, solo? Ma'am? Sure. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. So I took a stance in front of her, in front of Ochimizu, then began dancing as if her life depended on it. Stop. <sighs> wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the feeling's not right at all. Listen, there's an emotion to those steps. Imagine this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, no. You approach a man whose life you just saved only for him to shoot you in the stomach. Blood gushes from the wound. You fall to your knees, clench your fists and roar in shock and disbelief what the hell is this B blood from the gut uh, I, I, how am i supposed to put that in my dance <laughs> that reminds me of like uh my my theater days in college because like sometimes directors will throw that bullshit at you i don't know if anybody has this experience probably some of you do like, um, <laughs> sometimes your directors will be like, no, 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 this, this scene isn't feeling right. No, you gotta, you gotta like, um, okay, just imagine that, that you're just sitting in an electric chair and you just like get shocked with all of this emotion and you just like burst it all out. Like they, the directors say like the craziest shit and this girl like reminds me of like in particular this, this one director I had in college. <laughs> uh, it's, it did something very similar to that, but that uh, that doesn't even just go with theater too. Sometimes, and um, I've also had the experience in modeling too. Whenever you have like a photographer that like you're not you're not giving off like the the proper emotion in front of the camera, so the the photographer will like try to evoke Imagine the evoke the the emotion of out of you for the picture. That goes for like anything, I guess, entertainment wise, not just like acting, but modeling too. <laughs> it's just it's it's just it leaves me so reminiscent of like those times where you just get like these ridiculous, outrageous stories from directors to try to get the feeling that they want to get across. It's really funny. Voro, thank you so much for the six months. I appreciate it. <laughs> Directors will sometimes say really, really crazy shit. We love we leave Sumomo and Miss Ochimizu in the dressing room and move on after a while. I realized that our surroundings had changed something different from the dollhouse before. Everyone else notices it too and we all take in the sight as we continue walking. In, this in the end, it's Teddy who speaks up. Changed Whoa! Again. Holy it's shit! So fancy now, like a princess's castle. <laughs> it brings back fond memories of Yuki-chan. Oh, my heart's pounding out of my fur. Teddy, less blabbing and more moving. We've got a long way to go, and we want to get to the rendezvous point before Senpai's team. The change of scenery did bother me a little, but we don't have much time to waste. I found out when I contacted Senpai that their team had just saved Tamami. Which means there are two left. We still need to save Tomoe and Nozomi. Hey, Kanji, there's something that I've been wondering about. Huh? What's up? Well, you know how shadows already existed in my world, right? So seeing them around in there is nothing special. But this place isn't connected to my world. So how come there's tons of shadows here? Oh, that's because, uh, I don't know. Hell, <laughs> you're the one who's supposed to know about the shadow stuff. I don't know. Actually. Teddy has a valid point. We've encountered quite a number of shadows so far. It'd be understandable if this was the TV world, because we know that to be the shadow's natural habitat. But in this world's case, if our current theory is that all the shadows thus far existed here to begin with, it seems doubtful at best. It didn't occur to me, but yeah, there's a lot we don't know about this world. Even assuming that voice made this place where, uh, where'd all these, wait, voice made this place where'd all these weird shadows come from hey how's this maybe they just pop out of nowhere that is highly unlikely more to the point 
There were no signs of shadows reappearing in the path we took from the entrance. Otherwise, we wouldn't have left Somomo-san and Miss Ochimizu back in the dressing room. Well, yeah, but... That's for sure. I can't sense any shadows from the path we came. Also, we stayed in that room back there for a while, but I didn't feel any shadows show up or reappear nearby, so I don't think they'll keep coming out endlessly. I don't smell any shadows behind us either. Huh? Wait, Risei-chan, you can sniff out shadows without using a persona? No, I can't tell their smell. I sort of feel their presence somehow. Nothing specific like their exact locations. Not only that, I can communicate without using my persona, up to a certain distance. It's weird. Come to think of it, when we were dancing, you provided our musical accompaniment, yet your persona wasn't even summoned. Oh, oops, I forgot to tell Nato-kun and the others. With my support type persona, I can sense some of the rules of this world. I try to explain it to the others in simple terms. In this world, we can convey our emotions to others through dancing and music. And so can shadows, right? Maybe the nature of this place makes it easier for our thoughts and feelings to reach others. I see. That makes a great degree of sense considering the culprit's objective. You can do all that? Damn. And it'd be more and more like Teddy. That is not a compliment. What? Excuse me? Are you saying I'm round and fat? <laughs> what? That's with all the <laughs> there it is. Hate. I'm a handsome boy behind the fur, you know? Well, then take off the fur. Why do you need it? <sighs> you really do put on a good show. I told you right. It's still pointless. There you are. Everyone, stay on guard. Do you hate me that much? You're so friendly with each other. Why do you refuse to form bonds with us? Hmm, you know what's next. No. <laughs> here we go again. We're back here in this place and it sucks. The black mist forms the other cave of shadows. Enough already. I've had I've run out of patience with the voices. Are yelling into the empty air. Yeah, whatever. What you have isn't a bond. It's just brainwashing. Being tied down like that, forced to throw away your real self. I feel sorry for these shadows. Oh, that's not true. They are all here because they wanted a special bond with. Them. They did. <laughs> that's right. Can't you hear them? They want to connect with you too. At the word connect, the shadows grab the ribbons wrapped around them and hold them out towards us. They look like they're beckoning us, inviting us to join them. It sends chills down my spine. Looks like we got no choice. I ain't gonna let you mess with my head. Wanting a bond. Hey, Nato, eyes up. What are you spacing out She gets for? it. Think later. Did she get it? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I think Nato just had her moment. Why don't you understand? If you connect with us, you won't suffer or feel pain. Don't strain yourself so you much. You got this, Nato. She got this. <sighs> this song again. The song gets louder and the shadows start dancing. The song that song still gives me shivers, but it doesn't affect me as much as it as before. Maybe it's because I refuse to give in. Natoku and Kanji and Teddy all stand their ground too. Then Kanji grins, striding forward with a snap of his fingers. All right, you're on. This is all part of button heads to understand each other. All right, Kanji, Kanji. dance number two. Reset. We ain't gonna run. Here goes. Oh no. Here's me crossing my fingers that there's still no break dancing. <laughs> Let's get it started now. Kanji number two. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. Kanji, just take all that power and go wild. Oh god, he's showing off his guns. Oh, that's gonna be embarrassing if I do that. I don't got any guns to show off. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can still do this. See that? Yeah! Right. Yeah, yeah, you tap that foot, Kanji! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry, that move is really funny to see on Kanji. Ah, oh, Risei finally dancing. Oh no, please don't start break dancing. Okay, I got scared. He did, um. Oh god. He did, uh, some top rock. And usually, when you do top rock, that's like the, the prequel to break dancing. Well, I guess technically it is breakdancing, but Top Rock is usually before you go down and the- Oh god, I was really nervous that he was going to. <laughs> that move is so funny, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's hilarious! Oh god, I fucked up. That was so funny. It's all yours now. Hell yeah. Okay. Woo! We did it. Come on. Where did he pull that chair out of? Like He whips it out of his back. Yeah. Brilliant. No complaints, right? <laughs> I danced my ass off there. You, you did, did great, Kanji. Kanji. I guess being that lanky has its advantages. Ugh. Whew. Looks like they got it. Ain't ever a good thing to give up who you are. Move my kanji's powerful, or maybe it'd be better to say kanji-like dance. The shadows dissolve into motes of light. No, it's totally fine. Really. As long as he's doing this just for now, just for now, I have no problems at all. I mean, a star performer's gotta have a, a bold personality. But in kanji's case, I'm worried he might keep on dancing like that after we're done with the midnight stage. <laughs> I only taught him the steps for the backup dancers, but he totally, totally ditched everything and just danced however he liked. It's fine here, but if he did this at LMB, he'd steal the, the show for sure. I sigh remembering how now's not the time to be worried about this. This is Risei's point of view. How sad. I was hoping you'd let us be your friends this time. Screw you! Friends my ass! Real friends accept each other, even if you gotta go head to head sometimes. Kanji's right. Try all you want. We're gonna free every last one of the shadows you're controlling. <laughs> every, last every last one of them! I don't think so. I have plenty of replacements ready and waiting. Poor things. Because you poisoned them, they lost the precious bond that they so longed for. But that's fine with me. If they don't want my bond, then they can do whatever they please. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> exactly as I said. There are plenty of others who crave bond. Can't you feel it? More and more are coming into this world, seeking that special connection. <laughs> Does that mean... The shadow's numbers are increasing, but where are they coming from? Sorry, time's up. No more chatting. Nozomi's performance is about to begin. Hey, what Nozomi! The, the one I liked. The voice fades away, ignoring Kanji's yelling until there's no trace of it. It's clear, the voice left us behind. Aww, it got away again! What the hell's that voice's problem? This ain't all that shitting and leaving every single time. It said Nozomi's performance was about to start. This isn't good. We need to hurry. Yes, the questions can come later. Let's. As our surroundings completely change to match the castle like theme, we see a silhouette ahead of us wandering around like a lost kid. A romantic castle. 
someone's over there. Cutie readings are off the charts. That's Nozo-chan. Hey, Nozo-chan. <gasps> oh, Marise-san, uh, are you real? Nozomi, are you okay? Uh, oh, oh, I'm fine. But where am I? <laughs> I can't believe this. Nozo-chan, the Prince Charming of Kanamine Kitchen, right in front of me. Prince Charming? She's a chick, Ted. What are you, blind? Kanji can't help but butt in, seeing Nozomi trembling like a little girl. Well, I can't blame him. People who don't know about Nozomi would probably react the same way Kanji did. Teddy was talking about Nozomi the idol. Oh, poor innocent Kanji. You just don't get it, do you? Nozo-chan's big appeal is the forbidden charm of being a handsome boy when she's actually a girl! A, a girl pretending to be a boy? Hmm. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <gasps> no, Nozomi is different from Naoto Kun. It's pretty much a character the agency cooked up for her role in the group. She's really shy. I mean, she gets nervous Not just talking about me? herself. Me? What? First Momo chan, and now Nozo chan too? I've suffered a critical hit to my hopes and dreams. The showbiz world really is a cruel place. Can a small town bear like me really reach mega stardom? You ain't in showbiz, Ted. Anyhow, we're glad that you're safe. Let's move to a safe location. And just so we're clear, I'm hardly any good at talking about myself either. <laughs> uh, that was uncalled for, wasn't it? My apologies. Although no one asks, Naoto-kun suddenly adds a hasty personal comment, then awkwardly falls silent. Really, Naoto-kun, why are you competing against Nozomi? <laughs> oh no! Hold on. I want a cookie, so I'm getting a cookie. Oh, oh, no. This voice. oh wait, no, I'll go for chocolate covered pretzel. Sorry, this is totally relevant. Everyone, keep your guard up. Kanji kun, cover Nozomi san. Got it. Nozomi begins shaking uncontrollably at the sudden voice, putting everyone on guard. Nato-kun calmly directs us, and Kanji moves closer to Nozomi, ready to protect her. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of doing, it's no use. Our bond is stronger than anything. Listen, Nozomi. You want a bond too, don't you? A bond with people who really understand you. A, a bond? <laughs> but... Shut the hell up! Let her think for herself, damn it! No! Stop trying to decide things for her! Stay out of her business! Oh, it's for her own good. Huh? Ha ha ha! Nozomi doesn't need to think. All she has to do is accept us. It's pointless to worry and suffer. After all, there is never a need for anyone other than the Nozomi everyone wants. This is unbelievable. The voice doesn't care at all about how Nozomi feels. The way it speaks so matter-of-factly, I'm more shocked than angry. What kind of crazy talk is that? How ludicrous. It claims to be doing this for Nozomi-san's sake, when in fact it's ignoring her will and forcing its own thoughts onto her. You could never build a relationship in that way. You just don't get it, do you? But I know I'm right. Look, this crowd is here just for Nozomi. How can she not be happy? Shadow throbbing. <sighs> By now I know what's coming next, just as I thought Black Mist closes and surrounds us forming a teeming horde of shadows. Them again? Yikes! There's even more than last time! This doesn't make any sense. Where did it get all these shadows from? Didn't I tell you? There are plenty of others who crave bonds. You really should accept us too, you know? The eerie song The Shadows Dance begins, and that uncomfortably familiar lethargy settles over us. I feel a shudder run through me at the sensation of someone trying to dominate my will with their own. Damn 
damn it! Still gives me the creeps. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. This is one song I refuse to dance to. Now Chan's right. I'd rather be dancing freestyle to the funky groove, sharing the excitement with everyone. Here you go, Teddy. Yeah, so what if people want you to be a certain way? That doesn't make it right for them to stomp out your true feelings. They might not understand at first, but don't let that stop you from expressing yourself. Correct on all counts. Please stand back. I shall. Oh, I thought Teddy was gonna dance. Now Chan's all revved up. Hey, what about my turn? Okay, Nato Kun. Oh, You're all okay. Up, so let him. If you're afraid of Yeah, I'm or not to reach out to anyone. No one will understand you. How true it is. I could have used that lesson myself not long ago. Now, let the music play. Mornato, yes! Let's get it started now. The Please basics are started. crucial aspect of any discipline. <gasps> Nato, what? Like up and get him! Oh, look at her. Good. Vibing. I could do this. How's this? Oh, this is suave. This is really cute. She mentioned earlier that she uh, she wished that she could dance more ballroom, but it's exactly what she's kind of doing. Uh, some of some of her room, some of her moves are ballroom moves. Not all of them, but I like that it some ballroom is mixed in there. She said, oh wait, she said ballroom was easy or something. She wishes it were ballroom because that would be easier for her. She put it in her dancing anyway. Yeah, that's very ballroom. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Girl, do what you want! You in a ballroom, the new ballroom. Persona. I like it. Mmm. Brilliant. A fine grade. It's nice to be vindicated by such results. Way I like her other dance better in terms of choreography, nice but dance, I like how uh, suave this one is. 
Well, both of them are suave, but I think this one just more so. Probably because the music is softer, too. I love it. The shadows fade. Not bad, Nantoku. Maybe she shines when it comes to a real show, or she really got her got. She really got into dancing. She expressed herself with much more ease than in practice. Ah, oh. I love this. I did it. I still got a ways to go, but I managed to make them understand. Wow, she's cool. Oh yeah, she's cool. No, you mustn't let that poison take hold, Nozomi. I was trying to make us forget That's heaven it. is a sad song about a dead mother. Crap. What's your problem anyway? If you've got something to say, then come on and say it to my face. <laughs> Why, though? What did we do? to? You and I are getting along because we're not hurting each other, right? <laughs> Why not keep this comfortable dis- What? You call all that getting along? You were anything but nice. Oh, but I want you to be happy, though. As a friend, no one gets hurt. Everyone is happy. That's what this world is about. And we've been saying no, it ain't. How the hell do you think we'd accept you without even seeing your face? If you really want to be friends with us, then get out of here right now. <laughs> my, my. What am I to do, Nozomi? Do you think you can stand face to face and talk with them? Huh? No, no way. Surprised by Nozomi's sudden outcry, we all turned towards her. No way, what the? Nozomi, what are you saying? Right? It's okay. If you push yourself, you'll just end up getting hurt. Nozomi-san, please calm down. Don't fall for its trap. Uh, but, but... <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't bully Nozomi. She has a big performance coming up. Hearing that, we all gather around Nozomi to defend her. That's right, it's just like when Samomo was taken away. We won't let you have her! You caught us by surprise last time, but now we're ready! What a wasted effort. So, Nozomi... Damn it! Hey, you! Don't listen to a damn word it says! Huh? What? Why? These people want you to show them the real you. <laughs> what a horrible thing to ask. Don't you agree? If you do as they say, you'll have to go through a lot of pain and suffering. Are you... No, I'm... That, that's too much. I can't... Oh, that didn't take long. The, mo the moment Nozomi lets out a bitter cry, ribbons whip, around, whip out towards her from all directions of the room. We bolt, trying to put ourselves between her and the ribbons and block away. But me, Nataku, and Teddy, even Kanji's knocked back by the thin ribbons like we weighed nothing at all. Damn it! Kanji-kun! Ah! Y'all protect Nozo- oh! <laughs> ah! Nozomi! Nozo-chan! Before I can get back on my feet, Nozomi is pulled away, tangled in the coiling ribbons. All that remained was silence. Fortunately, no one's hurt. We quickly get up and look towards where Nozomi vanished, all blaming ourselves for the outcome. No! I couldn't protect Nozo-chan! This is exactly what we wanted to prevent! It seems those ribbons are impervious to any use of force. Come on, guys. We've got no time to mope around. We'll go after Nozomi as soon as we're ready. We never give up, right? <laughs> right. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do! <laughs> You're turning out to be a rather strict leader. Much more so than you, Senpai. I'm with you, of course. Don't forget Teddy! I learned from you guys <laughs> what it means to have an enduring soul. Nothing can beat me! All right! We're saving Nozomi! We can do it! Teddy, oh, yeah. Let's go! With the power of friendship! <laughs> Now we got one boss left, and we got- we haven't seen Risei What's dance this? yet. A stage? And then Teddy's like second musical. dance. 
Our chase after Nozomi leads us to some place like a castle-themed theater stage. I don't need to search for Nozomi's reading. Kanji points forward, calling out urgently. Hey, look! Over there! N no That's not how I... Whoop. <laughs> I'm surprised you're putting up a fight. But I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Or... Are you willing to show everyone how you really are? That's... That's why I... I've been trying to talk to people, and... Is that right? But doing so hurts you. Who's the one crying all the time because things never go the way you want? Who... Who are you? How do you know... You've always been like that, huh? Afraid of people's gazes, afraid of people's words, afraid of people. Why hurt yourself? It's not necessary, Nozomi. If you just play your part, everyone will adore you. There's no need for the real you. Nobody wants her. Yuzo-chan! Nozomi! Risa-san! We rush her aside, but Nozomi only looks at us with fear in her eyes. No, it's just like what happened with Tsutsumomo. Nozomi is practically given in to that voice. <laughs> Come on, Nozomi. You get nothing out of trying to be yourself. Just pain. You can be great without any of that. Think Ouch. about it. It's so easy for you to interact with people when you're in that, Nozomi. Am I wrong? Here, listen to everyone. Nozomi has an unusual appeal. She's a cute girl with the attitude and dependability of a cool guy. Yeah, these voices are. Are these Nozomi san's fans? You know, the best part about the whole Prince Charming thing is that she isn't self conscious at all. It takes a lot of guts to be that self assured. Even if people laugh at her, she's strong enough to ignore it. I. I'm not strong at all. I. I can't do it. See? It's the confident, uninhibited Prince Nozomi that everybody wants. God, these like, these almost remind me of like, um, a YouTube comments, almost. Where somebody watches like a 10 minute video and then they automatically assume they know everything about that person. As long as you cling to the real you, life will be filled with pain, sadness, and fear. No, no, I, I don't want that. Literally, like, the exact same feeling. Ugh. Bro, I could go on for like days. I, I think. Here, I'll give, I'll give one thing that bothered me. So I released my Morgana video, and uh, so I read most of the comments. I try to read most of them, right? Of course, I ignore everything. I don't like things actually bother me. But the fact that like there was uh, quite a handful of people that were like, wow, she actually performed this inside because she's too embarrassed to perform outside in a stupid fucking onesie in public. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah, dude, exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> right. You, you got me. <laughs> I just roll with it. Anyway, suspended above the stage by the ribbons, binding her body, Nozomi glances towards a star in her eyes. But you know what I will say though? Um, I mentioned this in Discord, but if you guys didn't know what the Persona 5 dance is, uh, I actually have them completely mapped out. So I intend on doing all of them, like two dances for each character. And each character, uh, I, I actually have like a, a document mapping out my dances and stuff and like locations that I'm gonna go to but each character has uh, a performance both inside and outside so they e e so each character has two dances one's outdoors and one and one's indoors so I mapped it out so like all of the characters uh indoor locations indoor dances I'm doing in the winter time and then all of the outdoor dances I'm doing in the summertime obviously because I can't perform outdoors so I, I like that they made that little detail of like the with the Persona 5 dancing where they they really um, separated each character pretty pretty well. It's I found that to be like a really cool detail um, in planning out all my dances. 
and now it just comes up, comes to like which cosplay I received first. So obviously I'm doing Futaba's next. But the sad part is that like her tap dancing one is outdoors at the pyramids in her palace. So I won't be able to do like the tapping one until summer. But I'm doing her indoor one next, which unfortunately is not the tapping one as much as I want to do that one. But I can't because it's I don't even know where I'm going to perform that pyramid one on another note. <laughs> Sorry I went off on a tangent, but I really I really do like these dancing games. I think they, they really do bring a lot of uh, nostalgia out of me as like being a dancer for 22 years of my life. I get really excited about doing this and I, I'm like planning out all my dances and locations. I actually, I tried to make like my Morgana dancing video. I tried the background. I tried to pick a place where it had like a feel of an attic. Like you see the stairs in the background and the couch. I tried to give it like an attic feel. I'm trying my best with the locations. It's hard. I'll just fly to Egypt. It's fine. <laughs> you know, COVID will be over. Just kidding. It never will be over. But like, you know, I'll just take a trip to Egypt and I'll just perform in front of the pyramids. That's fine. That's so expensive. Oh, my God. Imagine if I actually did that for a video. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I actually would do that. And a part of me also wants to do because um, Jokers and Yusuke's uh, outdoor dance is both uh, in Shibuya Crossing or Shibuya Square to be exact. So they dance in Shibuya Square. I legit want to do that in real, like at Shibuya Square and performing both of those in super public. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I want to do that so bad. <laughs> but it's too crowded there. I don't think that I could actually create a dancing space in Shibuya Square. Like, where I wouldn't hit people. <laughs> it would be so cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to do that. That'd be, that'd be fucking epic. Ugh, if I ever have the money to do that shit, like, I, I have full intent on going ham with that stuff, but... Just thinking about that stuff gets me so excited. I'm like, I, I love performing in public and I'm, I have no shame, which is probably a bad thing. <laughs> So for Morgana's outdoor video, Morgana dances dances on the beach. So I intend on going to like the beaches. There's several in Ottawa. I'm I'm going to go to one of the beaches and uh, and be in my onesie dancing on the beach this summer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm low key, high key, really excited about that because the public is gonna look at me real funny, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh god. Imagine wearing a onesie in the summertime on the beach. <laughs> I'm looking forward to summer, needless to say. <laughs> anyway, now that my tangent's done, now you guys know my plans. <laughs> Suspended above the stage by the ribbons binding her body, nose will be glances towards the star in her eyes. We try our best to get her, but the ribbons bar the way. Uh, hey, you! Don't give up, damn it! Nozomi, no! I'm scared. It hurts. I. I. Yeah! Th this is the same as Momo chan! How could we let this happen again? I think it'll be worth it, yeah. It'll be worth it. I try to go to general locations that match the, like, the actual location of the dance. <laughs> yes! This is how it should have always been. There's no point in life if nobody cares about you, is there? Ooh. Of course it's better for everyone to accept and desire you. Oh, this is the greatest feeling. Now, I invite you to join us. And connect with this bond as well. Eerie cheers. Suddenly it roared behind us. I don't need to turn around. It's got to be another audience of shadows. I stand facing toward the monster that swell and knows me and shout. You're worthy! That's not right, Nozomi. It doesn't matter if people want you or not. The real you is never worthless. We idols aren't dolls. It's our job to work hard so those who see and hear us will accept us. Listen to Risa, you idiot. Greatest feeling. You know damn well you're lying to yourself. Yeah, 
After I met Sensei, I got unsure about who I was, so I had to think and think real hard. And now I'm the adorable bear I am today. Oh no, yeah, you're real, real it adorable. Lot, and I felt miserable, but because of all that, I know just how important my actual self is. So don't say things like there's no point in your life. I can't bear to hear that. Watch me, Nozomi. I'm gonna prove it to you right now. We don't have to lose our identity to be idols. Oh, is Reese going dance? It was the same for me too. I was scared, hurt, anxious enough that I ran away abandoning the stage. But then I met you, Senpai, and everyone. So many people, so many people supported me. And I realized that I couldn't lie to my passion. Now it's my turn to show Nozomi. I'll express everything I have, everything in the Risei that has come this far. What? Risei chance Risei taking the stage. Taking the stage. Oh, is Twitch dying? Emotional speech and everything. I feel like Twitch has been dying like ever since 2021 started. Like the first three <laughs> days, up, they man. had major shutdowns for like the 30 analyst. minutes. The time is ripe for a star performer. I leave this to you, Risei san. Oh, it just scratched me. Okay. All right. I know I can do this. I've done everything I could to prepare for my comeback. There's no screwing up now. Here we go. A special sneak preview of Rosette's biggest show ever. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's get it started now. Let's get it started. All right, Risei dancing. Nozomi, just hold on. I'm coming to help. And here's the star herself. You brighten up this stage, Risei-san. What is this song? I did it! Huh? Yeah, all set! <laughs> I did it! There! This is cute. <laughs> Yay! Allow me to join in. She knows how to perform in front of the camera. It shows. Very nice. Yeah, get him! Wow, awesome! Oh, dang! Look at these two vibing together. Whoa! Whoa! You were too damn perfect! Nazoku, that was sexy! You finished with style! Oh, dang! I like that! That was a good partner. <laughs> yeah! Yay! There! <laughs> oh, I totally missed a note. Oops. Oh, oh god, I'm missing notes, I'm watching! Oops. Yeah, all set. Too busy watching. Yay. <laughs> this is very, um... <laughs> idle like dancing, yeah. It's about what I invited. <laughs> Song though, I, I've never heard it before. I don't think. Oh, not those back. I love their fever together. Very nice. They're super cute together. Look, look at them vibing. We're getting through. Finish with style. Huh? Yay! Yeah! I did it! <laughs> Here we go! Oh! 
harp? Oh, I dig that. Oh, I like that. That was amazing. But I could hardly expect Wait, she any has less of you. Oh, that's just the lighting. The way that her portrait looks, I thought that like she had blonde highlights under on the under of her hair. Actually, I can't tell. Is that like the light? No. Are those blonde highlight? I, I, I'm very confused. <laughs> I, I, I've never seen that until that picture. Did that do it? No. I, I thought I nailed it, but I can't say I'm 100% confident. Oh, she does have blonde highlights. Oh, it's lighting. Yeah, I'd say it's the lighting, because none of her other portraits had it, so I was confused. I pray in my heart I, as I run to Nozomi, freed from the monsters standing on the stage with her head stat sagging. Nozomi! Nozomi-san! Uh, I ran away. Again. Why am I always like this? Nozo-chan, it's okay! You got what we were trying to tell you! That's all that matters! I feel a rush of relief at Nozomi's words, knowing that I got through to her makes me so happy. And to be honest, I'm touched. What I did, what I believed it was and wasn't wrong. But I can't let that show right now. Instead, I look at Nozomi and give her my biggest smile. Yeah, no feeling down. I'm so glad you're safe. What more can I ask for? Really? I'm horrible at talking to people. I'm always like this when I'm out of character. That's how you are. And I think it's perfectly fine. You should be proud of it and tell everyone. Okay, I'll try. I I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, even bugs are louder than her. You sure she's gonna be okay? Huh? What? You're mean. Scary. <laughs> what was that? Kanji, why are you like that? Be nice to Nozomi. <gasps> That's right, Kanji-kun. Can't you see she's trying to change? What? Huh? Wait, why am I being? No excuses. Nozomi's trying her best, so work with her. Oh, fine, whatever. Just shut up. So, uh, well, keep at it, all right? Aw, look at this smile. Hearing that from Kanji, Nozomi's face lights up. Wow, she can make a face like that? If she always has that look, I'm sure she'll get tons of fans. And then for some reason, Nozomi trots over to Kanji and looks straight into his eyes. I'll do my best. Thank you. Twitch is on fire right now. Here, let me open up Twitch. Is it really on fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, don't refresh your page. Oh, yeah. Twitch is on fire. Oh, my. Look. Chat, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. So you're happy. I get it. But that's enough, damn it. Ah! Kanji prickly reaction, his clumsy way of hiding embarrassment intimidates her again. She goes quiet, even meeting eyes meeting mine. Oh, Kanji, you can't talk to Nozomi like that. Scary again. <laughs> no, no, no. Nozo-chan, let me give you a lecture on how a guy's heart works. Oh, my God. Kanji is just embarrassed, that's all. It's hard to see past his crude demeanor, but he really does accept you. So there's absolutely no reason to be scared of him. That's right. Kanji's pretty bad at expressing his feelings, too. He's such a handful. What? Sh sh shut up, you two! Oh no, he did a he did a bear pun on Embarrass. Or at least I thought he did. Wait, no, he didn't. It was spelled normally. Whoa. That's the second time today. What's wrong with Teddy? Then you like me? Uh, what, uh, huh? Do you like me? You're embarrassed, right? So I wondered if I was your type. Conchie's of... getting hit on. <laughs> Scary. That was beyond jumping to conclusions. <laughs> I'm not sure how to process. This. <laughs> 
there's something else when it comes to talking. That was a classic communication breakdown. <laughs> Stop gawking and help me out. And you? The hell was that scary at the end? Let's make sense. <laughs> oh. So that voice, a sudden interruption, puts an end to our cheery mood. We all ready ourselves, determined to stop it from doing anything else to Nozomi. You're still here? <laughs> There's no need to get so worked up. If you're not interested in a bond with us, that's fine. Do whatever you like. Ugh, that punk just up and left again. Safe room. Again, right after the voice leaves, a curtain of light beams on the stage and that familiar door open appears. It's unmistakably the door to Takura Productions dressing like room. Earlier with Sumomo. Does this connect to a dressing room too? I say we should enter. I see no signs of shadows in the vicinity. As long as we stay on our guard, we should be all right. We go through the door, Kanji leading the way, just like we thought. It opens up into another dressing room place. No shadows detected, who knows why, but these dressing rooms seem to be the only safe places okay, in this world. Okay, I'm sure now. This place has no trace of shadows, just like before. I don't hear that creepy song, either. I wonder why these rooms are so special. Huh. So far, this door's been showing up every time we save a girl. Could they have been deliberately hidden from us until then? Or was there some other reason we were unable to detect them? Another possibility is that Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san's release caused the doors to come into existence somehow. Uh, uh, you mind putting all that in simpler words? <laughs> what do you mean, some other and somehow? <laughs> if I knew, then I wouldn't be having trouble working out the details. I can't say for sure at this point. As soon as Natsu-kun replies, I remember something. It seems like everyone else reaches the same conclusion. We all glance towards the mirror at the makeup station. What is this? Had another similarity with Samomo-san's case. I want a bond. I want to connect their hearts with mine. But it's too late. There's nothing I can do now. I changed the lyrics to hide everything. I'm nothing but a liar. I should end it all. God, just listening to it is putting my stomach in knots. The writer's even more stressed than the last time. Kanji-kun. Have you noticed? Huh? The person who wrote these notes... Well... We've yet to confirm that this individual is human. Now, John, what did you find? In simple, bear-friendly terms, poor fa- Content of this particular note. Bond. Connect. Do these sound familiar to you? Wait, you don't mean- We've been hearing those words ever, uh, time and time again ever since we came to this world. The one who kept m mentioning bonds and connecting was... That voice. All that stuff that voice has been saying! Indeed. The content of this note matches up quite neatly to that voice's words. Are you telling me that's who wrote these notes? I have no definitive proof, but it certainly seems to be a possibility. And... Our train of thought gets cut off abruptly when we hear a clap from the door. Shocked, I turn around, but what I see is an even bigger surprise. There's only like one Whoa! person it could be. Ochi? Yeah. <laughs> Ochi? No, never mind. I'm glad to see you've rescued Nozomi as well, which means that all four idols are now safe. I'm very grateful. Senpai and the others finished up a long time ago, huh? <laughs> We still ain't on their level. Excuse me, Miss Ochimizu. Are you saying that you went to check on Senpai's group before you came here? Twitch is on fire. Yes, that's correct. That's correct, my ass. We told you to stay in that room, and you said understood. More importantly, Ochi, is Momo chan okay all by her? Sumomo is fine. Nothing happened in that room after you left, so I'm sure it's safe. She looked much better. I was more worried that you might be in a bind again. So. Were you arguing whether to leave Nozomi here and move on, or stay with her? Ms. Ojimizu's words leave me totally speechless, saying she's a woman of action would be an understatement. Jeez, is she afraid of anything? I see. You make a valid point. Frankly, 
It would be great if someone watched over Nozomi-san. That'd allow us to move on without worries. Then that's that. Everything clear, Nozomi. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Well? If you're done, why are you wasting your time here standing around? I don't know what's going on. The sooner this idiocy ends, the better. That constant coldness in her attitude really ticks me off. What's with her? There are nicer ways to say something like that, you know? I agree. It's not like we got involved in this because we wanted to anyway. Please stay here with Nozomi. We'll go put an end to this. Fine. I'm counting on you, Rise Kujikawa. What's with her attitude? She really gets on my nerves. Well, there's nothing for it. This is hardly an ideal situation for her either. We're having her do what she can to help. Please try to calm down, Risei-san. Um, is Ochi always like that? I mean, not just her acting frosty, but she's in a strange world, and she doesn't think twice about wandering around. She's too fearless. Fearless? More like reckless. She just looks down on everyone and says whatever she wants. If we hadn't come, she would have been in danger too for crying out loud. I don't know about that. I thought the shadows didn't attack her, yeah? Now that you mention it, we were thrown off by her boldness, but if you think about it, that is quite strange. There must be some reason that the shadows don't attack her. It looks like Natsuko and the others are discussing something, but I'm way too irritated by Miss Ochimizu to care. I know I'm losing my cool, and honestly, I think I know the real reason. After I decided to return to showbiz, I learned that Kanamin Kitchen's producer was the infamous Miss Ochimizu, maybe without realizing that that pressure scared me. I'm not totally sure, but that's got to be at least part of it, still. Why should I care? If she doesn't get attacked, then good for her. Once we meet up with Senpai, let's hurry and get out of this stupid place. <sighs> Can you guys go ahead and prepare to leave while I talk to Senpai? <laughs> Honestly, right it's back. nice. This isn't good. She's completely lost her cool. I believe it'd be best if we supported her. I kind of see where she's coming from, though. Well, guess we'll back her up a bit. Times like this are when friends come in handy. You can lean on me, Rise-chan. Time to be good. After Risei's team left the dressing room, Nozomi sat completely still next to Ochimizu, who remained si standing as if lost in thought. Still dealing with that social anxiety? Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I... I... Uh, oh. I'm working on it. I see. Hmm. An awkward silence lingered between Ochimizu's severe expression and Nozomi's downcast face. Can you perform at the festival? I... I... I'll, I can't. I'll do it. I see. Um, if... if you don't mind, please check my... my LMB dance? Sure. Go on. Nozomi stood in front of Ochimizu, then began dancing with all of her One, might. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, that isn't it. You're not getting it at all. Nozomi. You need to pour emotion into that final pose. Oh no, oh no, you know what's coming like next! Of a man risking his life to prove his love. Oh no. He leaps into a busy street as the woman, seized by the memories of her dead fiance, watches in terror. A truck screeches, stopping inches away from him. He slowly turns to the woman and cries out, I will not die! I don't understand that at all. Could you explain? Um... I don't understand. I mean, I understand because I've had really bad, like I said before, I've had weird director stories, but that's um something special. Even after leaving the dressing room, I just can't shake my anger. I know I'm being childish, but that doesn't mean I just I can just shake it off. Ah, <sighs> makes me so mad! Stupid Miss Ochimizu- Risei-san, please calm down. If a leader loses control in front of their team, it could lower everyone's morale. Uh-huh, that's right. And don't forget, I'm always on your side. Whenever it gets tough, you can jump into my arms and cry as much as you need to. My fur is yours. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, guys. 
I'll get back on track. Well, now that we saved Sumomo and Nozomi, let's go and meet up with Senpai and the others. They said they didn't encounter any major problems either. That's very good news. Shall we head for the rendezvous point? We nod to each other and start walking forward when we notice Kanji scrunching up his face in effort and cocking his head. Huh? What's going on? Kanji-kun? What's wrong? Is there a problem? Nah, just thinking about something. You know how that rumor talks about the other side? That's here, yeah? Do you mean the Love Meets Bonds festival rumor? When you look at the website at midnight, an unfamiliar video plays. And in that video, you can see a dead idol dancing. And anyone who watches that video is taken to the other side, never to awaken again. I believe that about sums it up. Now, back to your question. From what we've experienced, yes, we believe that we're on the other side. Well, we haven't run into much here. Just the idols we saved, that damn voice, and those weird-ass ribbon shadows. But the chumps who watched the video are taken here, right? Then, where the hell are they? Shouldn't we be saving them too? You've got it wrong, Kanji. Those people are still in our world, never to awaken again. From what I've gathered, the victims are left in a comatose state. I came across no reports of missing persons. Hmm. There was an eyewitness account of a victim being pulled by something, but he was in a coma. Just like... No, wait. You're right. It is strange. Now, Chan? What's wrong? Kanji's question seems simple, but as she's replying, Nanto-kun suddenly interrupts herself and goes quiet. I could feel the tension in the air. Did Kanji actually point out something serious? Say Do you remember the first time oh. we came here? Kanji can be smart sometimes. Huh? Um, yeah. That video in the rumor actually popped up. Then those ribbons ensnared us, pulling us into this world. Unlike the other victims, we didn't fall into mm. a coma. Yeah, that's true. The next victims were the idols of Kanamine Kitchen. They apparently went missing, and we eventually found them all he- None of them fell into a coma, and neither did we. Just like our first time. Missed what? Are any of you familiar with the condition known as apathy syndrome? It appeared a few years ago around Tatsumi Port Island. Victims lost their sense of oh, self. Oh shit! Unable to even speak. I was researching it recently for the sake of another case. It seems the symptoms of apathy syndrome were, in actuality, the side effects of shadows leaving the human body. Shadows leaving? Yes. As we're all aware from personal experience, shadows in our hearts are closely linked. We came to face and accept our shadows thus attaining the power of persona. But what about an average person? What would happen if their shadow was forcibly removed from them? A coma! Are you saying that's what's causing the comas? I'm almost positive that is the case. I was mistaken. I assumed there would be some degree of discrepancy between the rumor and the facts. But in truth, the rumor was accurate. We were the outliers, the special cases. Most likely, our control over our shadows was what kept us from falling victim. Wait, then what about those kitchen girls? They were acting normal in here like us. They would also be considered special cases. Recall what that voice said. Both Sumomo-san and Nozomi-san were shocked when that voice brought up their most private information. It would be natural to think that the voice knew them from the start and pulled them in here deliberately. In addition, when Rise-san, Senpai, and I were pulled in here, it was around midnight, but for them, it must have happened earlier, between our initial meeting and the time they were reported missing. Oh, Even chat's filtering back in. Hi, chat. The rumor's condition of being pulled in at midnight. Twitch is, I think, still on fire, though. Yeah, it's definitely still on fire. But, but how come they're so special? That would be because they are the main guests of this midnight stage. Main guests? That voice called this place the midnight stage, did it not? Naturally. A stage exists for the sake of the performer using oh, it God, my and the audience watching it. The four members of Kanamine Kitchen were summoned here for a purpose, to fill the role of performers for these stages. Rise-san, I suspect the same was true for you. What? Me? I said we were pulled in around midnight, but that and watching the video at that time were merely coincidence. The fact that stages were readied for both you and the idols of Kanamine Kitchen is proof itself. Oh, hold on a sec! So does that mean this world was made just for Rise-chan and Kanamine Kitchen? And if they're the performers, are the shadows the audience? Exactly. 
Do you recall how that voice talked about shadows coming to this world looking for Bon? And I'm sure we all wondered why we seem to be able to communicate our feelings to these shadows. There is but one explanation to it all. Suppose that, like the times we each faced our own shadows, these shadows too are entities which share a close connection with the human heart. Hey, you're trying to say that they're... Ding. They're the shadows of people who saw the video on the LMB site and fell into a coma? So that's what it means to get taken? Monka! Twitch is a little fine. Yes. Uh, don't However, worry, Twitch is just casually on fire. Remained conscious. Pay it no mind. We can conclude there is some method to the selection of those that were taken. Don't worry, you only missed Naruto. Oh, wait. You guys said that you can see the stream, right? But you just couldn't chat or something? Nato is just being 5,000 IQ again. Hmm. Now I see why those shadows felt different from the ones I know. The fire's cool. Just as I'm recovering from having a bomb like that dropped on us, even though it puts us closer to the truth behind this case, I feel a sudden dread alarm bells going off in my head. The LMB site is still up on the web for anyone to access. If everyone, if everyone who sees it has their shadows ripped out and thrown into this world, guys, this is not good. As long as there are people who try that rumor out, this world will keep being flooded with their shadows. That means. Oh no! The earthquake! <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on? Whoa! Everything's all shaking. Let's hurry. Something might have happened. We need to join Senpai and the others. Fa Are we finally teaming up now? Perfect. What's this? Economy left behind. Oh. Interesting, but that's actually a really good stopping point. So I'm going to stop there, friends. I'm going to go eat some dinner because I am absolutely starving. Twitch is on fire anyway, so I probably this is a good time to stop. I don't know if uh, Twitch is coming back or is back. But um, so we got up to chapter four, so that's pretty cool. And I at least got to see every character dance, which is also nice. I wanted to see how the characters were dancing. So far, I can do all of these dances, which is both good and bad, because that means I have a lot of YouTube videos and uh, but that means I also have to buy a lot of cosplay. <laughs> Fuck my life. By the end of all of this shit, I'm literally going to have a closet full of like 50 cosplays, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, I hate everything. Yeah, Twitch is slowly repairing itself. Because Twitch is broken, I'm not going to host anybody. I can't even see who's live right now. Twitch is that broken. Like, my, I have no follower list right now. So, I'm just going to head off stream, friends, but thank you guys so much. How do I save? I'm guessing it already saved. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Tomorrow I'll be playing Yakuza 2 again. So Yakuza Kiwami 2 stream. And I don't think I'm streaming this weekend as a bonus. Probably not. So yeah, same schedule next week as I did this week. So thank you guys again for watching. I super appreciate it. Also, thank you guys so much for all the really kind comments on the Morga Morgana dancing video. That really genuinely means a lot that so many of you guys like have brought smiles to your faces. Like hearing all those nice comments was uh, very, very uh, refreshing to say the least. So I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the dancing video. I can't wait to keep doing more. And I will see you guys tomorrow.